Saturday. Woo! I tell you what, there's a bit of deja vu about this because uh, you won't believe this, but I just started and I thought I'd already pressed go live. But um, as it happens, it had. So and additionally, my fingers are a little bit redder than they normally are with the drum roll. But anyway, how are we all doing? It's Saturday. This feels strange doing it at eight o'clock at night. It really does. It's quite a peculiar thing. And I tell you what, folks, all you lovely lot that are out there, boy, did I have a good time last night. That was such a good London calling stream. And I tell you what, folks, we've got a bit of a special one coming up next Friday, I tell you. So please do watch out for that. Keep your eyes peeled on Instagram and Twitter, folks. You know the deal. Anyway, how are you doing? This isn't just about me, this stream. I've got my good friend who's going to be coming on in just a sec. Uh, let me just give you a little bit of story behind this one, because what happened was about a couple of months ago, my good friend, Brick Hive, was, uh, was streaming. And, uh, and he was given a choice. He had a choice in his stream. Uh, he could either get the ghost or he could get the slave one. Now, of course, as you might know, especially if you do follow him, he went for the uh, slave one. And then, frankly, who can blame him? It's one of the best ships out there. In fact, where's my one? Well, it's up there with the rest of the Boba Fett stuff. So anyway, he went for that. Uh, and I went for the ghost. Now, the story behind the ghost is I had to get it all the way to me from the land down under, down in New Zealand. And the person who got that for me is the guy that I'm going to be streaming tonight with, with the ghost. And of course, it's not just going to be me building the ghost. It's going to be building his ghost as well, which is pretty funky, isn't it? Anyway, let's get him on, shall we? He's, of course, my good friend from down under, Richard, a.k.a. Brixine. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, man? How's it going? Right, we are actually live now. <laughs> we are actually live now. It's not a false, not a false start again, no. I've never done that before. That was a funny thing. I was doing this, and I was like, I was pressing refresh on this, and I thought, now why haven't I gone like, oh, well, I'm just going live. <laughs> <laughs> that cracked me up, that dude. That was funny. Anyway, good to see you, mate. You're looking very well. And you, mate. And you, yes, yes. I'm just going to close this door because it's just started hammering down with rain as we start. No way! It's not even made in here in United Kingdom. No, we've um, we've had a couple of days over over the last few days, so it's all good. It's all good. Uh, it's all good. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, no, it's cool. But I tell you what, you need it these days, uh, especially your country. It's baking hot out there. It is. Um, it anyway, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring up. We're, it's it, it's us two folks, but we've also got our uh, our build cams with us as well. So I tell you what we do. That works out quite nicely there. I like that. We could do it do it like that. We got it in one side. We share it. So do you like? Do you guys and girls out there like that configuration? Anyway, girls out there, um, I want to say uh, hello to all you lovely lot of that uh, there in the moment. We've got lovely Lorraine Fox. Hey, Lorraine, how are you doing? Uh, we've got Mr. Blue Toys. Hello, mate. Good to see you here. Uh, Nicoletta. Hello, Nicoletta. Great to see you here. I'm loving all the ghosts you've got out there. Uh, si O'Connor is in the house. Hey, Si, how are you doing, mate? Uh, out there as well. Adam O. Hello, Adam. Um, Lovely Victoria Fisher. Victoria, thank you so much for coming by. I really appreciate it. I know how busy you are. Uh, Brick Building with Justin Slutter. That's a cool name, isn't it? That is blimey. Um, Very cool. I'm liking that. It's got to be one of the longest names for a YouTube channel, I reckon. Days. We've got Lester in the house. <laughs> Simon Moss is here. Um, to name but a few. Um, so, yeah, here we are. Here we are. I, I'm very, I, do you know, I really rarely, if ever, stream this late on a Saturday. So it feels quite weird for me. I feel like I'm, I'm kind of muscling in. Uh, on the Americans or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so what I will say is this, Richard, is welcome back to Saturday, um, because where Richard lives, folks, he's so far away, but we'll be on another planet, really, for all he's worth. Um, but it's, it's uh, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday morning where you are, isn't it? It is, mate. It is. It's uh, 10 past nine on Sunday morning on the wow. 7th of March. <laughs> wow, on the 7th of March, probably. We're still in the 6th here. Uh, thank you for, <laughs> this is for the next four hours anyway. But... Anyway, this is, I've got a bit of a different setup, folks. Because of the story behind uh, Richard um, sending it to me, I kind of, I had to piece it all out, make sure it was all here. So everything today, if I pull that down a little bit, you'll see here, I've got everything around me. See that? Oh, nice pair of legs over here as well. That's an ACAT, in case you wondered. Um, so yeah, there's all the pieces here. I've got a few round here as well. Um, but most noticeably, of course, I've got these lovely things as well, these lovely minifigures, which uh, Richard is showing off there. Um, he, he looks like a ghost, does he? He looks like a ghost of um, of that particular figure. There yeah, we go. I don't want to stay in focus. It was doing it all right for those um, those silly bloody video figures the other day, but it doesn't seem to want to do it for these ones. It wants to 
It's not colourful. Take that dark bluish grey in it, mate. That's why that is. That's probably uh, what it is. Uh, well, there we go. Probably what it is. I'll leave it there anyway, and I can just yeah, show them. Show you, things let me show you what thing it looks like on a cheap camera. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it looks all right, actually. This is this is most. Uh, this is the ex the absolute exclusive figure with this one, wasn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 But yeah, cool. a variant figure that came with this set, folks. And actually, the set that I got actually came with that with the most expensive of the variants but uh i said to richard forget grabbing it for me for gra for petrol money uh albeit you could probably go around the whole of uh, new zealand on this uh i said have have <laughs> the, well, what's his name as well what is his name is uh canon canon jarris canon jarris that's the one that's him there that's him there i knew it began with j folks but i thought mm, he's not a john i don't think he's a john um, the only thing different is is the hair and the the head the body and the legs are the same it's just the black okay. hair let me show you oh, let me take that off and you, you you can all see it there in his in his glory there we go so one oh, one, one looks like a little bit more maybe mexican than the other mine's got dark brown hair and his one's got black hair and that black hair is that is that completely exclusive to that figure because i don't know if they, um, i think the hair piece might be i'm not too sure to be honest i'm not sure i know that the the black eyebrows are the thing as well on the head so the yeah. head's probably exclusive for sure yeah um, couldn't tell you about the um so got the an alternative. oh dropped his lightsaber oh well um here we go we've got the alternative face as well there folks he's got a nice smile on his face he is um or has i should say um but yeah so so i let richard have that one and basically i've got his his one with the brown hair so we kind of shared the love out there folks but that's what it's all about isn't it you did me a favor and i gotta oh, be honest richard you're welcome mate you're welcome you did me a favor there but this particular set folks that i got the ghost it's um it's immaculate it really is and you can see it's immaculate as well i mean look at this figure here i mean um he's in awesome condition he really is. i was like he's the main one i wanted he really is because this figure alone yeah i think it goes for like 60 quid or something like that it's, it's like it's ridiculous he ain't cheap he ain't cheap uh, no I, I, figures are actually cheap at all you know we've got the um the rebel stormtrooper as well as one of the sort of rarer stormtroopers with a yes, bright yes, blue design on the helmet yeah, don't worry, folks. I'm not having a. I'm not having a funny moment here. I'm just trying to grab the lightsaber. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. Now, I'm not quite sure what's different about this particular uh, stormtrooper, folks. It's the that, um, the vents on the side of the helmet. There's oh, more yeah. of them, and they're bright blue. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, they're like a sort of turquoise. There yeah. we go, folks. Um, the nice thing is, though, with, with this one, you can turn his head, which is quite useful, really, if you're a stormtrooper, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> Because the new ones look like uh, they're, they're, they're like caricatures out of the Family Guy. That's right, as well. Right. As soon as that was mentioned to me, I can't unsee it. I really you know, that's the, thing. that's the thing, dude. It really is. Um, so anyway, <laughs> folks, endeavouring for the next at least four hours, anyway, um, uh, to, to to get these to get this set, this which is basically the Holy Grail set, as far as I'm concerned. This is up there with the Jabba Palaces and the the Sal barges. Absolutely. And all those Absolutely. sort of things, it really is. So I, I feel quite, quite lucky uh, and blessed that one I can afford it, and secondly that I'm going to be building it. You lovely lot out there, and some kiwi from uh, New Zealand. <laughs> 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 you told me that a year ago. I said you having a draft, mate. But anyway, <laughs> oh, it's one of those sets. Like I actually, I tell you, and and I don't know if I told you the story about how I got mine, but. Um, I, love it, the I, shirt. Shirt. I want that shirt. I want that shirt. That is this a is so one of my shirts. This is a brick scene shirt that I made. Did you? Yeah. I'll send oh, you the okay. link to my store. Well, yeah, you got because because he, he's not only just a Lego YouTuber now, folks. He's a blooming Bricklinker as well. Yeah. Well, I, I set up a, a Teespring store or whatever it was. Yeah. Ages ago, and then never really used it. I only used it to get stuff for myself, you know, for shows and and things like that. And it's even got the old, the very first brick scene logo that I made on the back of it. Oh, let's have a look. The, the first brick scene. Look at that. Actually, try breathing. Try breathing at least. Uh, yeah, anyway. I like it. It looks good. <laughs> hey, sorry, folks. He was actually breathing in. Um, <laughs> <laughs> always, always. Always. I tell you, I said to someone the other day, I said, I'm getting fat. I said, because when I breathe in, I still look fat. <laughs> <laughs> That's why, we all wear, that's why we all wear drawstring, uh, you know, track pants and uh, Dude, shorts honestly, down here, you know. So. I tell you what, the best thing I bought last year, because this time last year, folks, you might remember, but I had a bit of a major hip operation. 
So I was living out of them anyway. And all I can say was it was the best investment I made because a year later, I'm still wearing them every day. <laughs> except for oh, one. I, I, wear them, I wear them for some streams. Maybe when I'm streaming with the beautiful Sia Connor, I do. But most of the time, I can't, I, I, can't, I dress up for when I'm on a stream. I do for, for, <laughs> for a start, believe it or not, folks, I comb my hair before I come on one of these streams. And yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a wider part than me. That's all that is. Anyway, he's a, he, 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 you're still beautiful, mate. You're still beautiful. You've got the beard. You've got the beard. That's the thing. It's, it's like, you, you, I've got the hair. You've got the beard. <laughs> it's all I can grow. It's the only place I can grow hair these days. That is it. Well, I've got a few other places, in all fairness. We won't get into that. Um, <laughs> but anyway, folks, look, all I want to say is do us a favor while you're here, because it is Saturday night after all. We are live on saturday which is kind of it sounds strange to say to me it really does um but you know what uh do us a favor just give us a thumbs up and please do check out brick scenes channel details of course are down in the description below as well as a few links to a few other bits and pieces that i've been up to recently uh folks um and anyway as well i'm just i'm just gonna say it once like i always do folks if anyone wants to support the channel please do and what i'll do is i'll inscribe your name here on the london wall uh, I'm giving you a shout out as well on Instagram. Uh, but yeah, if you can, fantastic. But you know what? I just love spending my Saturday with you lovely lot out there as well. So anyway, uh, let's do this, I think, Richard. We've got some more peeps out there in the uh, in the chat as well. We've got the wonderful Brett's Builds. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Uh, Brett, I will be trying, honestly, mate. I was finishing off the script today uh, for my, uh, my Lego City update, which will include uh, some train track. I promise. Uh, yeah, we've got lots of yeah, do you know what? It's, it's one of these things. It's really weird because I'm not under pressure to get it out. And I was ill. I was quite ill a couple of weeks ago, folks. So ill. I thought well, I had COVID, in fact, but according to the tests, I haven't or hadn't. Um, and uh, I, I felt terrible for weeks. So that's why I was just doing, I got out a few videos that I just kind of had ready sitting there bubbling away in the background. And then, um, but honestly, some of this footage on my on, on my city update, folks, I'm not joking. <laughs> it's, it, 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 was, it was basically like, Four weeks, it's over four weeks old, some of it. In fact, whilst I was filming that, I built, I'd already built the modular, the police station modular. That doesn't even feature in the video, folks. I'm going to do one scene tomorrow, right? I've got a couple of scenes I need to shoot. Like one, I forgot to do like a, 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 an after. I did it right at the beginning. This is the room. This is what I'm going to be doing. I, did, I didn't do the last thing, like to show everyone what I'd actually done. Do you know what I mean? Because I mean, I say, I call it a city at the moment, folks. It's a street, uh, to be honest. It's a street with one building in it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, he's the, everyone calls it a C, and that's what I'm going to be calling it a C. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Um, Blocksmith Forge is out. He says, hello there, uh, Mr. Blue Toys and Adamo in Obi-Wan Kenobi voice. Great to have you here, mate. We've got uh, Tasha and Harris out there as well. Hello, mate. And we've got the awesome Roland as well. Hello, Roland. I saw you yesterday, mate. Oh, no, I forgot. To, I didn't say, I didn't forget. Um, I, uh, I I didn't say hello to you yesterday on London calling, but anyway, Roland, good to see you here, mate. I saw you. I was watching a bit of it back uh, uh, this morning. Actually, I, do you know what? I very rarely watch London calling back again because uh, it's all a bit of a blur when I do when I kind of think about it. And uh, I, do you know what? I was watching the first half an hour of it, and I was thoroughly entertained. I, I really was. I was entertaining myself. Oh, it's it's, in, in all honesty, it's always, it's always a good time. If I'm not if I'm not in it, I'm watching it. So you know. I, I, do you know what? It is a good giggle. I was just watching bits and pieces, and everyone genuinely we were enjoying themselves. So oh, absolutely, um, absolutely. I love it. I love you. Never a bad time. <sighs> so come up for air now, uh, Simon Mars. Hello, Simon. How you doing, mate? Um, Simon, was it you on Instagram today that was talking about the meals technique? I'm, I'm pretty sure it was because I know you you're saying you're doing a you're you're, you're doing a city now. Oh, sorry, mate. I'm getting, I always get confused between you and Ricky T. Y. Uh, I do. Uh, I don't know why are you two related or something because I'm just always thinking you two be the, the one and the same person. Um, I know we got here. Adamo says busy live stream day. Uh, well, hey, welcome to this one, Adam. It's great to have you here, mate. I love your uh, avatar, by the way. Um, Will Harper's out there as well. Uh, yeah, it's, it's funny, you know, Ricky T.Y., Simon Moss, Will Harper. I always associate you guys together. Um, but anyway, look, great to have you, all three of you here. It really is, folks. And, uh, yeah, their Mills technique is quite, um, it's quite, you know, well, you, well, you say it's random, but it's just that you guys always seem to be in and around at the same time, which I really love. So I kind of associate you guys. I mean, I tell you what, Richard, this is the thing. I associate everyone, uh, really, uh, because you know you're all part of 
really what I call the LBB family. And, and you know what, folks, I'm not just saying it, it's not a cliche or anything like that. I genuinely mean it. I kind of feel like I kind of know you. There, there, is, a, there is a collective group now that sort of goes between the streams. And it's, look, I mean, <laughs> even yesterday, you know, you're saying hello to people in one stream, you're saying hello to the same people in the next stream and then in the next stream, you know, and it's, A, it, it brings the, the chat rate up. So it's always a good thing to have all those little comments, everyone's saying hello to each other. Actually, I've never talked about the importance of that because that's actually something that everyone should be doing is saying hello in the chat to each other as well as to, to whoever because it helps, again, with the stats on YouTube and all that sort of side of things with, with, with chat rate and, and stuff. So, no, but it's it, like you say, it's it's a family of people that, you know, throughout the day, actually, even when you guys are fast asleep, you know, we'll move on to old Sandstream. I see some people on Ryan's gaming stream. Then I'll even see some guys over on uh, Dan's stream down here in New Zealand in the evenings. And then, of course, when we go to sleep, and then you guys all start first thing in the morning again. <laughs> so <laughs> everyone, everyone's with me during the day in some form. <laughs> as, yeah. as it works. Sai is usually Sai. there until the end. Same with Tech. <laughs> Sai's always around these. I love Sai. Uh, you see Sai, Solo, Tech. It's, it's weird though, folks, because we, we are quite a big family. Um, and I, especially on London Calling, I always get at least two different people on each week. You know, that I've got my core lot, folks. You know who they are. Um, but I always try... You know, I always rotate uh, a couple of people around to, to you know diversify it up. I really, really do because I'm from London, folks. I mean, uh, go, go uh, and I wish you to tell you go and stand uh, on the I don't know where would I where I where would I suggest I don't know uh, St James's Park wherever in the city of London. Stand there for about half an hour, and you'll pretty much see every walk of life that there is on the planet. Oh, absolutely, you know, absolutely. I mean, I, okay, that's what I want. Richard, that's why work, I, I used to work in London. Even in the places I used to work, you used to see every walk of life. And do you know, I tell you, let me tell you something. That, that I think that has helped in a big way towards tolerances, and mm. you know, and that's why I get on with such a wide variety of people. Maybe that wouldn't have happened if I stayed here the whole time. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, the thing is, right? I think it's it's too easy. It's too easy not to be curious. What other people were like you know what and you know i mean they even take something like 2012 2012 folks it was only it wasn't really that long ago let's face it when london held the olympics right after the olympics finished we, we were craving for so much more we, we wanted more sport and then you had the paralympics and then it became kind of pretty cool um to know a para olympian or something like that do you know what i mean it all became so much more accepted and that's what life's all about it really is folks we're, all, we're like living minifigures. Now, I, I, arguably, <laughs> I'm not going to say, if you see anyone walking down the road and they've got a purple head for them, it's just like, uh, leg it. um, you know what? It's, we're all diverse. And we've all got, the, the more we can learn and live together, you know, in harmony, not, not I'm going to get too deep here, folks, the better life is. It's so much easier. <laughs> less grief, less friction, and all that jazz. But anyway, we're here for the ghost. So I think we need to start building some ghosts. Let's get building, man. Let's get building. Yeah, yeah, man. Anyway, that's. I say hello to some people. Actually, that random brick. How you going, man? He's down my way. Is he? Yep. Good stuff. Um, right, folks, just, just so you know, this is all I've built so far. This is it. This is it. And I only built. Oh, you here to me. Well, I, I just wanted to see what did it work the way I've got it laid out because this is quite different. So you cheated uh, and went ahead. I could cheat. Yeah, I'm about five minutes ahead. Um, <laughs> all righty all righty i'm going old school here you can see from my build cam i am not as organized as greg oh god okay, okay migraine looking at that <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is um th this is a nice way to spend a saturday though it really is wait say that don't say don't, don't tell my wife that she's, she's got a different opinion altogether um, no well, look, yeah well this is the, 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 the um yeah it's nice to be um not having to deal with the children. Yeah. Two, no, my, two my weekend uh, days in a row. How's that? Yeah, my, my wife's really, uh, this is going to sound like a funny thing to say, folks, really tolerant of me doing this. She, she really is. Um, and uh, and she knows how, how special uh, doing this is. And I, I because I haven't been putting out any videos, well, proper videos anyway, folks, um, you know, I've been relying on the live streams. So I'm not, we're not really relying. This is a bit weird. But I've got my usual live streams that I do. I just do a lot of them these days. That's all. Uh, not as much as some, of course, but I still like doing. I, I just 
I, I personally, my favorite thing on YouTube is live streaming. So, you know, uh, that, what I like about the whole live streaming thing is it's 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 wham bam done. Yep. You know, there's no none of us going back and spending hours editing and um, doing all that sort of carry on. Um, look, I, I enjoy editing. Don't get me wrong, but um, there's always that pressure to get hurry up and get it done and get it out. Mm. Yeah, that 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 can be. Especially if you're doing a review on a new set, you know, you want to get it done as quickly as possible and get it up in order to maximize your views. Yeah. But really you could just do a live stream the moment you get it home. Well, that's, yeah, that's, and that's what I'll do with, um, Winnie the Pooh when I, when I go and get that. Yeah. But you see, that's the thing. See, that's the beauty of where you live. You get, yeah. you get the sets before us, but the only mm. problem is there's no one awake uh, when you get them. So <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you could Only those back. night dwellers are lucky enough to see my streams. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you are a really good streamer, Richard. You really are. Oh, I, uh, I like I like watching your stuff because you. When I wake up on a Sunday, um, there you are building. Well, you know, building like Ninjago Gardens that you're into at the moment. But I mean, it'd be on his face yesterday. He's building that for everything it's worth. It really is. He's. Uh, Blimey, how many how many streams are you going to do with that? Yeah, twenty five. No, something? no, I finished it yesterday. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did it. I I I was going to finish it off stream. I want to get on to building other stuffs on the stream, so <laughs> it was never going to be a um uh, a do until the end. I had to. Yeah, I did some yesterday on. I was building it on your stream yesterday, actually. Yeah, I saw that. It made me laugh when I looked that back, folks. It looked like a sad clown that the, the head did. <laughs> uh, but it, but I, I personally, I think that's the best set of the year. Uh, well, Are you built you. You've built it? No, no, I've got it. Uh, my wife bought it for me for my birthday, but my birthday's not until May. So, um... <laughs> oh, so it's, it's getting closer. It's getting closer. Yeah, yeah. Um, the um, yeah. Look, it's it's now that I've built it and I stand back and I look at it, it is amazing, absolutely amazing. Like it's it's possibly one of the best sets of the last couple of years. Yeah, so. I agree with that. But you know, to a certain degree, folks. It's 280 quid, so it should be. But I personally think Winnie the Pooh will be my favourite set this year for sub 100 pounds. I really do. Um, let's see what they're saying in the chat because there's there's not a cheeky chatty people out there tonight, which is what I love, folks. Do you know what? Right on average, right my my chat, I get about 1500 chats going in my chat at a time, according to my analytics, folks. So let's try and beat that tonight, shall we? Let's try and go. <laughs> Because uh, uh, I actually broke a record last night for me. I couldn't believe it. I uh, London calling is one of the most successful London callings I've ever done. It really oh, was. That right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, had, nice. uh, I wasn't necessarily the biggest viewed one that I ever had, but hours wise, for three hours or three and a bit hours, it was, it was like uh, two hundred hours, two hundred and twenty hours or something. It was. It's like that's like that's equivalent, folks, of like nine days nearly days of continuous mm. play. I was like, that's a lot. So yeah. that shows that there's, that there's that was engaging and it was you know it was was what people want to see. So yeah. I think so, that's, that's that's good. I'm very lucky. Well, you was on it, Richard. I, I'm so blessed to have you lovely lot out there, folks. I really am. And uh, actually, well, let me turn this camera around a bit because it's it's called a build cam. You can't actually see me building anything. You got some little mini figure out there who looks like she's got I don't know there's some sort of green strange hairstyle going on there. But there we go. I'm going to pop her there so you can see it. Um, but yeah, let's have a look and see what the chat's doing because I've got to keep doing this, folks. This is why I only build about I put ten for every ten bricks, I'll say something in the chat. <laughs> uh, Victoria, the lovely Victoria, she says, Simon Moss, I placed two orders at midnight last night. Uh, I got the Black Smith, the Barracuda Bay, and surprised to see the promo still available. I can't believe the promo didn't sell out so quick. I mean still it was still there this morning when I woke up. Is it, is it still there now? That's what I mean, chat to know, folks. Can we still get it now? Um, the random brick. Uh, good day, mate. Uh, he says, uh, I gave an Android Port 5 video bandmates brick scene. The box guides are accurate, though I did miscount by one and got the genie instead of the shark. Oh, I want yeah, the shark. A couple of people are getting it wrong. Well, not getting it wrong. It's, well, I don't know if you've seen Shy's video yet on the on the video. Uh, I haven't actually. No, Shy is someone I do watch a lot of, actually. Shy, Shy's, Shy's video is a, a top quality. Um, but yes, uh, the last was it Emma Soros, uh, myself. Yeah, uh, and a couple of other people have got the boxes, opened them up, and yeah. one side has been one complete set, and the other side yeah. is um, another complete set. But Shy did that 
from a brand new box and got one wrong or got a double up yeah they, they do they don't always they're not always what people think they are but i tell you what folks, the best thing to do right in all honesty right is get a mate buy a box and split it down down the middle it's yeah, easy and hope that there's two complete sets in there yeah 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 oh definitely um i, I still don't get it I, I still don't agree with the fact that you, you shouldn't know what you're actually buying at least try and feel for them or something like that um but, and i said my argument to that is as well right because I, I, I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind them being blind bags and stuff like that. But the problem is, they're so expensive. Yeah. They're, they're, really, they're really expensive. And, you know, give, give, make it, say you've got five duplicates. That's 20 quid then the, uh, that you, you're never going to see again. So, I did that with the DC minifigs. I thought, I'll just buy these, you know, randomly yeah. and, and didn't order a box or anything like that, which was, you know, normally, well, in the last few years, I've definitely managed to get complete sets. But, yeah, that's why I, I must have I must have got for it eight or nine flash and that's you know that's five six dollars new zealand each time it's a lot of money it's a lot of it's, money it's, it's, what do you pay for what do you pay for minifigs well we, we were at the time we were, that, they would have been three quid for us uh, but now yeah, it's all about three pound fifty yeah. getting on to four, five pounds it's like pff, it's not bad really? i'd rather go and buy a little lego city set for that see these are these the video ones are still six dollars for us which is three quid for you guys dollars six dollars that's ridiculous to not know what you're buying i mean who who, who else well, gets that's away with that? compared to what you guys are paying well we're paying well this year oh, here we go this one i made earlier folks right already in uh, here in england they're selling this at 33 percent off in some places you get them for 50 percent off right what's the standard what's the standard price on it uh 18 pounds for this 18 pounds see our standard price is about 15 pounds okay on those because they're 30 dollars so yeah five dollars at the warehouse you're right that random brick so yeah two uh, two pounds fifty for the mini frigs at uh, one of our stores yeah i agree that, that's very true that is a fact that is doc thank you mate and great to have you yeah, here doc. as well you're going doc you good uh video mini bigger boxes are five dollars in canada five dollars i don't just think it's insane i just think you should have other jobs for trying to work out what you actually are buying that yeah I'm, I'm i'm not happy with the fact that you can't feel them that sucks that's that's yeah. rubbish because that's I, I genuinely think right hey sir bricks how you doing dude um i honestly think right in all honesty if they were like two quid or something like that i'd be like yeah don't, don't worry about it buy a load of it. who cares you know army them up have an army full of flaming shark singers or something like that <laughs> um, I mean, he has some backing vocalists or something like that. You know, go go at yeah, that angle. But I, I don't know. I just try and keep it real. You know what I mean? My, I mean, I, I, I come from you know London, folks. It's one of the poorest places in Europe. It was at one time. Well, it was when I was there, anyway. And uh, I, I still, I, I still always have the sense. Oh, there we go. he looks good. I don't um, like those guys. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's pretty cool. He's got nice. He's got lovely teeth. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on building. I've got my soapbox. Folks. All right, is you're I'm, right though. You're, you're right though about those minifigs. If they were if they were half the price, you'd probably find that they sell more because you put them next to the the checkout or something like that, you know, and and, and people just pick them up and throw them in the, you know, to make up a whole amount or whatever, you know. That that's the kind of thing that I would be quite happy to just buy more and more of and make sure that I get the complete set. But yeah, when you're when you're paying that sort of money for them, you want to get it right first time. Yeah, no, absolutely, mate. And I'll tell you what, folks, I, I, don't, I don't know. You might think, oh, Greg, he's moaning about that. But I just like to keep it a bit real. Do you know what I mean? Um, mm. I, I, think everything, I think things are expensive. You know, I, I think Winnie the Pooh, I think I think Ninjago's uh, garden set, that's really expensive. But you know what? That's good value for money, as far as I'm concerned. Ninjago City Gardens, I think, is... is same same with ninjago city and the docks as well when they when they came out i think they were great value for money mm. the, the finished product of those sets i've now got them all uh sitting on my my table i'm going to do a um a short video just going through like a flyby if you like of the whole thing set up together yeah that's a good idea i did that with Sesame street people loved it that's four four base plates long the entire thing yeah and absolutely stunning all together it's it's, yeah. Yeah, it's phenomenal they, they, they really do, honestly. So here's the thing, folks. I do mention it in my Lego City update this week, uh, but it will be a thing. Um, there will be a thing about Ninjago in it. Mm -hmm. and Are you incorporating I, Ninjago City and Docks or whatever in, into your, yeah, into your city? Yeah, I, I bought Ninjago City about two years ago, 
Uh, yep. I still have to deal with it, folks, but it will happen, believe me. And then what happened was I heard, literally, the day I heard that this Ninjago Gardens was going to come out, and let's face it, folks, when we hear of a rumour, 99.9% of the time it actually comes true, right? I was like, <laughs> yeah. I've got to get the docks. Because if I don't get the docks now, it's going to be stupidly expensive. And it is, right? You can easily, quite comfortably now, pay £850, right, for Ninjago City, and you'll pay, easily pay 550 quid for the docks. It's amazing how much they've gone up, eh? Scary. Absolutely scary. amazing. Anyway. It's they've probably gone up in price quicker than modular buildings. And modular buildings are a pretty uh, pricey benchmark. Um, oh, yeah, man. You know, as an example of how quickly Lego sets can go. You look at the Brick Bank. I and mean, how many years ago did that come out? Yeah, people didn't even think it was that good when it did. You know what? That's that's actually they they say in New Zealand, well, New Zealand anyway, that you know you're um uh, you, you put money into property down here and you double your money in ten years, right? Mm -hmm. And that's that's pretty much what happens down here. You put your money into property, it doubles in ten years. If I put my money into brick banks five years ago, I would have doubled my money. Wow. Yeah, I tell you what, there, there, there is um there, there is a a thing. Where uh, there used to be a guy, I forget what he's, he used to be called now. But anyway, he's a, he's a Lego collector and he used to he used to advise people what ones to get and why and stuff like that. And I always remember my favorite one he did. He literally hasn't done a video for about a year, though. And yeah, fantastic intro. I forget his name though, but I always remember the intro was like, blah, that's good. Um, but he, he compared, he got the um, Bugatti, the blue Bugatti, uh, the, the one that you've got up there above your left shoulder, Rich. Yep. <laughs> And he said, do you know what? Don't buy this set. Do yourself a favor, buy all the speed champions. So spend 250 quid on speed champion ones, and that will literally double. And I tell you what, double, blimey, they quadruple. Those did. Those speed yeah. champions. Sets. Speed champions go up in price big time, eh? But then again, <coughs> you look at the price of that, um, the orange Technic Porsche that came out before the Bugatti. Yeah. You wouldn't get your hands on that for for cheap these days, neither. You know, so no. But I tell you what, they did. That went down to one hundred and thirty quid here in the UK, and then it, and then exactly. it it's gone for good. Then, yeah. Uh, you, can the still get off, you can still get the Bugatti on the shelves here. Oh, can you? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it hasn't retired quite yet, um, but it's a good set. People like it. People do like it. Uh, Random bricks says the property market here is actually going crazy. The prices are going up really fast. Mine for my first home is going to be hard. Always is hard, mate, to get your first home. When I bought my first house, dude, right, uh, my mortgage was 16%. Um, if, if that if mortgages went up to 16% now, I'm not joking, it would literally cripple the, the, the everyone. I know it would cripple me now. Your interest, your interest rate. My interest rate. When I bought my, I bought my first house, literally on the day when I was legally allowed to buy a house uh, mm -hmm. when I was a kid. And I was a kid, folks. I was still doing an apprenticeship. Um, we were we have that in common. I bought a house at 18 as well. Did you? Oh, yep. cool, man. I think you bought it uh, a day or two after my 18th birthday. Yeah. All my mates were going, you're nuts. You're nuts, you are. Uh, to a certain degree, I was, folks, in all honesty. But um, instead of going out on a Friday night, I'd have all my mates over. We'd all be playing yep. like PlayStation games and stuff like that. So uh, it's basically yeah. he set me up for life. Uh, at that age it was quite funny because yes i was one of the first people out of all my friends to have a house so it was somewhere that they could all go and not be at home you know <laughs> like it was it did actually work out really really well i loved it. it it was a it was a fantastic time in my life it was a brilliant adventure um uh, loads of mates used to come over we used to have fun uh you know, I mean, the, the, the furniture was like terrible. It was, folks. I, I I remember I had a sofa, one of these old leather sofas that was. Um, it, it looked terrible, even when I when I had it. But it was given to me, right? You didn't care. You just wanted something to, something to sit on. Uh, or, or in my case, some, sometimes your mates would stay over and then have something to kip on. Uh, but it, it was it, you didn't you didn't you didn't care about things back then like that. It was you know it was just grateful you you. you you had hot water. Uh, I mean, listen to me, I said, I'm from a third world or something, but you know what I mean? You just you enjoy the the simple things. Absolutely, uh, man. And even then, do you know what I mean? I still had a fantastic time uh, back then. But, you know, um, they're, they're the hardest ones. So, yeah, good luck, mate, getting your first place uh, because it was a magic time. It really is. 
it's not easy it's not easy but once you do it and if you're happy to make those sacrifices and I, I appreciate that the sacrifices are probably a little bit more now than they were when i bought my first house 20 years ago um but you know it, it's it's definitely look i what i enjoy about owning a house and if i can't afford anything else is like you say is i actually enjoy spending time at home and doing stuff here you know and that's you know that's that that's what it's all about is having your own i can kick a hole in my wall if i want and not worry about repercussions you know <laughs> uh yeah but I won't, I, 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 yeah i can think of other things to be doing yes but uh <laughs> but i don't know man I, I there is just um there's just nothing nice uh there's just nothing like, like it having your own space i think that's what everyone always needs at some point in their life people need their own space um Definitely. You need that even if you do share a home with people. Yeah. <laughs> Hence why I have this office. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true, man. It really is. Um, but I think I think as animals, as, as you know, human beings, I think we are we need other contact to humans as well. Which is why a lot of people are you know looking forward to their lockdown coming out uh, of action yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, the brick box says Simon Moss sounds wonderful. Uh, we remortgaged for another 27 year term after having our seven years felt like going backwards. Um, yes, yeah, but, but look, here's the thing though, and this is this is something I, I see with the way I see mortgages is that, especially if you you know that the property market is going up like it is here, like I couldn't physically save the month the amount of money and the time that i can make by having by owning a property you know like i, I physically couldn't save half a million dollars in 10 years um mm. which is what this place has made in the time that i've been here mm. so as far as having a mortgage even if you even if you're just paying that money towards it you're always going to be able to sell the place at the end and make some money so i'm always about making it work for you you know like it's definitely definitely and it's cheaper here now here now it's cheaper to have a mortgage than it is to rent yeah wow well but but money is cheap that's the thing money is cheaper now in in a lot of respects because rarely do you get a mortgage over three percent um so let's see what i just like to caveat i am no financial advisor yeah uh of course he's not he's, he's, he's too crazy about lego uh it's got to be the most financial decision we've ever made uh yeah. Hey Lego Madness, how you doing, mate? Great to see you in there. Hey, great to see you, dude, as well. Doc, less adulting, more Lego. Fair enough, Doc. Fair enough. Less adulting. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough, man. Anyone out there got the ghost? Anyone built the ghost recently? <clears throat> I'd be keen to know because it is such a great set. Such I know Guava King built it recently on. Yep. Um, on a stream i feel like i haven't built a star wars set oh, it's got to be months now yeah i think it's been feel a while i'm not interested in this new wave at all what do you like out there think about this new star wars wave i think i've bought none of them yeah i've bought literally none of them I, I haven't been bothered about any of these i mean i've got an x-wing i've got a tie fighter and i've got an imperial shuttle the last of each one um is you know um the last one before this one sorry was probably the best of each each version so i have literally no reason to buy the new uh, the new um, the new sets save my pennies for um the second half of the year when hopefully if those rumors are correct we'll be getting some pretty serious stuff yeah, it's almost like they've got the, the, the cheaper sets out now. The what? They've got the cheaper sets out now because they've got the more expensive ones coming out later in the year. I mean, let's face it, folks. When, they, when that gunship comes out, we're all going to love Lego again. At the moment, I think... Um, I don't know, really. I, I think this, this wave is all right. I mean, I bought one of the new Ninjago sets, that um, Bat Dragon. It's beautiful, it really is. Uh, but the other sets they're okay. I'll get them when they discount Ninjago. There's really Ninjago though, because it does, it discounts quite quickly. Um, but uh, if you like Monkey Kid, then this way's you know, this is this is your game. So well, that's why I've branched out a bit in the last um, probably the last six months more than um, 
more than I have before, if you like, you know. Yeah. Um, buying, I bought all those Ninjago sets that have the golden figures in them. I wouldn't normally buy that many Ninjago sets off the bat. You know, yeah. I'd probably get one one here and there. I, I but, love the Ninjago ones. And uh, I tell you what, I've been quite interested in watching. And funny enough, he's just he's here now. Hey, hey Rogue. Um, I like watching Rogue's videos. on. Um, he does stuff on pirates. Uh, and mm -hmm. and I, I find that really interesting because it expands what your knowledge is on um, on certain Lego themes. And, if, you know, Rogue, you know, Rogue, you don't need me to tell you this. He, he, he knows Lego Star Wars, folks, fantastically well. Uh, mm -hmm. And he also really does... You study Lego, which is why I find your um, you, you, you genuinely... Uh, I, I, I kind of like listening to your interest in your Lego pirate stuff. You genuinely... Mm -hmm. You're doing really into it, and that's what I like. Your enthusiasm really comes out uh, in your voice, in your videos, and I um, I really do appreciate that, dude. Anyway, they're good videos. So do check out Rogue Runner, folks. And I'll tell you what, dude, you lovely lot out there. Check out each other as well. Doc Samson, brilliant YouTuber. Great clicker, excellent YouTuber. You know what I mean? Rogue Runner, fantastic stuff. Nosy stuff. You want to learn stuff about Lego, Rogue Runner is your man. Um, and, uh, and don't forget Brick Scene. Uh, this, this dude over here, check him out details are down in the description below and i'll tell you what folks let me just put a banner up there um i'm not going to put that one up there so i promised myself i wouldn't put that one up uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh i'll tell you what i would appreciate there's like, there's like a hangover from yesterday it is it is honestly yeah <laughs> uh yeah i'll put that one up. here's one from last night tech reductions <laughs> um but yeah do you know what? Uh, do us a favour, folks. Give, give the stream a thumbs up. I do appreciate that. It's pretty good for stats as well. <laughs> but no, seriously, yeah. folks. I I've been Say hello to Rogue. How are you, Rogue? How's things today, mate? Watch a good football game yesterday? No, don't take the bait, Rogue. Don't take the bait. Don't take the bait, Rogue. <laughs> I love you dearly, mate. I love you dearly. But I don't get to gloat too often. Well, then not why. I'm a West Ham fan. And look where we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're doing all right uh rogues give out loads of love out there to everyone in the chat good to see you mate uh this is a this is the who's the who's what um brickmaster says hey, mr blue boys hello Simon Moss says sounds like it will be replacing the defunct hidden side one click brick clicker uh what are you guys talking about the uh the, the video i miss hidden side i thought hidden side was a good set uh, a good theme i should say yeah, I like Hidden Side. I've, yeah, I, I bought all those sets. Um, I do, I do like them, and I'm going to try and incorporate some of the uh, the little builds, like the Shrimp Shack and the Lighthouse and stuff like that, into my city somewhere. Yeah, and got it. Be worth putting in. So, Solar Creek Build is going to do a good, good thing when, when he gets around to doing his city. Uh, he is going to be doing a Hidden Side city. Oh, uh, is he? Yeah, I think it's a great idea. That is. If you, watch, if you watch Robin Hood bricks, uh, I do actually. And in, in my, I do. Sorry, folks, so I meant to be giving you a build stream there. There we go. Um, oh, look at that! It's a nice little, little, nice little flex just over there, folks. It's a two thousand five hundred piece custom ATOT. Looks alright, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I, Rob, Robin Hood is one one of the best. How can I put it? He's one of the best Lego YouTubers out there for for Lego building. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't feel as though I really know him very well. It is, it's strange. Because I, I, I tell you what I'm going to do, folks. I'm going to try and get him on a, a London calling, I think. I'm going to ask him. He, he never goes live. I want to see what he looks like. He never does a live stuff? He's never done a live stream, ever. Is that right? Yeah. He's right. No, I, 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 um, I, what I was going to say was is he's done that subway uh, in his city where he's used, like a, a haunted subway where he's used some of the hidden side stuff. Mm. Which is kind of cool. Cheers, Rogue. Um, what was I going to say? Some someone mentioned something there that I was going to pick up on. Oh, I can't remember. Can't remember. It's gone. <laughs> oh, the random brick. He says, uh, "I says I'm going to go and watch One Division now." Uh, you'll probably still be there. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my accent. But every time I say one division, it sounds like I'm saying the one division. Um, sounds like but, some sort of boy band that you used to like in the 90s. 
Oh, that's it. Yeah, but I've got one direction. You... <laughs> right, I'm just going to turn my camera off because I've actually, uh, apparently, I've got a cup of tea. Uh, so actually, no, I'm not, I can't be bothered to turn my camera off, folks. All I'm going to do is open up, open my open my door up here, bend over, and get a cup of tea. <laughs> it's not one of those replicator machines. Uh, yeah. You saw that thing I sent you uh, the other day. I was just thinking about your ATAT sitting there. There's that, that oh, yeah. version of the ATAT from Rebels that has the platform on top for the ghost to land on. Yeah, I liked that. I thought that looked really nice. That was an awesome mock, wasn't it? Yeah. I love the fact. I tell you what I, I, I like to do as well is um, add some lights to it maybe at some point or something like mm -hmm. that. Um, mm -hmm. I've always around with lights in due course on the feet, but... I've got too many other things I need to focus on. I need to build something first, folks. I really do. Uh, you play video games at all? Uh, no, I haven't played in years. I've got consoles and that. I buy all the stuff, but I never, I never get time to um, uh, to play it or anything like that. No, that Jedi Fallen Order um, game well, that is worth. Good. Yeah, that worth was really good. Even just for the story and some of the vehicles and the way they incorporate, um, you've got Imperial vehicles with uh, Clone Wars vehicles at the same, you know, the same sort of scenes, if you like. Mm. Yeah, because oh, yeah. in reality, that would have happened, wouldn't it? That you would have got the mixture of the stuff. Um, yeah, well, you've got TIE fighters fighting gunships in the sky. Yeah, that's you know, kind, of, kind of cool with ATAT -AT walkers on the ground. The reason I picked up on that is the ATATs um, and that one, they're all covered in vines and moss as if they've been hiding out in the um in the forest for a long time yeah pretty cool yeah. Yeah. will's off see you later will catch you next time mate oh, will half is off, is it? see you later will will thanks for coming in mate i really do appreciate it uh and enjoy the rest of your saturday dude uh, andrew nixon's in the house he says nice to catch catch you live uh saw in a thrift store used hall and pulling some awesome star wars stuff already figures parts for a slate one turbo tank Dooku Solo Sailor. Ooh, Solo Sailor, wow. Yeah, that awesome. would interest me, that one, I tell you, because um, Count Dooku is my favourite character from Star Wars. And Rogue Shadow as well. That's a cool set, too. Yeah. I think I've got the figures for that. Have you? It's an odd-looking set, that one, isn't it? Like the ship, the, the Rogue Shadow. It's, yeah. It's not um, symmetrical. It's a bit, a bit funny. I don't mind that though. I mean, look at the Millennium Falcon. That's got to be the most unsymmetrical thing ever created. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. That is a good point. Symmetry is not a, not everything. Um, going back to what Rogue was, we were talking about pirates before with Rogue. Um, we were watching Pirates of the Caribbean last night, me and the boy. And I tell oh, you yeah. what, it would have been so good to get some of the sets from that. You know, I remember the Silent Mary sitting on the shelves. At fifty percent off because it was just not selling, and now look oh, at it. Really? Huh? That's mad. I think Rogue's actually got that, if I remember rightly. Yeah, I'd love to pick up some of those boats, the Black Pearl and Silent Mary. So my boy is getting into into more and more movies at the moment. So I dare say our, our taste in Lego might shift depending on what we can get our hands on. Well, get him into um, uh, get him into le Lego orientated ones, mate. Maybe th that would help. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he loves his Star Wars, but the, the problem is, is he doesn't buy. He doesn't get any Star Wars Lego because I buy it all. So there's no point in buying two of something, you know. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> I should have done some better sorting of this sort of stuff before I got started, eh? Well, it does pay, but the thing is, though, it's it's funny when you get your bags. You get so used to just doing stuff you, you using bags uh, that when it comes to doing that, this is a completely different thing, folks. I, and I learned that when I was doing um, when, I, when I was building this. Um, I tell you, that was a nightmare to build. That was. How's it going, cabbage? You good, man? Oh, got cabbage in the house. Hey, cabbage. Yeah, cabbage. Thanks for that picture you sent me last night. It's still giving me nightmares. Um, <laughs> That was all nightmares. I keep finding myself doing this. <laughs> exactly. I tell you what, folks, um, and this is quite important because Lego isn't the only block out there that you can build with. I mean, it's the only thing I'm really ever going to buy. 
uh, in all honesty. Maybe I don't know, maybe, maybe I will get the odd one. But anyway, do check out Cabbage's website or rather his channel uh, because he, he's actually building some Kobe stuff these days. And I tell you what, you might be thinking, Kobe, what on earth is that? Well, I tell you what, even Jane Bricks builds Kobe. So do check it out, folks. Do check out his channel if you just want to see an alternative to Lego. Uh, it really is worth checking out. He's a good guy. He's, he, you know what I like about his stuff? He reminds me when Brick High first started out. It was just rough and raw and it was real. And I love that. I really do. Uh, as it, my, my favorite thing, I used to love watching Brick Hive just in his house, right? Got a coffee table. He's got a Lego set and he wants to talk about it. And that, and that, and that I really like. And I'll tell you what, folks, even when I did get my app building constructed, right? I'm still going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, a different type of content as well. Because I'm going to do these videos where I can just about talk about things that have just come out because I'll have everything set up ready for that sort of situation. But I think what I will be doing. I'll be just doing stuff as it is, uh, kind of not not terribly rough, but I, I just want to do it. You know, you know, you just want to get some content out there. Um, yeah, I, I think it's all right to be a little bit rough around the edges. That's why I like solo brick builders uh, reviews and stuff like that. In all honesty, um, I I need to have something that I can just basically come and turn on, and away I go. I don't yeah. have that. Be, be creative. You know? That's what you want to do. You just well, I want to I want to be able to come and switch a couple of lights on and, and turn the camera on. And while, yes, I have that here for the most part, if I've got to do work or something like that, I've kind of got to move everything out of the way to do work. So then I have to reset it up. And of course, mm. if I want to do a review, then I have to move my lights and I have to move my camera and all that sort of stuff. So I'm yeah. sort of at the stage now where uh, it's not like I need a, well, I've got the other space. I've got the BrickLink store now, uh, the, the garage space out there. That I'm planning on doing more from there, but I need another computer. I've only got a desktop in here. I don't have a laptop, so yeah. Uh, I think that's the other thing as well. If I had a laptop and I'd do more stuff from around the house in different areas, dining table and, and out, out there yeah. too. Well, that, I, I've got a, I've got a laptop. It's a, it's a brilliant laptop, folks. It's a it's an Omen uh, made by um, HP, and it's uh, it's got a GeForce RTX in it, which is one of the best uh, graphic cards you can get for a computer. Yeah, it's in a laptop. It's a gaming machine that I've got, and oh. uh, it's it, I, it's brilliant, folks. It really is. Um, and I don't even play any games on it, and I really should. Um, I don't because uh, I ain't got time because I'm doing stuff like this. <laughs> now I'm in the market at the moment for a laptop. I don't know what I'm going to get. Um, I use Macs all the time, so I don't know whether I'll get a Mac laptop or whether I'll, yeah, I'll go to the dark side and get a Windows one. Macs are really good, but they're, they're not cheap. That's the problem. Yeah. And they, you know, it used to be that you could get a Mac and it would last you years and years and years, but that's that's kind of gone by the wayside now. It's not They're not as good as they used to be. But they are brilliant for editing and, and doing all that sort of things, which is why I, I really don't want to change over to Windows because I'm so used to using iMovie and uh, doing iMovie's good. I, I, do you know what, folks? There was a time I was doing loads of stuff on iMovie. Um, yep. Like my promotions and stuff, I was just doing it with it. But um, I just use Filmora now. Filmora, do you? You know what? I think that um, that might be a good idea for a live stream one day. Get some guys together and talk about what we actually use, because that's something I was really interested in in the beginning. Was was working out what everyone was using. You know, like yeah, seeing man. people's videos and thinking, oh, I wonder what how he's got a set up there. And, and you know, that's, that's bag one done. Boom. Nice. I've almost I've almost caught up. I've almost caught up. Well we're doing all right. I don't even know how many bags long this is, but you know what? It'll be no. what it will be. Um so I, I, I am genuinely I do want to finish it in all honesty. Um and there's the minifigure for this particular set coming up, folks. There she is. Have you got a playset Falcon? Uh, nope. I have. I've got them all, but I haven't built any of them yet. No, nah, because they look good together. Yeah, they look good together from the same the same shipyards, aren't they? Yeah, and I'll tell you what one I do want to build the Kessel Run one because I think that will look the best one next to this because they both seen people's versions of a UCS style Kessel Run Falcon. I don't know, but oh I bet it, I bet it looks they good. look amazing. Yeah, no, I like that Kessel Run one. Hmm. The only problem with the Kessel Run Falcon, and this is something that um, uh, the Jang picked up on actually in one of his reviews, was the Kessel Run Falcon, with it being white, 
you can see the gaps in the build more because you're looking into the, you know, they stand out more because of the little dark sort of cracks everywhere. Um, but all in all, I think it probably is one of the best builds as far as the playset Falcons goes. Yeah, and it came, if I remember correctly, it came with a really good, um, what's his name? Ah, Lando Kyrizian. That's right, that's right. But also, it was missing L3. So there was a little build that was out there on the internet at one point. So I think was actually a really, really good build of L3. So I've built that character, that that droid, and that sits with my set now. That's with all my um the many things. Yeah. Richard. Because she was missing. She was missing from that one. Yeah, the uh you know my, my, my favorite, my favorite wave was always and still is, uh Rogue One. Yeah. I think Rogue One was a brilliant wave. Hey, Lego Loser Productions, good to see you. I'm so sorry I'm late. Do you know what? It doesn't matter. It's all the better now you're here. It really is. Um, and how are you guys and girls out there all doing tonight? Are you all cool? Are you building anything? Let us know. Hey, uh, Cabbage, I'm, I'm curious to know, mate. We're going back to go back to the Kobe stuff. How are your videos, you feel your videos are doing now that you're, you're niching a bit on Kobe? I'm, I'm, I'm interested to know how it's going. If you're seeing a difference, if you're seeing a different... Um, um, group of people or a different market if you like sort of coming into your videos i'm just curious yeah, well I the, lego, the lego youtube market's pretty saturated so yeah i think it's a good idea to do kobe i really do i mean the cabbage is quite into his infancy as a, as a youtube channel cool. uh, and it's not like i'll be it's not like we've been doing it for ages either but um i i don't know i might build kobe one day but i just might not necessarily build it um you know, build it live sort of thing but i, I will say this i think i think it's uh right from what i've seen so far it's good and solo's gone out and bought loads of them yes yeah solo's That's really good gone for ages. balls deep if you like into kobe hasn't he uh he really has he's like mega into it what's that three four five I, I was talking to cabbage the other day on a, on a in a message saying that i might i might get him or one of you guys to pick me up a set and send it over because i'm keen to try it i'm keen to see what it's all about you know I think you can get them though on um yeah he was saying that some of the um that, that they can ship but the the taxes might be might be quite high ah uh, okay well, yeah i mean i've got, a, I've got a, like a, an address to send stuff to in london so it's not it's not the end of the world yeah i could always send anything over to you if you need them to hmm. yeah appreciate that appreciate that um, i'm always keen to try different things you know um i probably wouldn't spend big money on a kobe set in case i didn't like it but um well, there is a set I would be interested in buying, and uh, in all honesty, and that's the HMS Belfast, because yeah. between London Bridge and Tower Bridge, that's there's right. the Belfast. Oh. So that would actually work in my city. So yeah, that's still uh, there, isn't it? Yeah. Mr. Blue Boy is saying uh, hello, Lego Boy. Brickmaster says uh, I rebuilt an old 1997 UFO set uh, the day before yesterday. Um, so what did you think of it? Uh, Quick master, and also as well, send me send me a picture of it. Get there, and I'm calling, and I'll uh, give you a shout out, and uh, people can see what you've been building, what it looks like. It'd be good to know, mate. Yeah, well, um, um, I had some of those UFO sets in a um, in a bulk lot a while back, and some of them looked really, really cool. Uh, they had the fiber optic uh, cables in some of them, the fiber optic lights. Really? Yeah, 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 and apparently the. Yeah, well, Talking to a collector down here that runs a bit of a museum, he was saying that the um, that it, it disappeared pretty quick because the fiber optic uh, to replace it became more expensive than the actual set. Uh, so they dis they all disappeared pretty quick. But if you can find a working one, they're they're worth a bit of money these days. Yeah, man. Uh, Cabbage face in reply to you, which says this is my views have been decent, Brixine. Uh, yeah, more Kobe people have turned up. I've gained about 20 subs in the last three days. Awesome. That's good growth, mate. Nice one. Awesome. Wicked. Um, I, I, I like watching them yeah. because I like to see what, what, what the rest of the world are doing. Do you know what I mean? Um, and construct. I always, watch, always watch my friends' videos, man. I always watch everyone's videos, um, and I leave people's streams running in the background if I can't physically be there to watch them as well. You know, I always always try and do my part, but... Um, yeah, me inside do. Yeah, no way. Do you know what I miss? Cabbage's, uh, cabbage faces, um, toilet news. I miss that. 
Is he not doing it anymore? Because I, I, I haven't seen one come up in a while. I, maybe, maybe I'm maybe I'm missing it, but he genuinely sounds like he's in the toilet, folks. <laughs> the, the hum of the of the aircon and whatever it is in the background is brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's like talking away, talking about some new video set that's coming out, and in the background, all you can use is sort of. A, <laughs> I miss that. <laughs> but it's good. And it's good. It's humorous as well. All that sort of thing. You know what I mean? It's funny. Makes me laugh anyway. And cabbage does make me laugh a lot, actually. <laughs> uh, okay. Doc. Always watch Doc's videos because I know I'm always going to have a bit of a laugh. Bit yeah, of a giggle. Doc makes me laugh. He's a funny guy. There's a top. Desertopia, Desertopolis. I think it was Topia, wasn't it? Dresser Top Topia. Did you see that video yet, Greg? No, I haven't seen that one. Tell us about that, that one. That's um, that's Doc Sampson's city. Oh yeah, I know Doc. He's building the city. He sent me some pictures once on a dresser top. On a dresser top. <laughs> Hence the name. Dresser Top City. Yeah, why not? Dress a top topia or something. Well, I tell you what. Um, since Shy has done, start been been more of a thing about building his city on a shelf. I'm seeing loads of people copy that idea. I am um, because it's a good idea. People do people copy. I'm seeing, I'm starting to see a few, quite a few Ninjago versus Monkey Kid uh, uh, live streams as well now and stuff like that. As it, nice. you know, it's a good idea. They um, that is a good comparison though, uh, Monkey Kid and Ninjago, because they are quite similar themes to have. Not well, are they are, are they similar? Maybe maybe that could be argued, but you know they're quite a similar thing to have on the market at the same time. They kind of it's not that they overlap, um, but they are quite similar. I think you know if you start looking at the. Uh, the vehicles that are coming out for Monkey Kid, they do remind me of some of the Ninjago stuff. Mm. I don't say that in a bad way. Well, I don't, I, Monkey Kid, oh, I had a set here, actually. It looked like a Monkey Kid. But basically, I, I had this set yesterday uh, that I was going to be taking apart, and it was um, it was bright yellow, bright red, and you would honestly think it was a Monkey Kid set because that's their coloration. Yep. So what monkey kid ones do you do you have? Uh, I have got the rather awesome uh, monkey king uh, warrior. Yeah. yeah, I've got that one. That is a good set, folks. It looks good. Um, I would never give it to a kid to play with though, because it just falls apart all the time. Yeah, it looks it looks like it would, doesn't it? it it's yeah, quite it really cool. I saw, it, I saw who was it? Claire, plastic architect, had it standing next to Ninjago City in her most recent video. And I was surprised to see how tall it was. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty tall, but it still looks like a midget compared to the power of Voltron. <laughs> oh, yes. Back to my – that's what I was going to tell you. Sorry, right back at the beginning there, I was going to tell you how I got my ghost. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Now, I bought Voltron, um, and I didn't like it. I know it's one of your favorites, Greg, but I um, I didn't like it. Well, we, we, can't, we all don't have great taste. <laughs> we all, we can't all be as cool as you, uh, uh, you know. but um, so I, I put it up for for sale, and someone came and asked if I wanted to swap it for something. Okay, uh, and there's a guy over here called Rex Brooks who does a lot of uh, printing, Lego printing. Uh, okay. He was the guy that does the uh, what well, is going to be doing the Captain Kirk stuff that I showed you. Remember the custom. Mm, very interesting. Now, Doc would be interested in that as well, as it happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Doc, Doc will know who Rick, Rick Sprix is because he would have seen some of Dan's streams that he's on. Um, but anyway, he decided that he was keen to swap it for, for my Voltron, and he sent me the Ghost and the Phantom. Ah. So that was how I ended up with it. Um, yeah. That's a cool story. So... So I was quite happy to get rid of the um, Voltron for a swap for the Ghost because I, I personally would rather have the Ghost. Yeah, you know if you're a Star Wars fan, you would. Yeah. yeah. 
But I can see why people would like the Voltron set. And, and to, going back to me always wanting the sets that I get rid of, that's just me being greedy. But I would have it again for the sake of having all the ideas sets if I, if I was going to collect all the yeah. ideas. I've got to be honest, Lego ideas is a very good thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I enjoy building them. Not all of them. I think there's there's quite a few misses, like that Adventure Time set. That sat on yeah. shelf down here for years. Nobody wanted that. Um, but I like all the space stuff. Mm. I like that um, Tron one that came out as well. That was a favorite. Yeah, do you know what? I went up to Leicester Square. I was there for a signing for that. Oh, were you? Yeah, I bought two of them. They were signed by the designers. That was quite cool. Oh, nice, nice. I was always a fan of those bikes in Tron, so. Yeah, and they look good. It was like, it was one of those really funny things, really. It was all sort of animated to a certain degree. It was like real life, but they animated it with the blue neon effects and stuff like that. But it was oh. simple. It worked, didn't it? It looked really good. Cutting edge at the time, wasn't it? It was cutting edge graphics. But I quite like the new one as well. I like the new version of the movie. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the new one. I wouldn't go out of your way to see it, but if it, if it's on, I would uh, I would check it out. It's worth worth a watch. Uh, Lego Loser Production says, "Hey, Nicoletta." Uh, Nicoletta says, "Mr. Blue Toys, thanks." <laughs> Master says, "Lego I'm ideas." Like, it's a great thing. It's a brilliant <laughs> thing. Lego ideas. I'm yeah. reading Doc's uh, comment there. Doesn't like Voltron, but like Star Trek. It's a Washbrook scene. No cancelling you today. <laughs> I'm not a huge Star Trek fan, I have to admit. Um, but I don't mind it. I used to watch the old stuff. With, I remember I remember the old stuff being on TV. Yeah. The old Captain Kirk stuff. Uh, oh, I, didn't, I certainly didn't get into the new stuff. The stories, the stories are brilliant still. Well, especially when they updated it with the... Um... Uh, with the the effects of the planets and that, when, when the Enterprise is going circling around uh, and all that sort of stuff, but yeah, I um, I really really like uh, I really like Star Trek. And um, Doc, you might know this, but when is the um, when is the new season starting? The one with Pike. That that, that I love. I think that was miles better than uh, all the recent stuff that came out. No, 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 I like the recent stuff. I just think that was that was. Um, I think that works quite really anything with Star Trek with the Enterprise in it is, is I'm gonna love. I think I need to give it more of a more of a chance. The newer stuff. I definitely you know, I remember remember watching the old stuff when it was I on TV, Trek. the old Captain Kirk and his terrible. Well, like I said, if, if I was any sci fi character, I'd I'd always be Captain Kirk. I think he was brilliant, he was. Um as a question for everyone out there in the in the chat, who would you rather be? Han Solo or Captain Kirk? That's a good one, isn't it? Answers on a postcard. Do, 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 do. Yeah, let's know. Who would you rather be? Who would you rather be, uh, Rich? Captain Kirk or uh, Han Solo? Oh, Han Solo. Definitely Han Solo. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Definitely. I, yeah, I'm a fan of the Falcon over the um, over the Enterprise too. Okay, what ship would you rather captain the or pilot, Enterprise or Falcon? Falcon. Ah, oh, see, man, I, I, I'm I, I'll get Enterprise every day of the week. <laughs> I'd have a Star Destroyer over over all of them. Uh, here's the thing. What, who would who would win a battle then? Out uh, of the Enterprise and a and a, a, a Star Destroyer. Oh, I think the Enterprise Enterprise has got much better weaponry, doesn't it? Yeah, it's more manoeuvrable, isn't it? Well, and uh, yeah, and the, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's got pretty serious weapons as well, isn't it? The Enterprise. Yeah, photon like oodles of photon torpedoes. Uh, yeah. it, it, it could beam up for a start. They've got to, you know go on a ship or something like that to get from one place to the uh, to the other. Um, <laughs> Yeah, talk. Sleep your way across the galaxy or hang out with an oversized dog forever. Well, <laughs> when you put it like that, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think that the, the Star Destroyers were shown how rubbish they were in um, The Last Jedi when they couldn't take out a bunch of ships that were hampered sitting in front of them. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think that they'd probably be the more comfortable place to be. 
Yeah, there was Poe Dameron's ship, wasn't it? Took him out. Oh, that was the big one. Yeah, the um, what do you call it? The what do you call it? The dreadnought. Dreadnought. Yeah. Yeah, to cut all their thing. That was not the only. I've never seen anyone do a handbrake turn before in space. But <laughs> 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 those were days. Yeah, Nicoletta Star Destroyer is my best. Falcon is cool, but not really special. Brickmaster, which Enterprise? Oh, good question. Well, my favourite Enterprise is the refurb from Star Trek: The Motion Picture. That yeah. that that's it. That um, <coughs> excuse me. That six minutes on the mo the motion picture. I mean, the motion picture for most people is very boring. But I will say this, folks. One, it had the best Captain Kirk uh, costume ever. And secondly, right, it had the six minutes, purely six minutes of going around the new Enterprise to take a look at it with fantastic music. It was awesome. It really was, folks. Check it out. You'll see it all over the place on um, on YouTube. And uh, that was my favourite one. That said, I do like what they did in uh, Discovery, Star Trek Discovery, with that particular version of the Enterprise. I think that looks pretty good as well. Interesting. Interesting. Right. Ooh. I'm going to some... Uh, I have a ghost floor. Oh, blimey. Well, you're, going, you're, you're whizzing ahead of me now. Have you done the, even the back book? No, I'm just I'm just starting that now with the thrusters. Oh, it's been so long since I've built this. I, I actually really enjoy it. It's such a different, even though it's, I don't know, sort of the similar, I'm not going to say the same shape as the Falcon because, of course, it's different. But, you know, it's that sort of rounded shape. But they built it so different to the, um, the playset Falcons. Yeah, I, I gotta admit, I feel a bit funny building this before I'm building an, uh, a Falcon. It, it is a bit odd. That is kind of a strange way of doing it, isn't it, folks? You've never built any Falcon. I've never built well uh, microfire ones. I've built. They don't count. They don't really do they? Do you know what? <laughs> the, the silliest thing, right? They brought out the latest version of that microfighter. Um, I think they missed this, uh, what they should have done, in my opinion, anyway, is bring out the Kessel Run version and have Lando as the pilot of it. I think they missed the trick. That would, that would have been way too smart, though. Yeah, it's a shame. Hey, we've got uh, Tuscan Productions in the house. Hello, mate. Good to see you. Brilliant to see you here, mate. It really is. Uh, Nicholas is saying, hey, Tuscan Productions. Lots of love for him. Um, Howdy, Mr. Blue says, delicious foods. Delicious foods. What a fantastic name. Uh, <laughs> I had a homemade curry tonight, folks. That was delicious food, I'll tell you. Very, very nice. All right. Let's fit this. Uh, the right way around, of course. I had a very quick breakfast this morning, so I can't say that I've had delicious food today. <laughs> <laughs> it was all very quick and rushed. It's funny, the last couple of days, I haven't been able to sleep that well before coming on these live streams. Must be getting excited about it or something. Oh, mate, I get, I get excited. I, I couldn't believe it the other day. I kept waking up in the middle of the night thinking, Bobby, I was on Sio Connor stream. And uh, mm. I spin with Jang Briggs. That's just like my goal. That's like one of my goals of my life. That was. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you're when you're in this space, man, you know, doing something with Jang. Everyone here knows Jang. You know, everyone has seen a Jang video. Oh, no doubt about that, my friend. Anyone who's left their uh, left their their videos to auto play to the next video has seen a Jang video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's cool. It was very cool. Oh, anyway, let's get this on here. I'm getting like a back into this now, which is looking good. What I like about the ghost as well is it's really structurally sound. You know, you don't get bits popping off everywhere. Like I find that with some of those playset falcons is that they they tend to be not flimsy, but you know, if you don't grab them in the right place, sometimes they're you can sort of collapse all the panels, mm. um, things like that. Really easy to do. Really easy to do. Right. That's pretty cool. All at the same time, Doc. 
Jang, between the bricks, between the bricks, not between the bricks, um, beyond the bricks, sorry, m and and London Bridge, all at the same time? <laughs> I've streamed with Jang, beyond the brick, and m and and LBB. <laughs> you have, Doc. You have. You got around a bit. Uh, I don't think of... I've ever streamed with Doc. I'm just trying to think if I've ever been on a live stream with Doc. You must have. You must have. I thought that I had. I, I, was there. I, I, the other day. I don't I don't think I have. I'm sure you've been on. I remember, uh, I thought it was you that was on my stream once, and all of a sudden you saw, that's, everyone's talking to a puppet. What's going on? I just said, go, just go with it. Um, that's all right. Just go with it. <laughs> go with it. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'll catch it. It's not happening, it's and just go with it. <laughs> I must admit, when I first saw Doc Sampson, um, you know, that the, the the pink fluffy uh, uh, Doc Sampson come up on, on, on a stream, I was like, what the hell is this? Yeah, it's, it's mad. But we have grown to love Doc in a huge way. Oh, yeah, right? man. Big part of the community. Massive absolutely. Community. Absolutely. Absolutely. You haven't lived until you've seen a virtual news video <laughs> you certainly haven't lived unless you've been on one that's for sure well I, and you know what i i was on one once and it was just a brief very brief thing um and i was like oh, i've made it i'm on a doc samson video i've made it yeah love that song. I wasn't on it for any negative reason, which was which was also uh, heartwarming. Yeah, that's the thing. You don't want to be on it for for, for the wrong. Be very reason. be very easy to be on it for the. Um, uh, it'd be very easy to be on it for the wrong reasons. <laughs> yeah, he's like, like a tabloid. For the, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like featuring in the Sun newspaper. Yeah, in fact, don't go either way. I, I, I'm surprised the uh, the, the, the Royals, uh, the Sussexes, uh, didn't get you to interview them. Uh, they, they went for the cheaper version, getting up for Winfrey doing. They're probably hoping for some freebies. Isn't that what you get from Oprah? I don't know, man. You get a car, and you get a car. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Doc would give him a car, albeit a Lego City one, probably. <laughs> We'd much rather have that anyway. <laughs> let's face it. Doc Samson, yeah, you want to be on for the right reasons. <laughs> 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 I, I I fear that you know you don't want to be on uh, Doc Samson's streams for the wrong reasons, and you definitely don't want to be on Sand streams for or Sand's videos for the wrong reasons. That's, that's sort of similar. Regard. <laughs> He, yeah, he's he does some good stuff. He's a, he's a clever kid. Yeah, I like I like Sands videos. He needs to do more videos. This was being talked about. Was it yesterday on or the other day on um, someone's stream talking about Sands? He needs to do more videos. That boy. He, I always think he's like these days. He's like the, the the American equivalent of generic stud. I think generic stud is a, a good up and coming YouTuber. I was just watching one of his videos prior to coming on here this morning. Yeah, because I know there's a lot of people copying his style now. His style was out there. He was well ahead of everyone with doing that. But Generic stud. Yeah. I've known a lot of people trying to copy his stuff now. I, I wouldn't it's even do it. Quick, quick moving, quite witty. Um, you know, he uses lots of little graphics and sound effects and sort of really upbeat music. I, I think they're very well put together, Generic Stud's videos. Yeah, they are. They really are. Proper bits I've noticed that started putting music in his videos too. Yeah, I know. Uh, recently. I just worry I'd choose the wrong music, to be honest. Yeah, Chris, Chris, Chris's uh, uh, his production values are very high. They are. Mm. Why am I not seeing what would be one of the biggest pieces in this set? Am I going cray cray? Uh, what we got? Going on, I to lose. 
Well, Dog Samson saying, uh, Pink Wheels Free. Hey, Pink Wheels Free, how are you doing? Uh, guys, I love your Muppet, uh, Doc Samson. Well, Doc Samson is the Muppet. It's Khan that is the, uh, the, the, the Muppeteer. <laughs> I don't know what you mm. call it. Uh, Mr. Blue Toys, so Pink Wheels, hello. Pink Wheels Free, saying hi, Mr. Blue Toys as well. And uh, G Fet Jake. Hello, G Fet Jake. How are you doing, mate? Great to have you here as well. Got a few people that was on London calling last night, popping in. Mm. Uh, lovely to see you lot here. It really is. Yeah, I really enjoyed um, uh, Flynn on the on, on yesterday's show. Mate. He's, he's a nice fella. Oh yeah, I, the, Flynn really enjoyed himself as well. Actually, I, I, I was, he's such a cool guy, and you know, I'm always the thing is, I always try and blend London calling. I've got the core guys that are on there, and, uh, and I always try and mix it around and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's uh, he blended in perfectly well. And the thing is, though, it's a nice environment for everyone, and that's what I want it to be. I just want everyone to enjoy themselves. That's all I ever ask, folks. Yeah. Uh, no, it's always always good fun. Always good fun. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, it's like it's a, it's a bit like when I do the super chats and stuff like that, and people give them on that. I always try and give something back to them. I mean, one, I always appreciate people supporting the channel, and two. Um, you know, I'll give them a good shout out on uh, on Instagram and stuff like that. So, you know, I've never had a super chat. How sad is that? Have you not? No, never had a super chat. I tell you what, I love it. I love it. It's, it's one of the nicest things. You know, one of my favorite. I mean, I mean, one of my favorite ones, most heartfelt super chat I ever had, folks, was from from uh, uh, Sai O'Connor's daughter. That's uh, oh, yeah. team. Yeah, it, she gave me. I think it was two. Two dollars seventy-seven or something like that. I said, "Why? This is pocket money." Uh, and that, uh, that meant more to me than anything else ever, folks. Yeah. It really did, and it makes you want to strive on and do better stuff, you know. Yeah. Uh, next time I, I see you, Jamie, mate, I'll give you a super chat. I'll be your first. <laughs> that's, that's all right, mate. That's all right. I'm not that worried. I set up a gra like a uh, a gift for it at one point, and I was, like, I was like, "I've never ever used that gift. Actually, it's never come up." <laughs> Oh, my! Well, it's it's not a sad thing. It's okay. I don't, I don't, I don't live stream as much as others. Anyway. For it. Maybe I should have paid him to come on this stream with me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> the thing oh. is, right? If, if we were in this for making money, mate, we would we'd be in the wrong thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't even want to monetize. In all honesty, I never ever wanted to monetize. Uh, yeah. But it's only that Lego, not Lego, YouTube, I should say, are forcing adverts on your on your videos now. That I thought, well, I might as well try and make some pennies out of it. Um, honestly, folks, you, you don't make much. Uh, the whole of London calling last night. Um, that that had two 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 hundred and ten hours of viewable time on that, and made two p on it. Uh, Is that right? Yeah, two p. Wow. Uh, so much you get for that. But if you get, do you, two, set, do you set ads up straight away? So, like when you're setting it up, you're going back and click ads on. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have ads on, but I mean, I, I, I only do it because they're going to put them on there anyway. Yeah. So I might as well make 2p out of it. And uh, you know, <laughs> it, uh, honestly, <laughs> folks, <laughs> I've got, I got Doc, Doc, you're on here. Yeah, Doc is on here. Where is he? Here he is. There's Doc Samson, folks. There he is. If I just make it big. But let me show you this, folks. There's, there's a little story behind this. It's called London Wall. There is actually a place in England, in London. It's an old Roman. Uh, wall. I think it was kind of like 40 AD or 400 AD, one of them two. I wasn't around. That's down by Tower Bridge. That's it, yeah. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, so, no, no. so I thought I'd do this, do some nice big bricks, call it London Wall, and then um, people like Scalador, Doc Samson, Victoria Fisher, people had tricky bricks on there, which I haven't, which I haven't spelt properly, by the way, um, and Cafe Corner. Got there. And then what happens is I then take a photograph of that, and then put it on Instagram the next day uh, in my story. So that's kind of my way of saying thank you and giving, and, you know, and just sort of saying thank you. But yeah, I always appreciate it, folks. I really do. Every little, and I'm not joking, folks, every little really helps. Tesco going cha ching. We'll have you for that. <laughs> well, did, 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 did you get, <laughs> did you get a copyright story? Oh, man, that'd be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, 
Yeah, basically, if I've got a copyright strike on this video, folks, it will it will cost me all of two p. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, every little helps. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to take the hit. Well, we were taking the Mickey out of Tech Productions on his uh, on his channel the other day because we were saying like, you know, uh, bright red, bright yellow, which is the Monkey Kid colours. It reminds us of McDonald's. It's the sort of thing Ronald McDonald will be driving around in. You know, it's all it, you know. So now, when Tech Productions, we, we, we suggested this to him. He's not as keen as we are on it, folks, in all honesty. But we say to him, like, at the end of his videos now, instead of doing this little animation that he does, saying, hey, thanks for watching. This has been Thomas from Tech Productions. We're sort of saying to him that he should go, <laughs> and, <laughs> and that's it. That should be his phrase. But he's not keen on the idea at the moment, folks. But we're no, trying no. We, we're going to wind him down. Really surprised he's not taking marketing advice from you, Greg. I know, mate. I know. You, know, you can only learn from the best, but we'll... <laughs> and, you can only lead the horse to water like they say <laughs> exactly my friend exactly <laughs> he's a good lad i love a bit of tech uh, uh, he's a good boy man. He's a yeah, he's, boy. he's a really good lad um i, I, I enjoy doing my, my london tech with him actually folks if you're interested to know what london tech's all about check it out in the description below you'll find a link down there to his channel as well um I don't know. I, just, I, I love it. I like doing different collaborations with people. I tell you, one of the biggest collaborations I did last year was with Doc Sampson because me and Doc both built the Voltron together. Oh, and, did you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. It was. Um, it was. I think we agreed we were all going to be on his channel. But anyway, for some reason or other, I can't remember why, it ended up being on my channel. And um, it was every Sunday for about five weeks. It was. <laughs> and even some, <laughs> so, some of them we even. God, uh, I remember, what one was it, Doc? It was the middle one, wasn't it? That's right. It was the middle one that we, it, it took us about like a, a session and a half, it did. And, uh, oh, my, yeah, we got a super chat. Hey, I love a super chat. Sorry, folks, it does make me a little bit excited. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, Pink Wills 3 says, meant to donate on Friday. Thanks for the fun. Ah, oh, Pink Wills, honestly, that's awesome. Now, Pink Wills, here, um, where would you like to go, Pink Wills, as well as giving you a shout out on Instagram tomorrow? And if you are on Instagram, please do connect with me because I do want to, um, uh, I'll look out for you anyway. But if you are on Instagram, because some people, they're completely different names on Instagram. Um, where would you like to go? Top, middle, or bottom? Tell me where you'd like to go. And, uh, and I'll pop you there. Thank you so much, Pink Wheels. That really does mean a lot. And it really does, folks, honestly. Every little helps. Because let's face it, Lego ain't cheap, is it? Um, so no, thank no you. Very Bob. Yeah, thank you as well. Yeah, the other oh, lions. Yeah, sorry, Doc. I can't, I can't remember. They're tigers, they're lions. I really can't. Zachary's <laughs> uh, Lego comes out. He says, what's your favourite theme of the Lego set, London Bridge Weeks? Do you know what? Uh, right at this moment, my favourite Lego theme is Ninjago. Being all honest, not Star Wars. I like Lego ideas. I think that's a good one. The creative ones, I think, are fantastic. Um, so yeah, I, and Doc, I bought the Porsche the other night as well. Did you Did you buy anything yesterday, Richard? Yourself? No, 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 no. I got all my stuff last week because I got all the March first stuff. Um, yeah, from the store when it came in on the twenty sixth of February, I think it was. Oh yes. Hey, don't forget to let me know that um, that toy shop you, you mentioned to me one time. Oh, yes. I sent the link through to Tech. I, I don't know if he's managed to check it out. Um, what's it called? Pandemonium Toys, I think it's called. That's it. Oh, that's the name. Yeah, I remember the name. Over in Mortlake. Just literally about, what, spitting distance from Mortlake Station. You could probably see it when you step out of the station, so... It wouldn't be a major for you guys to, to go and check it out. Yeah. Because you go yeah, into I'd London that like way, I'd like to. Yeah, I, I wanna if I can get some sets a little bit earlier, that'd be grand. Zachary's Lego Club. Uh what is your favorite theme? Uh as well, Zachary. I'm interested to know what your one is as well. It's called yeah, call it tigers every week. Yeah, sorry, Doc. I still do. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I did I call it bears <laughs> once. <laughs> Honestly, I am yeah, I don't know. Brother, you're lucky I didn't call them skunks. Uh, in all honesty, <laughs> <laughs> create your expert and ideas. Yeah, create your expert and ideas. I'll tell you what, very, very, two very good set. Albeit, Lego, uh, create your expert now. They call it 18 plus, which I think is boring as hell. Somebody did ask very early on in the chat, and I've only just remembered it now, what you thought of the haunted house 
Have you got that one? No, I haven't got it, but I do fancy it. I have to say, I do fancy it, mate. I recommend it wholeheartedly. I've I've got three of them, to be honest. <laughs> I've got one built. I got I got two broken up in the Bricklink store, um, but uh, they that is a cool set. And I think um, I tell you what it has done is that that set being released has brought the price down on the old Monster Fighters Haunted House, because the most expensive piece in that old Monster Fighters Haunted House was the corner roof pieces, those black one by a uh, two by two by three corner slopes. Mm -hmm. They were about eight dollars each, if I remember rightly. Wow. Um, and they've yeah they've been brought down in price because of that set. So. Okay. Um, I tell you what, we we'll do put you right here, Pink Wheels. But I'm a I'm a big fan of that haunted house. Big fan. Yeah. What did you um, What did you like about it specifically? The because the, it's lots of. Do you know what, what I like about that set is there's there's lots of references to other Lego themes in it, isn't there? That's exactly. There's just a lot going on on it. It's got a massive organ on the inside that you have to build. It's got. Um, um obviously those throwbacks it's got a light brick it's got a ride um it's a cool build there's a there's a bit of repetitiveness to it building that tower in the center but the way the ride because it's one of those drop rides the way it stops using the wheels and the tires to slow it down is very very clever it's well engineered and have you motorized it as well nah 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 it's got a little wind up on the back Hey, cheers, Zachary's Lego Club. Thanks for the sub, man. I appreciate that. Always appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Uh, just going to make this a little bit bigger, just so pink wheels. Nice. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, that pink wheels. Pink wheels free. Put the S in there. I've got enough room in there for the S. Oh, Thank you so much. There you go, folks. There we go. London walls forming quite nicely there. <laughs> the London you, wall. I do appreciate it, mate. You were uh, subbing over to Brick Soon. Does some wicked stuff on his channel. Great reviews, anyway. Um, appreciate it. There we go. Thanks, Big Will. Really appreciate that. You're a star. I'm going to do something here. Hold on. Uh, how about this for a, for a piece? You lovely lot out there in the chat. Check that out. Is that the strangest uh, one by two brick you've ever seen? That is a very strange piece. I think I first saw it in, in that, in this, in this set, but then I've since seen it in, it was in something else as well. And I remember going, oh, that was that piece from the ghost. <laughs> um, yeah, very, very strange piece, isn't it? It's, it's bizarre, uh, in all honesty. Let's see if this works. What are you missing, mate? Nothing. Oh, I thought you were missing something. No, I thought I'd just do something with the minifig since I am. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. So, hang on, I'll just be two sets. I can hear my daughter crying. Yeah, no worries, man. What's happened? Oh. Hello. <laughs> Bleeding toe. Oh, it's cool, man. No, she's all right. She's, um, she was just out in the garage and she's, she's run her toe over with a chair. Oh, she, she hadn't trod on some of your Lego out there or something like that. She bloody, she bloody better not have. I don't want blood all over it. <laughs> Ezra comes with the Phantom, Doc. Um, the only other one you get with this, which I haven't got to yet in my instructions, is Zeb. I'll chuck him on in a minute. But, yeah, it's um, Ezra, Ezra and what's the um, the droid? I can't remember the name of the bloody droid. Buckethead or something, isn't it? Is that the one? No. Yeah, that one. Uh, yeah. Um, Sorry, that's resistance. Um, oh, I think it begins with C. I can't remember. I will remember in a second. It'll come to me. Oh, you, you, you not out there? Tell it. You tell us what it is. I think the best minifigs actually came with the Phantom Two, though. 
because you got the blind can uh, cannon, um, yeah. and then you got Thrawn. Yeah, Thrawn's oh. fantastic. Um, and you got and you got the droid with that one as well, didn't you? Yeah, he he, he was kind of you know it's like the R two D two, isn't he? He's the he comes with everything. What's his name? Uh, a chopper, that's it. Chopper, chopper of that's the, yeah, yeah, chopper. Yeah, fake, absolute fake fans. Yeah, definitely, definitely fake fans. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did watch Rebels years ago, folks. I loved it. They, yeah, I'm, I must admit that I haven't watched all of Rebels, and I've kind of got it on my list to watch. I have. I've seen the, you know a lot of the early episodes, but I, I haven't, yeah. haven't watched them all. Ooh. Hey, Brixish, how are you? That. Hey, Brixish. Yeah, no, Sabine. Sabine came with. What did Sabine come with? Was it the ATAP? I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, Sabine came with something completely different. Uh, Sabine. I thought it was Sabine, because Sabine also came in the... Um, Microfighter Ghost, and I've got that. The Microfighter Ghost, but also there's a version of Sabine in, was it last year's or the year before Advent Calendar? Ah. Oh, I didn't know that. Which was a really cool Sabine as well, actually. But no, you didn't get any helmet. Oh. Did you get a helmet with a microfighter? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you do. I have. Do you know what? I've, I've taken it all apart because I was going to make a short out of it. Um, I, I didn't look at it properly, but I think you do. I'm pretty sure you do. It's the same figure. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Not sure. Not sure. Hashtag fake fan. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Hey, Definitely. Big Star Wars boy. <laughs> Thanks for the comment. <laughs> right. It's got there's some quite big uh technic pieces in this set, isn't there? Yeah, and and it, that's what makes it so so structurally uh, structurally sound as well. And these big pieces on the side. I remember pulling it apart, it's a pain in the backside. I bet it was. Yeah. yeah thanks for doing that for me as well, by the way. That's all right. Yeah, because when I picked it up, it was all together. So I can't believe I missed that piece though. One of these. Yeah, well, look, because I've got all these. I've got yellow. See the yellow one in there? Yeah. I do have a spare orange one as well, man. I, I could have sent it to you. Well, one day when I order something from you, you can send it over to me then. Oh, yeah, because you'll be putting in a massive order for the Bricklink store, won't you? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> that random brick, if you're still out there, man. I'll be looking forward to your orders starting to come through. Clean me out so I can go buy more. I'll tell you what was broken on yours, Greg. There was something that was broken that I replaced. Oh, uh, what was that, mate? These tiny little white cheese slopes, one by one cheese slopes. They were just, um, one was cracked in the corner, so. Love that is a good spot. Yeah, I, I only noticed it when I was put, when I was pulling it off. I could see it, it looked like a little like a little hair on it or something. So I gave it a rub and it didn't come off. So I was like, "That's cracked. We'll replace that." And you get a spare one of those in pretty much everything that you you know oh, every every time you get a cheese slope, you'll get a spare one. So I had plenty of them. Yeah, no, cheers, dude. Appreciate that. Yeah, all, good. all good. All good. Yeah, I used to keep my um, my spare Lego upstairs uh, in the loft. Uh, but I was so fed up with keep going up there and putting the new sort of spare Lego, or if I needed something, I needed to get it quickly. I just brought it all down. In all honesty, it's, it's actually changed my life for the better, folks. Really. <laughs> <laughs> you um, you haven't, you've got a, a proper loft you can get up into. Yeah, yeah, it's all boarded and everything like that. Yeah, ah, pink wheels. Yes, it's the Imperial Tie Carrier. That's what it is. That um, Ooh, what do they good. call them? Gazantes or something. I can't remember what they, they called that one. Yeah, I, I agree. Clone Wars and Rebels definitely definitely um, give good good backstory to some of the some of the parts of the Mandalorian, of course. Yeah, I mean, you, you've got to really if you've got Boba Fett in there and um, other Mandalorians and that. Really really Interestingly, though, well, I, I was reading the uh, description for the Mandalorian battle pack that came out, and yep. they all, all the characters in it get described as being bounty hunters. 
But it's not a gimme that every single Mandalorian was actually a bounty hunter. No. So I think no. someone... There's a strange little battle pack. Everyone thought that was going to be sold out. They were changing hands for big money down here because everyone thought that they needed to go and grab them. Yet you can still walk into a store today and, and pick it up. Yeah, and it, it, it's counted here this week in, on Amazon for nine pounds. So You know what has been discontinued here? And I'm intrigued to know if it's actually been discontinued everywhere else because it's literally like the skew is gone and everything from the stores. And I know that because I have some uh, inside information there. But the 501st Battle Pack, that first run, and it's yeah. gone, completely gone. Oh, okay. So I mentioned it to Ryan, and Ryan was like, no, 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 no. They're still going to be producing that one for a while. Yeah. Um, and I'm not going to argue with, with, with Ryan, of course, but... Um, uh, no, I went back to my store and no, they're not bringing out any more. They've deleted the catalog number and everything. No, really? Yeah. Well, down here, I don't know if it's different where you guys are, but I can't see how it would be different. It's been removed from all shop websites here and, and everything. You, you, What's in stores, if you can find it, is what's out there. I'll tell you what, I know he's going to go plenty of them, and that's tech. Blimey, he's, he's got about 30 boxes of them. Yeah, well, he's sitting on a gold mine as far as New Zealand goes. <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've, I've heard from a very, very good source that it has been discontinued or, or pulled. It seems, uh, that seems very premature to me, though, to do that. Now. Very premature. Well, given that the Mando battle pack is still out there. I, I know they've, they're, they're pulling, aren't they, or pulled the ATST radar. Yes. Yeah, because of the Cara character. I mean, that's just driven the price up of that. I mean, even I went out and bought one of those folks, and I've even I've, I've got one. Um, but you know, it's going to be that one ATST Raider is actually a really cool set. Yeah, that's my next build with um, with Tech. Actually, that's our next versus. The uh, he's got the ATST Raider, and I've got the ATST from the Rogue One uh, way. They're very similar, very similar builds. Yeah, because the figures though on each of them are quite different. Um, this is called the minifigs um, uh, for the ATST Raider. Uh, those those two, whatever you want to call, I can't even remember the name of the characters, but those two are pretty much throwaway. Yeah, but it's all about um, Cara. Cara, yeah. isn't it? But with the and let me know, girls and boys, what you think about this out in the chat as well. The um, one of the characters that came with the ATST from the Rogue One. Is um oh bow baz something or other bow something. Let's have a look. Um, well the what the other ATST, sorry. Yeah, on the on the rogue one one. Uh, let's have a look. Uh pretty set. Let's have a Blaze. Look. Is it Blaze? Blaze? Blaze Malberts or something his name is. Um mm -hmm. oh, fantastic. And I'd like to have known a little bit more about his backstory in all honesty. Yeah, I liked him. Him and Chirrut Imwe. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I would like to have seen that, even if it was an animated series or something like that. Yeah. I like Cheriton where he was cool. Um, and he only came with the tank, didn't he? Yes, he did. Oh, I, bought him, I, bought him, I bought two of him separately. So he came with loads of weapons. Yeah. Oh, he was a cool minifig. Very, very cool minifig. One that will probably be very hard to find. Um <laughs> I, I am with the force and the force is one with me or something like that. Yes, I am one with the force. And, yeah. <laughs> Doc Samson, he goes, you two are really, really. Doc, you've got the blooming Google there in front of you. <laughs> uh, Pete Will says, um, <coughs> my daughter and I uh, have to explain everything from Rebels of the Clone uh, that they reference in the Mandalorian to my husband while pausing the show. <laughs> that must be tedious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely an old forgetful boomer. Um, I'm not a boomer. <laughs> I'm a Gen X. I won't, I won't quite go as far as boomer. Um, uh, I'm, I'm MTV generation. I am. That's what I call mine. <laughs> I definitely don't have boomer thinking, I can tell you that. But I am a forgetful uh, whatever that word is. Well, the thing is, though, when, when you're live, you know, anything can happen. Well, I, I find this is what I find hard to, not hard to do, but trying to control a chat build and 
keep an entertain a stream entertaining it's quite a hard thing to do you know yeah i'll tell you what folks his energy is happy that's for sure um but i do enjoy it though that's the thing i, I think people do I, I think people are generally speaking are much more um you know they, they kind of empathize more especially mm -hmm. if you're you know if you've got a build cam i think people like to see a build cam no one has just got three out of focus minifigs in front of it. Yeah, uh, that'd be a bit tedious. <laughs> right, <laughs> that bit tech. Uh, where have I lost this piece? There it is. Damn. Actually, Doc, I'm not doing too bad on this, in all honesty. What are you up to? Uh, I'm nearly up to bag three. I'm quite pleased with progress here. Um, progress is good. Progress yeah, is good. Okay. I'm quite enjoying this. This is, this is. I tell you what. This is. This reminds me of the 20th anniversary Slave One. In all honesty, that was a really solid build as well. That one. That's that's wicked build, mate. Honestly, you could throw that thing on the floor and it probably wouldn't break. That the, the, that handle that they built into it, brilliant. Mm. And I tell you what, that's going for about 150 pounds now. That's it. Wait, you know, that was going at 25% off over here only two or three weeks ago, and you could find it in some stores. And I, I actually went to go and see if I could find some for the Bricklink store because the minifigs alone in that are, are worth a lot of money, you know? Yeah, the, the 20th anniversary ones that came with that. I forget which one it was now. It was uh, Leia, wasn't it, that came with that one? Was it Leia? I think it, uh, maybe it was. Yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't I remember. Think that was even the, that was the bounty oh, hunter, that was the, uh, the expensive minifigs, and that's it. Uh, not the 20th uh, anniversary figs. I like those 20th anniversary figs. Yeah, yeah, I've got them all lined up um, on display in a little cabinet. I'm not really a big minifig collector, I must say. Like, you'd be, well, Polina, the, the girl, the Russian girl that I, I've been, I, I started the YouTube channel with, she, um, She's horrified how I, because she's a minifig collector. So she's horrified how I keep my minifigs. Every time she comes over here or we start talking about minifigs, she's always wanting to know if she can have any of mine because she thinks I don't care about them. But they're all in just a bucket out in the um, in the garage. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my God. And a massive, and they're bagged up per set. Don't get me wrong. They're all in individual bags as per what set they come with. But yeah, yeah they don't get displayed or anything like that. They're, they're just put away. But I will, what I'm going to do is on this wall here, this wooden wall that I hate, is I'm going to put a big frame there with really thin shelving for minifigs. So that problem will hopefully uh, be resolved sooner than later. What shelf are you going to put them on there? Oh, I'm going to create like a big sort of picture frame thing here. Yeah. I think it's a piece of wood that I've seen is 1.2 by 1.2. Yeah. Uh, and I'll just do, you know, shelves that are about three or four or three inches apart so that I can do a, um, a minifig display. Which okay. I'm going to be worth, worth doing. A forgetful old codger. Not we all. Am I the forgetful? Are, are you calling me one, Doc? Or are, you, are you saying that you're one too? Because I'll he's happily probably, accept that I'm one. He's probably forgotten. He's probably forgotten what he was talking about here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when are you guys out of, out of lockdown over there? Um, in about six weeks. Six weeks. Wow. Yeah, man. A while away yet. Yeah. yeah, got a little way to go. Yeah, but we we we're massively vaccinating the population over here at the moment. Yeah, we're not yet. We're doing really well. I I think our jabs have just started turning up. I think that's. I don't think we've we've sort of been uh, fitting on the uh, the world priority list. We we were we were ahead of everyone else in the world. Apparently, we, we said yes to it and we got them in. We're we're now vaccinating the age, age groups of forty to fifty year olds now. So yeah, that's um well ahead of the curve. Like I think they have started vaccinating here, but I think it's just all the guys on the borders at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fair enough. And, you know, like teachers, nurses, uh, yeah, frontline services, they have to get done first. Yeah. I'll give it to the teachers so I can send my kids back to school for sure. 
because we just went on a, a quick flash lockdown last week. Yeah, tell us about that, mate. So what happened was is there was a case that came out a couple of weeks back, about a month back, sorry, that was sort of connected back to the border. And they managed to get on top of that pretty quick. Like we locked down for like a couple of days just so that they could get, you know, make sure that they had captured all the cases, etc. But then another case came up uh, that they couldn't connect to anything. Mm. So it was like, okay, there's some sort of community transmission out there. We can't figure out where it's come from, etc. Um, so we went into another lockdown immediately. Uh, but it turns out this person, they, they, they have managed to connect it now back to the other the other cluster. But mm. this person started feeling crap on the beginning of whatever week it was. Um, Tuesday lost their bloody sense of taste and smell. Mm -hmm. uh, Wednesday went to the doctor. And then Friday went and got their vaccination. I uh, went and got their test, sorry, whatever mm -hmm. it was. Um, and then went to the gym straight afterwards. Oh, God. Yeah. So it was just... You know, people down here, because we have been, let's say, held to very high regard around the world as to how we've handled it, mm. you know, we've been we've been used as an example as to how well we've done. Um, people are really angry about it. Yeah, you know, people are really really upset, and I I dare say, mate, if it's if we if we get another lockdown like that, we'll probably get some sort of pitchfork mob out yeah. there. It's, yeah, we're at that it's got to be responsible, you know. People are really and upset about it. You got to protect yourselves, protect your families. We've got to protect the NHS. Uh, you know the life, the lifeblood of the. It's starting to sound like one of Boris's slogans. I know, mate, but you got to. That's the thing. That's why you do it, and you got to protect each other. It's you know complete strangers, but you're safeguarding them as well. Yeah, well, this is just the contempt of some some people here. They're just dumb, just dumb. You know, we've like someone said something. You know, one of the the people said that they oh we weren't sure whether we had to isolate or not. You know, or after we got the jab, and it's like that message has been pumped into us now for three uh, for for a year. It's been a year now. Um, it's probably been just under a year since we came out of our first lockdown. So to say that you didn't wow. know what you were meant to do after yeah. getting tested. It was an absolute little fib. Yeah, but it made, made a lot of people here angry. It's just a major inconvenience for me, though, because we're going to have the kids home from school, you know, like it's... And I mean that with all due respect to them, but um, I'd rather they were at school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how they cope with it? And to be honest, we don't. I haven't really bothered with the whole homeschooling thing. My boy's doing really, really well at school. My daughter's at kindy, so she doesn't really need to have any homeschooling done. But my boy's doing really well at school. That I'm, I'm just letting him do what he wants while he's at home. It's it's just easier. He does a bit of reading and and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm not worried about the homeschooling side of things. If it went on a lot longer, I'd probably be a bit more worried about it. But these little short ones, pretty easy. Yeah. Is that right, Doc? You're going to have, like, they, they reckon they'll have the whole country vaccinated by the end of April? I find That's that. Right. I mean, America's a big place, man. But I tell you what, I think their new president is making some positive uh, moves out yeah. there. Not, mm -hmm. not that I want to get political, uh, Doc, but I'm hearing good things anyway. There we go, folks. That is the end of bag two. Is that right? Mm. Let's take a picture. That, folks, yeah, folks, is a few steps ahead of Greg. Oh, yeah, that is actually looking like a ghost. Yeah, I'm getting there. Getting there. Super cool build, man. Super cool build. I actually, yeah, I really, I really rate the set. I'm glad I'm building it again. Hey, Mama Lego. Mama Lego, by the way, your um, your avatar, that's the that's the monument, that is. Like, literally a stone's throw away from London Bridge, if, uh, if I'm correct in saying that. Is that monument? Yeah, I think it's monument. It's the monument. I remember my first summer in London, I went up there and I was shocked at what I saw from up there. Because you're in that 
financial district. Mm. It was the height of summer, right? Mm -hmm. And all I looked down, and every little small grass patch that there was, there was some guy <laughs> sitting there or some lady sitting there in their undies pretty much trying to get some sun. Yeah, man. <laughs> It was a horrible sight. All these pasty white people out in the sun. <laughs> oh, I'm never going out there again. Pasty white people. Okay. It was frightening. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, Pink wheels, yeah. Look, New Zealand is not a bad place to be locked down, to be honest. Uh, I was going to take a photo the other day of what I had to look at every day in lockdown. I've got some dramatic hills down there, and I'm, I'm living on the, the edge of a forest. And up until pretty much yesterday or the day before, it has been the height of summer here. So, oh. yes, there could be much places in the world to be locked down for sure. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate that. I'm extremely lucky. I didn't realize you lived on the edge of a forest, so do I. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm right in what they call the, the white hackeries. It's basically where everybody hides the bodies when they kill people in Auckland. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm right at the foot of it. So the beaches are just down over here, um, over that way, and then the forest is up this way. Well, yeah, I bet you guys are never too far away from a forest. Uh, sorry, from a beach. No. No, a beach is about a two-minute drive. Right, where am I going with that? Now this is one, so that shows two. Oh, okay. Now we don't get that many forest fires, Doc. We we get a we get a few. Um, we get a few down here, but yeah, nothing nothing crazy. Not like Australia. We don't get those big. You know, one California has had a few bad ones, Doc, hasn't it? California, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. It's an like, area bigger than England. Yeah. Same with Australia, though. Do you know, there was a time, I'll tell you what, it was the day that I bought this camera, this M50. I remember going into the shop and yeah. it was all that, you know, that uh, fake, you know, the, the, the in inside lights, you know, the office sort of style lights. Uh, and I went out and the you could see that the clouds had all been tainted by the forest fires in Australia. Mm. So we had this really weird day where everything was orange and yellow outside. It looked like the apocalypse was coming out. Eh? It was, it was, oh, no, man. Really? It was pretty bad. But yeah, that was the, the forest fires coming over from Australia. Or well, the smoke. Yeah, I bet your government didn't appreciate that coming over from Australia. No, no, no. The Australians we can we can tolerate, but <laughs> Not their major disasters. I've got that. I need that there. I'm missing. I'm missing a one by eight. Any hobbits in the forest out here? Uh, no, no, no. Not that I've seen in a while. <laughs> They've been there, though, mate. They've been there. They have. They have been there. My mum's a bit of a hobbit. She's quite short. <laughs> she doesn't count. She doesn't hang in the forest. Ah, there you are. <laughs> there is a place called um, Hobbiton, um, which is like a a, a, yeah. good to see you, dude. A bit of an attraction, sort of just a couple hours south from here. Dan, who, who Doc knows, the other the other guy who does Lego streaming and stuff from here, he was yeah. there only last week. He loves the place. A massive Lord of the Lord of the Rings fan. Yeah, I never really got into Lord of the Rings. I, really, I do appreciate the movies, though. I really like the movies, but I, I never, like, a bit like Harry Potter, really. I kind of appreciate them, but from a distance. Yeah, Harry Potter, like, I need to I need to get into Harry Potter more because my, my boy loves it. Yeah, uh, I can definitely see the appeal. I think he's quite magical. I really do. Uh, it just doesn't, I just haven't, you know, I like the set. I even like the sets. Uh, yeah. Maybe, um... Hey, maybe I should watch the movies or something back. We've bought a lot of the sets. Oh, my boy is really into it, right? Yeah, so we've bought a lot of the Harry Potter sets, but I have been completely put off because we were sort of trying to get all the sets since 2018. Yeah. But I'm 
really, really going to stop doing that. Well, the books that came out have put me off maintaining that buying every set because I think the books are pretty crap, to be honest. Um, but then seeing these new ones come out, like this new version of Hogwarts with a golden figure or whatever it is, it's like we've just bought the Great Hall, you know, and I've only literally bought that that big one, that massive Hogwarts a couple of years back. So, yeah, I don't know. What, is, what does everyone else think about those new... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I've ever asked, asked a chat before. What, where are your themes that you're, you guys are into out there? Because I was asking uh, earlier on somebody, but yeah, you guys out there got a particular theme that you like? I'm, I bet there's a few Lego Star Wars fans out there. Mm. But. I absolutely love Lego Star Wars, but I get more joy out of building some of the other sets. Uh, like I'm not, I don't enjoy Lego Star Wars every single set. Like, for example, that Flower Fruit Mountain that I built the other day, that was so enjoyable to build that I would build that over a lot of Lego Star Wars sets. Mm. Did you like uh, building? I, I, sometimes I like building stuff because the colours are just different. I think that means yeah. a lot. And this is why I really like that Ninjago City Gardens. And you'll, you'll appreciate that when you build your docks and city as well. There's, mm. there's just so much detail they pack into such small areas. Like. Anyone out? Anyone out there built that uh, Ninjago City Gardens? Um, the there's a video game in it, like a little sort of video game cabinet that's only four studs wide by about five studs tall, but it's got a working play feature in it that looks like the video game's being played. <laughs> you know, it's, it's that cool. Uh, in the city, they've got a little money machine that just keeps popping out money. You know. Like, and then there's a drinks machine in the docks that, that keeps popping out cans of drink. Just really, really clever, small details that, I don't know, that I just don't think you'd get in a, in a Star Wars set. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. That, that's why I like it, because it, it, there's a narrative to what you're building, and mm. you, you immerse yourself in it so much more. Mm. So here's the thing, folks. Here's another question for everyone out in the chat. What would you build first if you was me? Ninjago City, Ninjago Docks, or, of course, Ninjago City Gardens? Tell me in the chat which one you'd like to go. Say Gardens, City, or Dock, one or the other. I'm interested to know. And Dock, you're not allowed to say Dock. <laughs> Purely because it's... <laughs> but, uh, you know, the problem is with those sets is that if you go and buy the... And then Jago City Gardens now, mm. you are going to want the docks and the city. Absolutely. Yeah. No questions asked, hands down. Mm. Because, like I say, I've just put them all, all three sets together on the kitchen table now. My God, they look great together. I, I bet they do, mate. I bet they look Such amazing. an imposing uh, setup. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. And I, I couldn't believe that the City Gardens is actually – a decent little chunk taller than the um, than Ninjago City as well. <laughs> Andrew Nixon, top idea, mate. What's that? Uh, Andrew Nixon saying, uh, nope, said through, going through my awesome used Lego tub. I'm going to go and have a beer. I'll keep this running while I'm gone. Top man, dude. <laughs> I appreciate that. Keep going through uh, that tub, mate. Oh, yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff I need to do. Did I tell you about those um, modulars that I picked up a couple of weeks back? No. Yeah. I managed to get the deal of the century on some modular buildings. Uh, I got the Grand Emporium. Yeah. Uh, Green Grocer. Oh, nice. Pet Shop and Market Street. Um, and they're, they're missing a few bits, but they were just... A lady that uh, I, I know here through so the kids' schools said, my kids don't play with them anymore, so I don't want them anymore. So I now <laughs> Some very right. expensive modulars. And you got a good price for them? I didn't pay anything for them. That's what Blimey. I'm saying. Yeah, really? they're all in, the, all in the box. I've got them all sitting there. I've oh, done an God. inventory on the pet shop. I need a few pieces for that. The green grocer... Uh, looks like it needs a couple of tiles that have broken. There's a couple of those dark red tiles. Yeah. Um, look, look, these these sets have been played with. You know, they've they've been part of somebody's collection and been played with for a while. That they don't have any idea of you know what what they're worth or anything like that. Um, the Grand Emporium is, is sitting there. It's all complete, all built. 
No issues. Oh, wow. So, mate, that is a result. That is. Yeah, absolute result. <laughs> absolute result. So. Yeah, that is a cool result. Hey, we've got Snap in the house. Hey, Snap. Snap saying, even all, uh, I have built them all. Uh, tough call, so I would say in order. City Docs, City Docs Garden. Garden. Same with yeah. Pink Wheel said that as well. City Doc yeah. Garden. Yeah. See, I'd go the other way. I'd go Gardens City Docs now. I think yeah, Gardens. No, I, feel, I feel like I should do them in maybe in order. It's, it's got to be in order or reverse order, hasn't it, really? No, nah, uh, Docs is definitely the worst out of the three for me. And yeah. that was the middle one. So, so yeah, it's definitely Gardens City Docs. Okay, interesting. I, t I, I tell you what, right? Uh, hey, listen, hello, everyone. You boys dragging out the bills. God, that's 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 coming from me. That's saying something. That is blimey. Hey, yeah, Solo. Uh, <laughs> how are you doing, Solo? Uh, Solo's actually got a ghost. Uh, is it happens? He's got one to build as well. Yeah, uh, should have been on here yeah. building one with us. Yeah, yeah, Solo. If you fancy dropping in and building the ghost as well, you're more than welcome to, mate. Uh, I should have asked you that last night. But yeah, the um, uh, Pink Wheels, Pink Wheels free, right? Just so you know this, I'm doing a special stream next uh, next Saturday. And, uh, and funny you say that you like to uh, build uh, friend sets with your daughter. Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna be building next Saturday. Me, we've got people from Western Australia, people from California. Um, I'm obviously me, because I'm hosting the stream and a whole bunch of other people. We're gonna be streaming and building Lego friend sets. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Just to clarify, Greg's not going to be building friend sets with your daughter. Uh, he's going to be building with a couple of people on stream. <laughs> yeah. no, that, that would be a bit weird if I was doing that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, Greg. Um, I, 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 uh, I've been searching for that rescue boat since, since you guys have been talking about it. Tough to I help. have been looking for it. And... I've seen it down here. I can get it for like retail price. I don't really want to pay retail for it. Um, it's worth it though, mate. That's the cheapest I could buy for it. It's at 85 yeah. pounds I paid for it, and that was retail. But I already have the Lego Friends Dolphin Cruiser. Have so you? It's kind of a bit of a harder decision for me. Oh, I see. Yeah. I want two Lego Friends boats, if that makes sense. Well, I've got um I've actually bought three three Lego Friends sets now. I have. Um and I like them. I've not built them yet, folks. Um, but I will do, though. I really will. Well, I'm building the boat next week. I say it what, 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 what other ones have you got? Uh, I've got a couple that are going to be in a Lego hall. But effectively, folks, it's the uh, electric car. And what's the other one? The other one is the boat. No, it's not the boat. The balloon. Oh, the balloon. The balloon looks interesting, actually. Yeah, that does look good. I'm, I'm thinking about getting the... Um... The cinema. The cinema looks really good. That hairdressers looks good as well, mate. Yeah, I'm just thinking of some things for the for the city, you know, like some extra little buildings that, you know, because yeah, I'd fill it up a bit, you know, with sort of small things. Yeah, well, that everything I buy now revolves around the city. In all honesty, like I bought the Porsche. I got a really good deal on the Porsche, funny enough. So I bought that last night. I bought. I'll tell you what I did buy last night as well. I was going to ask you what you ended up getting because I left the stream early. Yeah, I got. I bought two. I bought. I did two orders. Order number one was the Porsche. Boom, nice and easy, super cheap as well, folks. Because American Express were doing a deal, one hundred and thirty quid on Lego, and uh, they gave me twenty quid back, which I thought was awesome. Uh, so thank you, American Express, for that. It's very, uh, very <laughs> welcome. Uh, that was. Um, uh, what else did I buy? So, of course, with that, I got all the uh, the, the what's her name set. The um, oh, what's her name? Uh, Amelia Earhart. I got her. But the uh, the other the other order I got, I got the uh, Lantern Gardens. Uh, which uh, oh yes yes the Lantern Festival. Yeah, the Lantern Festival, uh, and I bought that, and about ten minutes later, it went on back order. So I've got to wait a little bit longer for that. But all, but the other thing I got with them as well, I I got the coin, the octan coin. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. But I won't be keeping that. I'll be selling that, reinvesting it into the uh, channel. The octan coin. Yeah. Yeah. I, look, <clears throat> I, I, as much as I would like to collect some of those 
little extra. They're kind of hard for us to collect down here, you know, like. Um, oh, no, I could probably get the coin, don't get me wrong, but it's well, just another I, thing that'll sit sit around in a box here. It's, it's not worth me collecting. The thing is, right, they're selling for like 10 times that on eBay. Are they? Yeah. And that's the you got. They're worth it. You buy them for a fiver, you sell them for like 50 quid. That's crazy, eh? Uh, it is really. I mean, I'll just auction mine and hope for the best. But in all honesty, folks, it's just it's just good for me to buy because I want to invest it in back into the uh, back into the channel, buying lighting, buying equipment, and well, buying Lego. <laughs> so, the, um, here's my problem with gift with purchases, right? Yeah. I don't have a problem with people selling on gift with purchases. Like, let's say you buy. Um, you buy something and, and you get it with your your stuff or you know and you look to sort of make a little bit of money back on your on your spend or whatever something like that mm -hmm. i don't mind that at all at all what i do mind is what we the problem that we have here is that every time a gift with purchase comes out you get this massive queue of people at the lego store at 9 a.m 10 a.m who all go in and buy it and then they're all straight on facebook marketplace within the hour and yeah. you can see these people are not going in to purchase things for themselves. They'll go in and purchase. They're literally not even looking at the shelves when they pick something up. They just go and go grab that. That meets us. That meets the quota for the free gift. Yeah. Grab that. Bank whatever set it is until it gets retired and sell the gift with purchase on straight away. You know, yeah. and, that happens a lot. and that really angers me. But how do you police one and not the other? You know. So. Yeah, it's a tough one though, mate. That that is that is pretty tough. I was thinking about making a video on it because the other thing as well is that they, Lego said they were going to stop doing regional gift with purchase exclusives. And mm. I don't know if you've seen that one that's come out in Asia that comes with the Ninjago City Gardens, but we're not getting it anywhere else. It's like a little gate. Well, then that's regional, isn't it? It's a regional it's thing. Completely regional. Completely Me and Solo have been saying it forever. Ever since they said, ever since Lego said, we're not going to have any um, regional stuff. They've done nothing but regional stuff. Uh, exactly. It's, uh, it's just... in Lithuania. He says, okay, I have to go now. Like I said, it's very late here in Lithuania and I'm really tired. So we'll probably go to sleep now. We'll have a great stream, everyone. Bill, yeah. thanks, thanks for coming good. in, mate. Great to see you, Bricks in Lithuania. He does some good I'm stuff. Say hello to Ollie as well. How you going, man? Nice yeah, hey, Ollie. You. See you. Nice to see you. Hope you're you well. Don't get a lot of Star Wars these days. Yeah, I don't get a lot of Star Wars these days either. I always thought I was going to do loads of Star Wars. Um, but Second half of the year, though, Solo, you watch. I'm going to, you know, I, I probably will not get much of any other stuff. I mean, if we're talking about um, the R2-D2, the gunship, and the ATAT, -AT, if all those things come to fruition, uh, Gideon's cruiser, uh, that Mando ship. I mean, technically, I, I saw Ryan's video he put out this morning saying that the first mm -hmm. half of um, the year has possibly been the worst uh, wave of LEGO Star Wars ever. I'm thinking that the second half of the year, if all comes to fruition that there's, has been rumored, yeah. could quite possibly be, be you know, the, the, the best wave of Lego Star Wars we've ever seen. So, yeah, I dare say, hopefully there's not going to be too many other themes that I want in the second half of the year because it is literally all going to be going towards Star Wars. Wow. Definitely. <laughs> Oh, we've got a super sub. Or super. <laughs> I say super sub. He's like a super sub, isn't he? So I have a super chat. <laughs> um, okay. This is last night's stream. It was so good. Fair, fairly new to the community, but want to support you, Greg. Keep up the amazing work. Oh, cheers, mate. So what, what's that? Mnark? Is that Mnark or Mark? Uh, cool name. Mnark. Mnark. Yeah, Mnark. Mnark. Well, look, tell us a little bit about yourself as well, mate. Clearly, you're from the, you, uh, the United Kingdom, which is cool to see, my friend. Um, yeah, whereabouts are you from? North, east, south, or west? Don't, don't have to give away too much about yourself. Just, uh, uh, <laughs> um, cool, uh, Just tell so, us your bank details and PIN number, and uh, you're good yeah. to go. <laughs> All of that. I used to love watching it uh, in the UK. Phone Jacker. Oh, you ever yeah. watch Phone Jacker? Uh, yeah, I used to. That that was quite funny. Um, that used uh, to make me laugh, man. Where, where, where would you like to go? Top, middle, or bottom? 
Any, anywhere in particular you want to go, let me know. And if you want a particular colour, you can be any colour you want, as long as you're one of those. <laughs> cheers, cheers that to Grid Bricks. Yes, I will put out a video a little later on, hopefully today, maybe tomorrow, announcing the opening of the Bricklink store. I'm very, very excited by it. Yeah, you should do, mate. You should do. Uh, yeah. And of course, well, it's I, I would do updates. So there is something to talk about there, you know, as far as it being open, but also about why it's taken so bloody long, you know? Yeah, how long did it take all, all in? Well, the first email that I sent to get approval was sent on the 3rd of February, and I got approval yesterday on the 6th of March. All right. So it's taken four and a half, nearly five weeks. Have they got a lot of checks they need to go through? I mean, I'm asking you that, mate, and I know for, 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 for business, you, you do those sort of checks. No, they don't do any sort of background checks on anybody or anything like that. But you've got to have, basically, you've got to send them a photo of yourself in front of your inventory just to prove that you've got an inventory, even though you could probably just take a photo in front of your collection, really. Um, and then you need to send a proof of ID, proof of address, um, yeah. which, of course, my driver's license, which is ID and has my address on it. So I sent that to them. And then you've got to have at least one shipping option detailed in your in your um in your store uh which i have about six or seven so finally they've just got what it, what it is because i've been looking at the forums as they finally got around to dealing with my email but it's there was no hold up for anything that i've done wrong it's just that they no. haven't it's literally them not up to date with their their side of things or oh, that's how far behind they are look I'd, I'd hate to have to get in touch with them if there's any problems because if that's how long it takes when you're dealing with a, um, say, a difficult customer or, 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 you know, a scam or something like that, then Lord help you. <laughs> Lord help you. But yeah, I'm stoked to finally find this thing because I need to, well, I need to see, you know, as much as we all like um, getting Lego, I need to see a return on my, um, my investment into the store. I've pumped 5,000 New Zealand dollars into it, which is not heaps, but um, it's 5,000 New Zealand dollars I could have spent on new sets if I wasn't going to open a Brooklyn store. Gosh, yeah, well, that is a lot of sets, mate. It is. It is. It's a lot of Lego. It's a lot of storage as well. Um, oh, Melox, uh, it's a spelling mistake of Mark. Ha ha. Um, it stuck and became my online name. Yeah, why not? Uh, I'm based in Berkshire, so not far from London. Uh, you choose where, Greg. Don't mind where. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to green, uh, seeing, as, seeing as you're, you're in green today. Uh, and I will put you... Maybe we need a bit more green. I think we need a bit more green on the right-hand side. So I'm going to pop you there. Huh? And I will do the uh, popping in there. So, I say, so it's Mark. I'm going to call you Mark because I just simply because I know your name, but I'm going to spell it how you spell it. Actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do M N. Now, he must pay for his mistake when setting up his name forevermore. We call him Nurk. <laughs> uh, snap to Grid Bricks. Yes, a coincidence, or is it? Yeah. Yeah, good point. Here, here we go. There you are, Mark. Good old Technicolor solo. Just along oh, this side, I should say. Over there. There you are. MNRK, aka Mark. Thank you for that. Good stuff. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody knows. Cheers, dude. Um, Mark, are you on? Um, are you on Instagram, Mark? If you are, send me a message or something like that. Because sometimes, uh, like I say, it's easier. He's a bit like Scalador. He was a right pain in the backside to find, he was. And he, he, you know, he's relatively well known as well. Well, you couldn't find him on the uh, on Instagram to tag him. Yeah, something like Scalador Gardens or something like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, oh, come on. It's a bit like um, Solo Brick Builder. You'd like to be able to send an email to Solo Brick Builder. And he doesn't use that name. It doesn't even look. Well, you, you, you're like that as well, actually. So I had to make a note of everybody because I don't send an invite to someone they don't come on. Mark's a spot. Our, our, our actual real names. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is though. I, I always got to think, oh, Solo Brick Builder. I always do like, you know, 
my email is londonbridgebricks at gmail.com. I do have a, a Gmail um, uh, Brixton email address. Cool, man. All right. How's your build coming along, way? Right? It is coming along rather well. Sorry, I was just. Uh, I was, uh, uh, it's looking pretty good, folks. Yeah, if I would be up, that was a little bit easier. There we go. It's getting there. I, I'm really enjoying it, though. It's a good, it's a it's a fabulous build. Yeah, it, it feels solid, eh? It really feels. No, okay. solid. With all this, uh, all this going on as well. Right, okay. But I just want to crack through it. I'm doing my best to do this tonight, folks. I really am. It's coming together quite nicely, though. I really should have sorted my parts up better. It does help. Honestly, mate, it does help. Literally, 10 minutes before we went on air, I was just sort of thinking, okay, how's this going to work? <laughs> uh, you're normally dealing with new ones, aren't you? And you just open the bag, and it's a yeah, a select it's, number of parts. That's easy. But when you've got the set already laid out and everything, that's actually ooh, that's fits in there quite tightly. Uh, let's try and do that here. That goes on there, and that goes on there. Also, Mark, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, you're new to the community, mate. Welcome. Uh, honestly, you're in such a cool place. Uh, started building a Lego city after watching Chris and Steph. So getting to know everyone, been a Lego fan for many year, uh, many year on and off. I'm on Instagram. I'll find you, Greg. Yeah, I'm easy to find, mate. London Bridge Bricks. There is uh, uh, that's a nice thing about quite. It's an easy name to sort of remember. In all honesty, it's the name of a thing. It's a place, uh, and it pretty much tells me tells everyone where I am. In a nutshell. Pink Wheels is not giving me too much um, hope for, for Bricklink, saying that she's been um, she selling on there for two years, but they closed their store because of issues they felt uh, on the system haven't been fixed. It looked, I must admit, and this was, I don't know if anybody follows um, TBC, the Brick Council. He put a video out on, on Bricklink the other day, and he's right. He was saying as well, you know, the, the website honestly looks like it's a throwback to the mid-90s. Oh, yeah, massive. Um, that was one of the plus things about Lego taking them over. Well, you hope that it's going to get an overhaul at some point, you know? Yeah, it needs it, but it's got to be done slowly, that's for sure. Because yeah. People, well, people, it's a, it's a big change. elaborate system that a lot of people rely on, you know? So. Yeah. That's the thing. People know the system. Yeah. All right. So it is tried and tested, you know, like. As you, as you. Oh, it does work, yeah. It absolutely does work. Um, but, yeah, communication is key with that. Where's the phone call? Yeah, man, I'm not, I'm not happy that it's taken so long for them to get back to me. Um, it just doesn't fill me full of hope if, if I do have any proper issues that need to be handled sort of quickly, you know, whether it's a difficult customer or, or what or, you know, but maybe, maybe they don't want to be bothered with that sort of stuff. Maybe that's why. Yeah, did you actually, does it go to Lego themselves? No, I think there's a, a forum or, a, or admins on there that sort of run it. Um, I must say that I've, I've, yeah, I haven't sort of looked into the hierarchy of it. Um, maybe I should have. <laughs> <laughs> Before uh, going, some, some people have told me it's a right pain. There's a guy down here who's been helping me a lot. There's the guy who gave me the the set to give away at Christmas there. Mm -hmm. Remember that the um, the town hall. Yeah, man. Um, so he is like he runs a page, a Facebook page or a Facebook group over here for New Zealand Bricklink store owners, and he's been so much help. He's the guy who sorted all my um, my shipping policies out and all that sort of stuff as well. Well, I'd sort of done them, and he came along and said, look. You know, I've got sort of more elaborate versions if you just want to copy these, which you yeah. didn't have to do. Um, well, it's good to have a mentor, though. I think everyone deserves, you know, they, everyone needs a helping hand sometimes. Mate, this guy has been essentially, yeah, like a mentor. Um, just a super nice guy, you know. Again, he, he could look at it this way. He could look at it as me being competition and doesn't want to help the competition. But no, he's... Um, 
he's super happy to help out wherever he can, which is which is amazing. Yeah, well, I always say, mate, what goes around comes around. Uh, we've got yeah. some new peeps in the chat as well. Hey, we've got A and A hobbies. Hey, how are you, man? Corey, good to see you, mate. You're saying hi, Snap. Uh, Snap saying, hey, Corey. Canadians uh, love Canadians. Um, actually, interestingly, do you guys actually live anywhere near each other? Um, I'm always interested because Canada is such a big place. It really is. Uh, yes. Pink Wheels is saying, uh, well, I had I, I had a full-time job and it was too much uh, to be a Bricklink seller. Yeah, I would imagine it's quite, it must take ages to like part out stuff, I would have thought, but you, you do get quicker at that as you go along. Yeah, the parting out, when I first started doing that, it just felt so daunting, you know, like, how am I going to do this and, you know, store it all and, and all that. It really felt quite like quite a daunting thing. But I think, like you say, it's something once you sort of get into a bit more practice that um, it becomes second nature and you just do it, you know. Yeah, and you, you, you can do it by weight as well. Yeah, yeah. But it's what I'm finding is that I wanted to store it all in some sort of order so I knew where everything was, you know, like, but I think that that's just something that can't be done. I think you just literally have to number your, your drawers or your storage system and correlate it with a, a system within BrickLink, which I'll get to and I'll make videos about. <laughs> so, is that <laughs> what you're content, hey, That's the way I see it. It's all content. It really is, mate. And people are interested to know as well. Yeah, because it's always going to be. Pick, pick. I, I think Bricklink is a massive part of our community. Uh, well, and, like I was saying with this guy, um, this, this guy has been a bit of a mentor. He he sees it like that as well. He sees it as, you know, the more variety that's out there, the better. He doesn't see people as competition. He sees them as colleagues. You know. Yeah. Uh, which is a, which is a cool thing, you know. And like we suffer big time down in this country from from tall poppy syndrome. Um, nobody wants to see. I'm surprised because you guys are a small, a tiny, tiny country in terms of population. And oh, mate. That's, it's, it's a big problem here. It's a big problem here. God, I'm amazed. I'll tell you what I'm amazed at as well, folks, that simply by magic, I'm going to go to the, my door and there's going to be another cup of tea there. Fantastic. Is that right? Jesus Christ. Your, uh, your teammate is much better than mine. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. I'll make a call and see if I can get one. Here we go, folks. Look, if anyone wants to know, right, the uh, what what a Lego YouTuber needs in terms of uh, nutrition, right? It's very simple, well, especially it's for me anyway. Look, folks. First of all, right, you have a you have a strong cup of tea, right? I'm I'm English, well, I'm British. Uh, we live on tea, folks. That's it. It's a matter of, and also nutrition-wise, it's quite simple: bananas and chocolate. It really is as simple as that, folks. That's all I need. You like a strong tea, Greg? I love a strong tea, mate. Yorkshire tea, yeah. through and through. That's me. <laughs> are, you, are, are you a bag in or bag out person? I, I'm a, a leave it in as long as you can, sort of thing. And yes, we are talking about tea, by the way, folks. I'm trying to get a tea here. My, my, I just tried to call my partner. She hung up on me, and um, she hung up on it. She's just come and peeked in the door now, and I went, I went like this to her, and she, she's like, "So, did you whether I'm going to get one or not?" Yeah. Boo, boo. Up to know what she was doing back at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was just a nod. Don't worry, it didn't get, it didn't get rude. But I, 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 I'm, I'm a bag in guy. I just leave the bag in because I like a strong tea. Some people find that disgusting. Yeah, but... Excuse me. <laughs> I do like a um, um, a, a good strong tea. Mm. I like a coffee in the morning. I heard you saying the other day that you can't stand coffee in the morning, whereas I have to have two coffees in the morning, but then pretty much the rest of the day I'm on tea. Actually, no, I'm the opposite. I, like, I, I normally speak, I have tea in the morning and have coffee like from about 11s onwards. And what about That's the evening? Man, don't I? What about the evenings? Well, evening. Well, I don't normally drink tea and coffee in the evenings, in all honesty, folks. Um, oh, yeah. I've, got, I've got this thing as well. I don't actually, someone will give me a drink and I'll start drinking it. I never finish a drink. I've never once in my life ever finished a drink. Really? Yeah. 
because you talk so much. Um, <laughs> I must admit, most of the teas that I end up making on my Sunday stream end up just being cold. <laughs> um, then you're just naked anyway. Yeah, man. Hope for the, hope for the best. Uh, I mean, my wife makes an absolutely wonderful cup of tea. She really does. Oh, whereas mine makes the equivalent of pond water. <laughs> I say that and I think she's making me one at the moment. Yeah, I don't like think what else she's putting in it now. She never watches my uh, any of my streams or anything, so. Does she not? No. That's love for you, folks. I know, I know. I'm always referring to my videos and saying to her, hey, you remember on my video I added this? And she's like, yeah, 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 yeah. But I know she's telling me fibs. Bricky, how are you, man? Tech, how's it going? Hey, Good? Tech. Hey, Bricky T, boy. Good to see you guys. Yeah, you got to go with a builder's tea. You're right, uh, Mark. I do like a strong tea. So, Mama's Lego is um, Toronto, Ontario here. But am I right? Maybe I'm wrong. That is, I'm sure that's the... Um, I'm sure that's the monument, Mama. Mama, tell me what 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 is your avatar? How you doing, Tech? Good to see you, dude. Uh, that was a good stream last night, by the way, Tech. I really enjoyed that stream. I get a lot of comments about this T-shirt. Maybe I should actually um, make more a point of selling them. Dude, I, straight up, I would buy one of those shirts. And I tell you oh, what, I'm, I'm going to hold you to that, mate. I'll I'll, uh, I'll send you the link later. <laughs> Honestly, uh, make rates and all that. And uh, <laughs> this, uh, this edition of London Calling was brought to you by the fine, fair hands of uh, Brixley. <laughs> you're, you're just trying to get a free T-shirt. <laughs> I do that with, with Brixley because all the time. I say to him, no, I'm a Lego ball. Do you want to be on it? Um, and they're like, <laughs> No, but I always do because I, I say two things. I say, one, can you give us a discount? Uh, two, um, or can you give a discount to my subscribers? And they go, they always go for one or the other. Or at the very least, they'll give me like free shipping or something like that. Yeah. And what I will do, I will – this is this is the thing as well, is, is that because I'm uh, amalgamating the, the store and the – because I've, turned Brooklyn, I've Tech, turned Brooklyn into a business. Tech says the same things. He'll have one. I'll have one. We'll, we'll go up on sh the the, uh, the postage. Uh, we're going to come to me, Tech, because I can I can get free postage to you, mate. Uh, oh, let's sort this out. Yeah, man. Oh, well, did you do any other colours of it as well? You what? Did you do, did you do any other colours? Yeah. Well, what I did on the store was I did black ones with the the logo being that sort of pink into the red. Like my mm -hmm. Brookstein logo, which which I actually I, I quite like the look of the black t shirt with that, you know. Um, the, the colors on the white t shirts didn't look quite as good, so I need to go and look at the store again. Like I say, I, I actually made a, a store a while ago uh, with these t shirts on it and my Brookstein t shirts, but it was literally so that I could buy them myself because you know, just to get a design made and get a t shirt sent out to you, it's cheaper to do it through those sorts of sites than to go and try and find someone. Um, yeah, yeah, well, we we could we could buy them direct tech. Uh, we we could bring we could be your importers for the UK. Um, Snap to Grid Bricks is asking whether I'm sweating. No, no. Do you know what I hate? I hate fingerprints on tiles. I hate 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 <laughs> fingerprints on tiles. Right. I've got a blue one to hand. I keep I I always wipe tiles after I put them on so that I get fingerprints gone. And I tell you what started me doing that was when I was doing reviews. Is that whenever I started taking photos or, or or videos or whatever it is of my reviews, I um I always notice fingerprints and bits yeah. of dust, especially on black, and <clears throat> I hated it. I hated it. So I um I sorted it out straight away by getting. You know what some people do? I know for a fact that some people do this, folks. And it's a bit bizarre if you ask me, right? They wear gloves, um, like the sort of gloves that um. Uh, referees wear in uh, playing snooker. You know the white gloves, they make? like cloth gloves for for building, for building Lego. 
You know what? I would do that for a review set. I've never gone that far before. I'd, I'd rather just, I'd, I'd rather just wipe it. Um, uh, just wipe the areas that people see. Yeah, no, it, it used to annoy me, man. It used to annoy me so bad. Really? Getting rid of the evidence, exactly. I, I do work in the in, uh, in the investigations background, but yeah, that has nothing to do with me wiping sets. I'll give everyone an update of where I'm up to since I'm way ahead of Greg. Blimey, you're way. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I'm the host of this, folks. I'll tell you what, right? You, you can look after the chat for uh, 10 minutes or so. <laughs> I might even get the Phantom done. <laughs> Official brick scene match, uh, merch reseller. Yep, yep, definitely. I'll, um, yeah, I'll, look, I'll sort it out and I'll send you guys a link. And if you guys want to have a look at it, cool. Yeah, definitely, man. I think it's great. Do you know, I actually designed this. This, this blaster, like I do with all my thumbnails, and this actually um, gave Chris a bit of a laugh the other day, is I literally do everything in Microsoft Word. Do you? <laughs> no, no lies, man. No lies. I do everything in Microsoft Word. I don't know how to use Photoshop. Well, not many people do, to be honest, mate. It's quite a tough um, application to learn. I think it's a generation thing, mate. I think... Um, I think most kids know how to use Photoshop these days. Yeah, I suppose they get taught here at school, though, don't they? Probably, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, snap. I'm not going that slow, surely. He's saying I'm going to slow as side. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm super quick, man. He is quick. I practice getting those sets built to try and get the reviews out before the Americans. That's what it is. No, I'm, get, I'm getting there, Snap. Um, I'm not doing bad, actually. But I've bad. actually also built the set before, so. Yeah, he, he, he's built it so many times, Snap, he could build it in the dark. He's like a SAS soldier. Uh, oh, let's, let's, let's not go so many times. Let's say once. <laughs> <laughs> Photographic memory. <laughs> Photographic memory. We were talking about your memory earlier on. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> um, Bricky, well, what did you, Bricky Ty? What did you buy last night, mate? And anyone else who's just joined recently, do us two things: one, give us a thumbs up, and two, right, let us know what you bought yesterday as well. Because this morning they were still selling the Google purchase, which, quite frankly, Tech, I'm amazed at. Greg saying he uses, uh, sorry, um, Tech saying he uses PowerPoint for his thumbnails and stuff. I'm glad somebody else is as uh, rubbish as me. You know, it works. It works though. That's the thing, is it? You, you kind of it works, and that, that, that's all that matters. Um, tech, tech does loads of stuff as well. When he's um, he does these overlays, he loves an overlay. This old Tech. Mm, mm. When I first started doing streaming, I, I set up. You know, some really elaborate overlays and, and things like that. Um, but yeah, then I gave up the whole. Cause I used to, um, I started doing streaming, I used to do it on Twitch. So, how come you swapped back the other way then? Uh, I stopped streaming altogether because it was taking what the problem was with the streaming was that it was taking up all my time, as that I would get lazy and I wouldn't make normal videos. Yeah. So I decided to stop streaming altogether so that I would get into the habit of making more actual videos. Okay. Um, but now I'm getting back into the streaming. I'm only doing it once a week at the moment because I fear that if I did it any more, that I would probably just go back into that that habit yeah. and not make any normal videos. And I, I kind of want to make – look, for me, normal videos have been much better for me. They're, they're what have gotten me over the – you know, over that um, – monetization mark and all that sort of stuff so i kind of want to keep that up plus uh, as well like if i if i wanted to do live streaming i'd probably want to do it in the morning here uh during the week but you guys a lot of you guys have I've pretty much got all the morning slots um all sort of taken as such you know what i mean from my point of view and i'd rather watch you guys than do my own so 
Yeah, you could do uh, Sunday morning. I did a I did a early Sunday afternoon last week, and that that was really that went really well. For, for, well for, I, do, I do Sunday yeah, nights. Yeah. I'm going to stream tonight, which is tomorrow morning for you guys. Um, but yes, I'm thinking about maybe moving that to Monday morning my time, which would be Sunday night your time. Mm. So it's that Sunday night always seems to be loads of people like doing that. Uh, that one. Uh, even me and Tech have done that one together sometimes. Mm. Mm. It's not a regular thing or anything like that, but it's like Wednesdays now for me is, is well. The thing is, for me at the moment, my 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 work is really really busy. So I'm lucky because I, I I can just go go okay. I'll, I'll just do a bit of streaming. I haven't even done any shorts for weeks. So for me, um, it's a bit of a godsend that I'm doing live stream. In all honesty, have you got any? Um... Any video idea? Or any plans to do any any normal videos anytime soon? Yeah, I mean, I've got, I've got literally hundreds of sets I could do some reviews for and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. I'm just sort of taking. I, I mean, I'm trying to do a bit of city update. That's that's how busy I've been. Uh, but I'm I'm just kind of trying to do a bit more work life balance. And because because I were I, I was I was quite ill a couple of weeks ago, and it, it just made me sort of rethink. Like I was really, I was honestly, I was cream cracking. I really was, folks. I, I had some virus or something, and it just got it knocked me out like a good one. Um, and that kind of set me back quite a bit. But so what I'm doing is I give it a couple of weeks from now, and I'll be back to doing videos and stuff like that. But it, it just it completely threw my schedule and everything. So yeah. for, the, for the very short foreseeable future, I'm talking about a couple of more weeks, folks. Um, there'll be odd videos from me, uh, and then I'll get back into that routine of doing. Tuesday video and a Thursday video. But I, the, the way I see it, Richard, I try and do three things a week, right? Yeah. London calling and a couple of videos, right? Mm -hmm. Or if I don't do a couple of videos and London calling, right, I'll do three of something else. I always do London calling anyway. So it's, it's three bits of content, whether that be three live streams or three videos of some sort. It'll be, it's, it's that sort of combination. And that's not bad. That's nearly every other day. So I think that's pretty good going. That's where I'm at, though, as well, is that I want to... Uh, I'm I'm happy with the the quality of my content. I'm happy with my format, if you like, you know, and all that sort of stuff. Like I'm I'm I've worked on it to the point where I'm 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 happy with it, uh, and I'm just sort of tinkering with with things like intros and and all that sort of stuff. Um, but my big thing now is the consistency, you know, and, and getting videos out on a consistent basis. That's that's my big thing. Uh, and something I'm really struggling with. Yeah, but you got to remember, mate. You got you got a life outside of Lego. Lego for absolutely. me, absolutely, absolutely. And 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 of course, nothing's going anywhere while I'm not doing anything. But it's hard to get out of that mentality when you're. Yeah, you just you know. It, it, no, it's terrible because you keep thinking, "Oh, I don't want to let people down. I don't want my subscriber count to start dropping. Um, I don't want my views to like drop off and stuff like that." You do. But I tell you what, I feel a lot better having thought to myself, no, ground yourself, right? Focus on work. Because if I don't work, folks, there's no Lego coming in. Uh, and, you know, <laughs> your, your priorities are my wife. I want to spend time with my wife. I love my wife to bits. I really do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's it, it's all those things. And I haven't got kids. So if I had kids as well, that's another factor to, to take oh, into yeah, buddy. Yeah. Money pits. Time pits. You know? You know, Money um, hogs, time hogs. But I need to look. Here's the other thing is that you know I run a business as well. You know, so I do I do have a day job. And mm. the day job has a lot of responsibility because I'm doing background checks uh for employees for some very large businesses. Um mm. You know, so there's, there's there's a real level of responsibility there, which is chalk and cheese from sitting here building Lego on a live stream. You know, like it really is the opposite end of responsibility and what I enjoy doing as well, to be fair, <laughs> you know. So look, now I'm at the stage where I'm building up this, I'm going to start building up this Bricklink store. Now, I've, it's very rare that people are able to make uh, livings uh, from, from running a Bricklink store, but I'm hoping to get to the point where I can supplement my income to the point where I can just clip the ticket with my business and put more work out to my staff that I that I hire. Because mm. um, I've I've hired like we had four staff prior to the first lockdown, 
Mm -hmm. uh, my business partner, myself, and we had four employees, and we had to get rid of all of them um, because one of my major clients is a, is a large airline uh, oh. in New Zealand, and yeah, they weren't hiring anyone. In fact, they're only just starting to hire people at the moment. Yeah. Um, so I'm sort of if if I can get to the point where let's say it's a half and half thing that the Bricklink is half my money and 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 my day job is the other half and then I'm making YouTube videos while I'm doing my Bricklink stuff. I'm going to do more videos from out there in the store so it'll, like we were talking about earlier, you know, having something I can just come in and turn a camera on and make a video or turn yeah. a camera on and, and and do a live stream or something like that without any major setup. Because what you're seeing here <laughs> is actually my main office. <laughs> This is where I run my business from as well. So when I've got Lego everywhere all over my desk and all that, it's just it's just counterproductive, you know? Yeah, um, yeah it is. Because yeah. you just want to create. That That's the thing, and that's what I just want to do. And that's when I get this outbuilding done. Um, I mean, it's one of those things. It's a big expense to build an outbuilding, right? For what we'll be really, folks, just Lego. Um, but equally as well, if I decided I don't want to do any Lego anymore in my life, right, I've got a fully functional outbuilding, which is... Yeah. A glorified office in all honesty but i can go in there i can sit down and i can start creating things i haven't got to rearrange this room for everything so that's another good thing about doing live streams more is that i don't have to rearrange everything like i have to uh, when i'm doing stuff like that you know what i mean because it's, it's, it's time you imagine folks you want to do a video on something you've scripted it bits and pieces that you want to do and then you think right now i've got to sort everything out before you know it three hours have gone and you haven't done a thing yet and that that creativity buzz just kind of dwindles out of you. So that's 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 why this but is there's also having a space like that, Greg, for you. As let's say you you're halfway through your review, and geez, sorry, getting a bit of rain here on the roof. Um, you're halfway through a review, and you get called out to do something else, and then the next day you've got to do work. That happens to me. Let's say I'm doing a review on a Sunday, and I get halfway through the kids. Uh, end up I end up having to do something with the kids. By the time Monday morning comes, I've got to clear my desk and start doing work. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. having a it's space so that you can essentially push pause and walk away and come yeah. back a day later and everything is as it was. That will be a big deal, you know. That's yeah. and that's I'm hoping that maybe I will eventually move everything out into the office there, uh, out to the um the Bricklink store here, and not rely on this space so much. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, that, that, that's a big deal, mate. And I, I, I'm kind of almost glad that you got you suffer with that as well as I do because. Um, oh, definitely. Well, what I use, Greg, what I use for my reviews is I have right in front of me here that comes down in front of my screens and across my desk is a roller blind. Mm -hmm. So it's hooked onto a shelf just here above my screens, and it comes down in front, and that's where I record all my reviews. So it's all here, but it covers my computer up, so I can't do. I can't just leave it set up because I have to put everything away, take the Lego off to actually use my computer, you know? So, yeah, to have an outbuilding or have a, a space like that will be um, would be phenomenal. Yeah, and, 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 and it's going to bring new uh, a few new issues as well. Do you know what I was saying to Gemma? I said, I want to get like an old sofa or something to put in there, uh, something that I could just basically sit in front of the camera, turn it on, and just have a chat with some. Uh, do you know what I mean? Sit down on a casual sort of thing. Maybe do like a uh, just so I can stream like that. I just I want to I want a place where I can build. Mm. Have the camera set on that, and I want a place where I can stream. And mm. then all I want is the city stuff. And then there's going to be a few sets that are dotted around it. Um, mm. And that's the thing. My my focus in the next couple of months until that gets constructed and stuff like that is to kind of learn the ropes, cut my teeth on the, on a city build, folks with Lagondon, because that's a learning curve. So it's all going to be a very straight lanes to start off with. And I'm working it all out. I even thought today, I thought of something new that I've never thought of before whilst I was doing the scripting. Instead of doing like rows going in and out of everything, of the city, why not do like the M25 that goes around Lagondon or something like that? <laughs> Ring road, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it completely pavements, right? And then just have a, a big road that goes around it. And then uh, a train track that kind of goes around it as well. So I don't know. It just gets the old, um, you know, creative juices flowing a little bit. And mm -hmm. you know, we all need really, constraints. Just we reading Ollie's them. comment here. I mean, I think we're all. A lot of us are in that position. If you run a business from home, you are, you know, you're, you're using that same space. How I would love to <coughs> go off to another job every day and and 
be able to leave this and come back. But um, yeah, well, I, 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 as well. I'm mixing it around. So I, I can go into London. I'm allowed to go into London and I'm going to be going in London on Monday, folks. Um, uh, but I've got Tuesday. I'm working from home, you know, which I'm very lucky to be able to do. And then I've got a few days off this week, folks. So I've got Wednesday, nice. Thursday, Friday off. And the weather's horrific. It really is. But in that time, I want to be able to do one or two videos. And I'm going to be doing a lot of streaming. Like I say, actually, I do a lot of streaming. I stream now. I stream Wednesdays with Sio Connor. So that's the backlog. He does one week, I do the other. Then on Thursday, I, I join Sio Connor for a couple of hours on his stream. And then Friday's London calling. And then Saturday, well, Saturday, I mean, in all honesty, I probably stream Saturday 25% of the Saturdays, maybe. It's not, a, you know, I don't do every single one. Because quite frankly, folks, when we all come out of lockdown, I don't know about you lot, but I want to be outside. I want to go and see family and friends and stuff like that. And I think there will be a bit of a drop off. But what, my, what I'm looking forward to doing, right, is uh, being completely ready in October uh, when, when the dark days come back and stuff like that and the days get short. <laughs> dark days. <laughs> I haven't gone into gear yet this year, really. I, I can, uh, I, I'm kind of holding myself back a little bit. Um, but at the end of the day, folk, family, friends, and you guys out there are all friends, believe me, you really are. Uh, and work, um, you know, getting established in a new job and stuff like that in a no, new role, you kind of got to prioritize. It's a bit boring, really. But you've got to prioritize. And if I can still give out a little bit of output, I mean, sub subscriber wise, I'm way ahead of where I where I thought I'd be. Right now, if if you had said to me, Greg, you've got 1,500 subscribers or something like that, I'd have said, yeah, thank you so much. I'd be very happy about that. I've had a few videos. They've done really, really well. I've picked up a load of subscribers out of it, and I'm very lucky. I'm very fortunate, very blessed. So, and, and I, I seem to be keeping everyone happy with the output that I'm doing at the moment. And, mm. and that's nice. That's a balance. I've got balance there. But I tell you what, folks, later in the year, I can put a lot more effort into it. I can do a lot more output. And equally, I can change gear, right, come down a little bit, and then I can go and see family, friends, you know, get out there and see the world. Go traveling again, something like that. You know, there's, 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 there's other things. And you need to do stuff like that, Richard, to keep fresh. That's the thing. Absolutely, man. Otherwise, just burn out. And I'm seeing people burn out a lot at the moment, you know. Um, let me tell you, Greg, not long after these lockdowns finished, you'll probably be seeing me because we will be heading to London. Dude, I, honestly, I want everybody to come to London. I was talking, who was I talking to last night? I want to come, who's coming, thinking of coming tonight? Yeah, um, Flynn. Uh, Flynn says he wants to come oh, to yeah? London because he, he especially wants to go to West End. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. We're all going to be meeting up. There's no doubt about that. So I can't wait for that. So that's going to be something different that we're going to be doing. It's going to be so much no, fun. We have to get over and see. Um, See the family. Um, my partner's family all lives in southwest London. So, brilliant, mate. Yeah. Well, you can join, join me for a London calling on Friday night. Oh, absolutely. Imagine how cool that would be. <laughs> that would be cool. Brilliant, mate. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to Yeah, I mean, we've sort of been sitting here ready to travel for nine months now, but we're waiting for the rest of the world to bloody be ready for it as well. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, it's a big deal, man. It's a big deal. How, what do you lot think out there as well? We're out of lockdown. Are you going to be watching loads of YouTube still, or are you going to be out there enjoying yourselves and stuff like that? I'm, I'm dead interested to know because I think I think there will be uh, nice shit. Um, but I, I think there will be a drop off. I don't think YouTubers will have to work quite so hard because I don't think the audience is necessarily going to be there. They'll come back, of course. I'm not saying they go away forever, but people are going to want to get out and see things. Go to a restaurant. I love going to restaurants. I can't remember the last time I went to concerts, them. man. I miss concerts. Yeah, concerts. I miss seeing bands. You know, that's that's just before our lockdown um, happened here. The actual first lockdown happened here on my birthday, and I was going to go and see it, but one of my favorite bands for my birthday, uh, and it got canned, of course. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing some music again and and things like that. Mm. I think there will be a big drop off on on uh, the YouTube side of things. Yeah. Um, but I think it's up to people like you and me to sort of um, continue to make time for it, mate. You know, there's there's. Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent, mate. I was thinking... maybe, maybe that comes back to me feeling the pressure that you know I've I've got two thousand people here that technically want to hear from me. Mm. Um, and it's, it's sometimes it's it's unbelievable that people actually have subscribed and want to hear from you. I know it blows you bright. You find that a bit weird, but I do. 
No, I, I think it is as well. I, I, it, blow, it blows my brain that, you know, it's Saturday night. It's it's 11 o'clock here in London, and we've got uh, nearly 30 people watching us. Do you know what I mean? It's, I love it. It's brilliant. Um, and I feel very blessed in that respect. But that was absolutely awesome. But, but the way I see it, when, I, when, when I'm not, when I'm not uh, consumed by building loads and loads of Lego, uh, at the very least, folks, I'm thinking about it. That's for sure. All right. <laughs> Lego loser, I want to go brunch, that's all. I agree, man, I agree. I, I want to go out and just do those mundane... Well, I mean, don't get me wrong, we have been able to do it for the most part here. But I want to, I want to go overseas, man. I want to, I want to go back to London. I, I miss London dearly. Um, not that it's anywhere near the same as, as what it used to be, but I, um, I still miss it. Yeah, London is a London. I know. It's, I mean, I've done a lot of travelling in my time. I really have, folks. I've travelled all over the world. Been very lucky to do stuff like that. But I will say honestly, and I know I'm biased, and you probably think, oh, it's just saying. I do think London is the best city in the world. I really do. Uh, I'd agree with you. I'd agree with you. I love where I live, and I love where. I mean, if I took uh, sent you a photo of my, um, I always say this to people, my from the, the schoolyard at my little boy's school. I'm in yeah. a city, right? I'm in one of the, Auckland is, believe it or not, one of the biggest cities in the world. And yet my little boy's school, 20 minutes from the city center, is the view from there is looking over rolling lush hills and, you know, forests and, and stuff like that. It's literally a beautiful out, you know, outlook. Um, whereas London, uh, schools look more like prisons because they're all, yeah, they do. They're all surrounded by barbed wire fences and, and, and you know things like that to keep the riffraff out. Um, but you know that's why I live here, you know, because I wouldn't want to have kids in London. Um, but I miss the place dearly. I miss the place. I miss the ease. I miss the technology. I miss the bands. I miss you know the culture. Yeah. The entertainment, the culture here is out of this world. Hmm. I see. And the problem was, is I wasn't using it quite so much at the end there, and that was sort of a yeah. But of it's the, by sort of leaving was that I'm just not taking advantage of it anymore. You know. Yeah. What have I done here wrong? What have I done here? What does that feel wrong? Oh, I forgot to put that bit in. Muppet. Muppet. Now, that is that. But yes, it's going to be a good time when I get back there. Yeah, man. Well, let us know. When you my, my, my little boy uh, has been to that Lego store there. He went there with his mum um, uh, when they when they went on a trip that I didn't go on, and it, it got built literally or it got opened a couple of months after I was there last time. So. <laughs> It's not fair that my boy has seen the new Lego store, but I haven't. That is weird. <laughs> right. Righty -ho, righty -ho. Hey, how are you doing, dude? Good to see you here. Lego Lego Production says, I could eat them every day. <laughs> What's that Lego uh, loser for Texas? Was only one who had a decent school dinner in the UK. <laughs> That's quite a rare thing. That really is. I used to get school dinners because I was born in Scotland, eh? and I remember school dinners in Scotland. That's something we don't get here. With school dinners, really? Nah, I didn't mind the school dinners. I, I just liked it when you get the the, the 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 days when you got like chocolate for dessert and stuff like that. I was. I look forward to them. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't get me wrong. I have nothing against them. I, I guess we just don't need them here as much, you know? But, yeah, I do remember my days in Scotland. Yeah, because you, you, you are Scottish, really, aren't you? That is your... I was born in Glasgow, or just outside Glasgow. Good old Glasgow, eh? Yeah. Anyone wants to know what Glasgow's like? What's train spotting? <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty rough, 
pretty rough place. Well, it was. I've been to Glasgow a few times since I, I, I first left. Mm. And I don't associate with the place. I don't associate with Scotland at all. Mm. Um, and I don't mean that as any disrespect to anyone from Scotland. I've just been away from there for too long. You've just not been there, yeah. Yeah. I associate more with English. And uh, that's sacrilege to say almost as a Scot. That is, mate, actually. Spent more time in England. Which is why, it's just why, you know, sometimes home is, isn't where you're born. It's it's where you feel is... Uh... Oh, that's why I live down this side of the world. Yeah. This is home for me. How did you end up in New Zealand? Tell us a, a little bit about that. Well, my um, it was nine. Not, we came here in nineteen eighty nine, early nineteen eighty nine. Um, my auntie and uncle had already moved here as part of a opportunity to work in the um, universities down here. Mm -hmm. And basically, they just came down here and said, "Hey, you, you guys have got to get down here. Forget your life in Scotland. It's crap. Um, come down here." And so we did, and never looked back. Never ever looked back. Um, ten years later, of course, I, it was my twenty-first birthday, and I got a ticket to anywhere in the world. So I decided to go to London, and that's why I ended up living in London for ten years. And what did you like about London? It's literally been half my life here and half my life uh, in the UK. Oh, nice one! Uh, just build it. Yeah, that, that, I bought a few sets last night as well, just to do exactly the same thing as you, mate. Uh, which is, yeah, I totally agree with you, Sir Bricks. Uh, the ghost is looking like the Cloud City set. <laughs> it does a bit, actually. It's like a MIDI version of it. Right, I'm on bag four now. That's good. Great. Celtic, Celtic all the way, Ollie. Celtic all the way. Celtic, awesome team. I, uh, yeah, can't stand Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> When I was young, I was I was real big into into the Scottish football, but I've since um, since stopped watching it because it's rubbish. What the Scottish football is, or just Scottish football, football is terrible. Hmm. They used to be pretty good, but um, yeah, no, I wouldn't I wouldn't choose to watch it these days. When I was a kid growing up, one of my favourite footballers uh, for West West Ham was Scottish, Frank McAvee. Yeah, Frank McAvenny. I've met he him. Was a, he was a lad. He was. Yeah. Him and Co well, he, yeah, he didn't he didn't he get quite heavy into the drugs or something like that? Didn't he? Yeah. Pretty sure something bad happened with that guy. But I, I met him uh, I, I, when I was leaving Scotland. Actually, uh, on my way out, we did a tour of Parkhead up there, of oh, Celtic Park, and he happened to just be turning up in the foyer when we were. Um, when we were there, and we got our photos taken with him and everything. Oh, that's pretty good. He was one of my heroes at the time. Yeah, he was, an, he was a brilliant striker. Him and Tony Cotty were an awesome combo. Right. Yeah, yeah. I forgot that he went to West Ham. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Cotty as well, yeah. Tony Cotty. Yeah, those are the days. So where are you at with your, uh, with your ghost build at the minute, mate? I have it upside down now, so I am putting on the uh, the missiles underneath. Um, I don't have a heck of a lot left. I'm getting through it pretty quick. I'll be on to doing all the um, all the coverings on the top very soon. Here, I'll pull it up so that you can have a look. Get my face out of the way so it focuses. Yeah, so I'm just working on the uh, on the underside at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, man, good. There's, there's very lot, cool. Very there's a lot cool. of big parts in this one, isn't there? What's that? There's a lot of big parts in this. Yeah, I, I I think the set when it came out was probably quite good value for money. You know, like it's like you say, there's a lot of a lot of pieces in it, a lot of decent sized pieces, a lot of a couple of funny shaped pieces as well.
I'm getting there. I'm not, I'm not doing a bad old raid, really, for me. Because <laughs> this set is what? About a thousand pieces? I think so, yeah. I think it's a good thousand. It's sort of on par with the, um, the Falcon and, and things like that, you know? It's about the same size as the Playset Falcon. Why do you think they've never actually built, made another one of these? Is it because the cartoons come and gone? I don't know. It's a, it's a, um, it's a very, very popular ship, isn't it? You know. Mm. Um, one of my friends down here is actually building a UCS version from Rebrickable. I don't know if you've oh. seen that one on Rebrickable. It's the same size, roughly, as the um, the UCS Falcon. It looks awesome. Um, I think he's about 90-odd percent into the parts now. But that'll be cool once that's done. That'll be real cool. Mm. Yeah, that is a big set. They've done two versions of that as well. On That's uh, right. And he bought it just before – he bought the instructions just before they updated them. So he ended up having to go back and say, uh, can I have the updated uh, versions? Because <laughs> you've obviously updated it for a reason. Yeah, were they okay with that? Say again? Were they okay? Uh, doing yeah, that? absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's fair enough, isn't it? You buy something within a day or two or whatever. We yeah, they, they'd only updated it sort of within sort of a couple of weeks or whatever it was. So. All bricks count. How's it going? All bricks count. Blimey, mate. I've not seen you for ages. How are you doing? Blimey. Tease heart off. Hey, I know that name. That's uh, the woodshop teacher. How you doing, mate? <laughs> Tease heart off as well. Good evening. If, it, if it's late well, here. Good morning here, sorry, I should say. It's going to be well late where he good is. Good morning here in the, uh, in the UK, uh, in, the, in New Zealand, sorry. Oh, good to see you all, Briggs Cow, mate. Hope you're well. Did you say you were going to go till midnight? Is that when you you're you're cut off? Yeah, about, just about in and around midnight. Is that all right for you? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm cool. Um, I'll probably have mine done by then. You, you probably will, which is good, really. It's good for the street. Well, I think one of us needs to have one done. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm not going back. I might have, might have been a bit ambitious getting the um the the uh, phantom done at the same time. I'm not doing bad. I'm not doing bad. Yeah. We're, we're, I mean, I don't mind doing it till like twelve thirty or something like that. I, I mean, uh, no, no, uh, I'm all good. Whatever you want to do, mate. Whatever you want to do. I, I tell you what, I do, right? You, you, you. As soon as you're nearly done, you, you indulge the chat for us. I and, will. Uh, I will. And, uh, Brittany and I'll do Ty uh, was uh, asking, "Are we doing the ghost?" Was it Brittany yeah. Ty? Ah, old bricks count. Sorry. Yes, we are both building the ghost. Um, Story is, is that I um, I found a version. Well, I already had it, and um, I saw someone was selling one over here for what was a pretty good price. I'd say I still think it was a pretty good price. Um, I don't think I've ever seen any since. Um, yeah, I think the price was fairly reasonable. It's was, it was a good price, but the, the thing is, it's in really good condition. And I've got to be honest, the stickers are great. The, the, the application of stickers is really good as well. They were well. put on good, eh? They were put on yeah, pretty good. good. So I'm quite happy. But basically, you know, sometimes with value, folks, it's not exactly what you pay for. It's how it makes you feel. And, um, yeah. Oh, so I mentioned finding it, you know. It's, there's one thing to to pay a certain price for something, but there's another another thing finding it in the first place, you know. Yeah. But what, what, is, it goes pretty, is it pretty easy to find over there? Not really, no, because you can pay quite comfortably 180 quid for a, a one that's got a load of parts missing on it. Is that right? Yeah. I'll tell you one thing, though. If you ever do get the black hair again and, and the alternative face, uh, I want first dibs on that from your oh, shop. No, and and, and you, here is where they came out. This was where they got released. It was like one of those things where the set got released and got pulled pretty quick, so we ended up with them like the Osprey. Um, so yeah, okay, I yeah, I am a Juventus fan. Um, Snapchat Grid Brooks, um, 
I also like I watch I watch Chelsea as far as the English league goes, but I've always always been a big fan of Juventus. Been to a couple of games over there and in Turin and the old Del Alpi. Oh nice. The old Del Alpi Stadium. Iconic stadium that it was. I loved it. I used to love it. We'll go it's see that. a West Ham versus Chelsea game, eh? If, I, if, I, if it happens to be at the at the right time, Greg, when I come over. Uh, I like a bit of Juventus, actually. I saw Juventus play West Ham once in the Makita Cup that was placed at the old Arsenal ground at Highbury. Is that right, eh? Yeah, we got. I think we got beaten six 0 or something like that. <laughs> yeah. It really was. It was a, a non-event. <laughs> I actually, the last time I saw Juventus play was uh, at the Arsenal ground as well, but at the Emirates. Um, saw them in a, in a pre-season match there. That would have probably been the last games that I went to in, in London before I left. Really? 2009, I think it was. All right, now, where are those bits? Because I've not seen them. But our football teams down this side of the world are not worth talking about. Yeah, we are literally mate. one of the worst teams and what's probably the one of the worst leagues in the world. So, Oh, really? Yeah, well, there's only one professional team in New Zealand and they play in the Australian League. And they never win anything. <laughs> oh, Lego Loser Productions, she's an Arsenal fan. She's a gooner. <laughs> yeah, your team will do the tour well. At the moment. Yeah, yeah, you guys are staring, um, staring down the bottom half of the table, aren't you? Yeah, they're not done well at all. Most of my family are Arsenal fans, so it's kind of quite nice for me, in all honesty. I keep sending them pictures every week on the family... Uh, uh, of the what, table. Uh, <laughs> of the league table. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you have a laugh in it. The old I, I, you know, that's, that's something I like about, about football, and, and football fans that can handle it, that can tolerate it... Uh, as well you know people that, that there's good banter and in, in, in football chat even if you you know you like different teams don't get me wrong you get pretty serious at times but um i do love a good bit of football banter yeah i, I missed that about the home ground but this season it's such a weird season folks because really in all honesty home uh, home advantage doesn't count anymore no no but with football, you've got to be able to take it as good as you can give it. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's like everything. It's like life, really, folks. It's up, it's full of ups and downs. It really is. <laughs> I am literally down to the last handful of parts. Oh, I wish I could say I am. But I am doing my best, folks. Oh, mate, no rush. No rush at all. I am determined to finish this. Luckily for... I I I've genuinely enjoyed this stream, mate. I, I really have. This is um, no, it's been, it's been great. It's been great. I'm just looking at all bricks count. You bought the ghost from Australia. Now, did it did it have the black head cannon in it? Um, I just know that they were sold more down here um, before they got pulled because it was something that was pulled pretty quick. From my understanding, it was before I started collecting Lego. To be fair, so. Um, Got another fig to add to the uh, the fig stand. Yeah, uh, Wicked Bricks actually do a pretty decent stand for their minifigures. Uh, Chris has got it. I was I almost bought it, but I bought a load of other stands for for the uh, shuttle that I've got. Which so, which uh, for the which shuttle? Uh, Krennix. And one or two of the oh. other ones, or Tyridium. Krennic Shuttle is, is a great set. I love that set. Yeah. But it's like like you say, it's it's very, very hard to display. Yeah, a Krennic shit though is, is such an awesome design. Uh, great. Yeah, I do like them. Yeah, Lego does a decent when they do a decent shuttle, they really do. I mean, I, I don't like that new one that they've just come out with. Cheap oh no, I won't bother with that. Like I was, um, yeah. I just I'm not going to bother with these new ones. Like there was a point, there was a, 
one point where I was thinking, oh, I'll try and collect all the Lego Star Wars stuff, but I'm beyond that and missing out on sets like this in a year's time, I'm just not going to care. Yeah, exactly. You know, once they pass me, it's not one that I'm going to look back and go, dang, I wish I got that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I tell you what, right, when you get a city, folks, or when you're developing a city, uh, you really do focus more on that. Like, you still think, so what? What can I put this in my city? So, for example, um, mm. I can't really do the Porsche, but I like big cars, so that just goes that's that. But what I will say is that something like the, the blacksmith, right? The blacksmith that, that's going to be a pub in my city. Well, that's exactly what it's going to be in mine as well. I'm definitely going to make a pub out of it. <laughs> I think it's the best idea for it, honestly. It looks like an old pub, it really does, doesn't it? You know, put like get a couple of extra garden seats, you know, make a little bit of a garden bar. Out the side of it with the tree there. I think it's going to look great. Yeah, man, you got it. Uh, Lego Loser Production says, good times when Sanchez and Walcott are still on the team. He was such a good goalkeeper. <laughs> I saw, uh, oh, it was Liverpool, but anyway, I saw Bruce Grobelar on TV the other day. I thought, blimey, that's what back to, That brought back some old memories. Old Jenny Legs. <laughs> I remember watching Bruce Grobbler. <laughs> Those were the days. Those were the days, man. So we sound like a couple of old codgers, like what Doc Sampson was saying earlier on. <laughs> <laughs> he's right, though. He's right. I can't really... Um... Yeah, he's got a point. Yeah, I can't really hold it against him if that's, if that's what he spotted. <laughs> That's his takeaway from this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that goes on there like that. Mm, it's nice. But you know, there's some colours in this set that you. I think one of the same shape being Lego, uh, Lego Star Wars. That is like the sand greens, the bright red, and the and the yellow together. Right, it's, it's quite an odd sort of combination. It's a good-looking combination. I think it works. Yeah, well, people love it, mate. That's for sure. I do like the sand, uh, sand green is probably one of my favourite Lego colours. Mm, likewise, actually. I, I completely agree with that. Yeah, I do like it. And that, um, the bricks on the green grocer. Have you got the green grocer? No, I haven't got the green grocer, dude. The bricks on the green grocer are those grooved ones for that they use when they're doing, like, garage doors and stuff like that. You know, they've got the little... Little exactly. notch cut into them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the ones you mean. Mm. And they, um, um, they are really, really expensive. But someone I know recently has actually built the green grocer, but decided to replace those bricks with um, masonry bricks instead, and it worked out to be about half the price. Seriously, or masonry yeah. bricks? Oh. The masonry bricks, yeah, yeah. Did, um, did it look good? Yeah, yeah, no. Heck, you probably wouldn't have noticed that it was even changed. Do you know what I mean? Like, you you wouldn't have noticed it straight away unless someone pointed it out to you. Hmm. Um, yeah, that's spread all over my living room floor at the moment, my um, my green grocer, doing an inventory on it. <laughs> I know it's missing some bits. Pretty much all of the red 2 by 2 the dark red 2 by 2 tiles snapped as I was taking them off. Mm. Pretty Why much every single one. Well, how comes? It's that dark red from that that era. Same with um, brown. brown there's a some of the browns that. from that time as well. You know, they were they were pretty bad. Yeah, I was talking to Tech about that uh, not so long ago. About there's certain colours that they just haven't. Uh, there's the longevity just isn't there. Yep, there was something to do with the type of plastic or at the time it was very brittle, but um. I had a, well, I've still got it, the Republic Attack Shuttle, um, Clone Wars set, and mm -hmm. pretty much every single, and this is without a word of a lie, I, I dare say maybe one or two survived, but every single one by two red plate, dark red plate, and there's a few in there, snapped as I was putting them together or taking it apart. Oh, God. That's really? They were. That, that is really brittle. Super brittle. And they also have a piece like this, funny enough, that I'm looking at now, 
uh, in dark red that's also snapped, and that is hard to find. That is, yeah, and they're expensive, those parts anyway. Absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah, a bit gutted about that, but not much I can do about it. Uh, Bricky TY says, he's half off. No, I'm the same, mate. More of a rugby fan myself. I, do you know what? I can completely, uh, I can see why people like a bit of rugby because they, you know, the uh, the support was all mixed up. And do you know what? It's um, it's a good sport to watch, actually. When, when it's smooth, I think it's very good. Um, That's obviously exactly. a, big, a big sport down here. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Massive where you are, dude. Um, mm -hmm. says, my granddad used to be a police officer. And once he had to stand outside a hotel kind of thing all night, and the queen, the band, uh, was staying there. Uh, <laughs> all he could do was hear shouting. It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool, man. How you doing, Tech? Anyway, you built any you built any monkey headsets today, Tech? Making any videos or anything? Monkey Kid has been a real breath of fresh air, I reckon. Yeah, he's, I, I honestly wouldn't have bought, like, I only own two Monkey Kid sets now, but I am looking to buy more, definitely. Yeah, I, th I think they're good. I actually nearly bought the jet last night. Uh, the, I one, the horse jet or whatever yeah. they call it. Yeah, I really like, I like her, the, the, um, May, I think the name is. Correct me if I'm wrong, please, Tech. Uh, I think May is a really good character. She's my favourite character, isn't it? Actually, I prefer her over the Monkey Kid. I haven't actually watched any of the episodes yet. I must admit, I'm going purely based on the. Um, <laughs> it's nuts, I tell you. Yes. Yeah, Pixie's proper stressed out all the time. Blue, brown, and dark red from a certain period can be ribbon. Do you know what I find with blue? Blue is an odd. Um, it fades in an odd way. It goes really greeny. I don't know if anyone's seen much faded blue. I think it looks really, really horrible. What blue is that? Yeah, is I've that never had any blue but break on me. Sorry, Karen. No, I was going to say, what what, what, what um, shade of navy blue? No, just blue, like the actual bright blue color. Okay. Hmm. But again, it might be from a certain period because I just had a whole. I got a bulk lot once, and there was so much faded, um, faded blue and white. In fact, all the white was stuffed. Twenty-two kgs of Lego, and not one <laughs> bit of white could be used. Seriously? Oh, yeah, man. absolutely. And do you know what was in all of all of those and and that twenty-two kgs? Every set from the first wave of Star Wars. Really. Oh my god! I managed to get most of them out. The only one that I didn't bother, or was a couple that I didn't bother getting out of it, was the Imperial shuttle because it would have been this funny beige color. It honestly, looked tan, um, so I left it. I was just like, I'm not going. I'm basically going to have to replace all the bricks from that, so I wasn't having that. Um, but yeah, got everything. Things like the very first gunship, Django Fett, Slave One, Ooh, um, nice. a whole bunch of stuff. Good bit of luck. <laughs> Adam, oh, yep, still going, mate. Still going. Still going. I'm actually nearly done, to be fair. Yeah, I'm the one not keeping up the pace here. I started off well, but like always, folks, I talk too much. Delicious Foods brings up a good point. Yes, uh, faded bricks on um, like faded greys. I really like the look of that when people bring them into um, like old school um, castle mocks. Like there's a, a friend of mine has done this whole medieval village thing and it's massive. It's, a, it's about two meters by a meter. We've got, um, we got a chat. We got a, yeah, I saw, I saw actually. Yeah, yeah. All bricks count. Uh, and it looks good with all the mix of different greys. I really, really like that. Okay. Oh, Rick's count. Tell me, mate. Where would you like to go? Uh, top, middle, ish, or bottom, mate? <laughs> Tell me where you'd like to go, and I'll pop you in there, dude. Thank you so much. Middle I'm just going to pop to the loop. I'll be back in a sec. 
<laughs> You're good. You're good. <laughs> You've been here the whole time, Sai? Si? You've been very quiet. You watch, I'll, I'll try and get this finished before he even gets back. I totally agree, Delicious Foods. Are they, they um, using old school greys and, and, you know, the old whatever you call I can't even remember the proper name for them now, the proper greys, uh, I think really, really works to get that aged look. Looks great in castles, but it looks absolute rubbish on my Star Wars sets when I'm trying to replace parts. In fact, I do have a couple of the old Star Wars sets. Well, I've got, I'm going to say I've got the first, first wave that are all that old grey. Uh, luckily, a lot of those bricks seem to be in pretty good nick, but I just didn't bother getting any of the white stuff out because it would have just cost the price of the set again to replace them all. Luckily, the Slave 1, Django Fett Slave 1 was in pretty good nick, but even Django Fett has a faded arm. Like, that's how bad it is. Even Django Fett on that set has a... Um, let's get those minifigs back in the center. Has a faded arm. The chat's babysitter. You're making videos, Simon. Can't wait to see them, man. Get them up. Get them up. Give me a reason to hide in my office for the rest of the day, not have to deal with my kids. Everybody post videos. I can call it research. I need to do some videos myself. I've got a couple of ideas on some stuff, actually. I need to do... Um, <laughs> Do a video on my updated BrickLink status, which is going to be good. I'm so happy about that one. Hopefully that'll come across in the video. The hard work starts now. Oh, yeah, man. The hard work very much starts now. And the test of my, um, whether I've, I've got it set up very well or not. See, even chewed and broken bits, I'm not, not maybe not broken, but even chewed bits or bits with little sort of marks on them or something, I, I look great in, in castle mocks, you know? <laughs> Anything that's sort of slightly discolored or, or, or whatever, you know, as long as it's not retarded. There you go. All bricks count. Nice. Thank you so much. It's pretty good with the old colors, doesn't it? I like it. Definitely. London Wall. As always, folks, thank you so much for your super chats. It really does mean a lot. And uh, like I say, folks, if uh, anyone wants to give us a super chat, then tomorrow, over the course of the weekend, well, there's only tomorrow really, isn't it? Um, I'll throw out uh, a picture on Instagram and uh, add it to the story as well. So I'll give you give you a lovely lot, a decent shout out as well to say thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Aubrey. Yeah, that means a lot, mate. It really does. Thank you so much. Good I look a bit more like a ghost. Oh, wow. That does look like a ghost. Starting to get there. <laughs> My stickers are in pretty good nick as well, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the stickers on this one. Because like I said, I bought this one secondhand too. If I remember rightly, I might have pulled the canopy sticker off and put it back on to make it straight. Which I don't normally do with clear stickers, but this one seemed to yeah. work. Out. Yeah, no, man. That was really good. I'm, I'm zooming. I'm kind of getting through this. I don't know any pieces I've got left. But anyway, what are we doing for time anyway? Oh, not too, not too bad. We'll assess at midnight how, how, how far I've got left to do on this. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm on to um, my skate pods. <laughs> Why is so, so kind of called, called that? Because that's his name. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I, yeah, so how did you come by the name Brixine? Brixine? <laughs> it just popped in my head. It wasn't even, I, I can't even say there's a great story to get, well, there certainly isn't a great story to go with it. Absolutely none at all. Um, like I said, I started this channel with, um, with a young lady by the name of Paulina, mm -hmm. who will hopefully be doing some videos again with me very, very soon. Um, She's had a bit of a neck problem, so hasn't been able to build any Lego. Um, but yeah, it just literally came into our, came into my head, and, and I said, "Let's call it this." And she was like, "Yeah, why not?" So yeah, no, no amazing stories. I'm sorry. It's a good name, though, mate. Yeah, 
Well, the other thing as well is, is when you're coming up with a name, and I'm, I'm sure you probably thought about this as well, the first thing you go and do is and see what you can go find on the social media profiles to make sure yeah. nobody's taken it. Um, and I think Brickscene had been taken by someone on Instagram, but on nothing else. So I was like, and it was a really small Instagram account. So that didn't bother me. It didn't bother me. But in the chat, too, you, if you've got a crazy name, tell us how you came up with it. Lego Loser Productions. Tell me how you came up with that name. I'm 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 intrigued. Yeah, because uh, I, I mean, my mic's easy. I just I, I work. I and, well, I still do. Just, I work about a stone's throw away from it, uh, London Bridge. So London Bridge. That's why I came by that one. So while staring out the window one day, you just it came to you. <laughs> it did. It, it just says everything I want it to sort of say about me in the channel. It works perfectly, man. It absolutely works perfectly, and uh, with your logo and everything as well, it really lends itself to it. I think it's yeah, it's, it's a because you got to think of it as well as a brand, you know. Like you, you are pushing your brand, um, whether you like it or not. That's it's it's your brand. It's people know me as Brixing now, you know. They don't know me as as Rich or Richard uh, quite as much, especially on the, well on the online community anyway. Yeah, it's. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's, a, it's an alias. It's a. It's, it's an alternative version of yourself. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. Um, yeah. oh. He goes. Uh, All bricks count says. Uh, years ago, when I decided I want to explore outside of Lego, uh, I wanted to build military tanks and aircraft. I had to wander from Lego, so I explore Eximbo, Kobe. Yeah. Yeah, uh, All bricks count. We were talking about that earlier on. Check out Cabbage Face. Yeah, it's just Cabbage Face. <laughs> Called, he used to be called Happy Face Lego, but he dropped the Lego. Um, he's building more Kobe these days, and I know Jang builds more Kobe as well. So, well, I used to be known as Lego Loser 30 because my brother started YouTube first and went by the Lego Lunatic 26. So I called myself that. <laughs> it sounds good, so I changed it to this. <laughs> yeah, Put, 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 change, change you know, I actually appreciate the non-remarkable stories better sometimes. <laughs> <Yeah>. Well, <laughs> yeah. I thought, why not? <laughs> Especially with band names, you know, you ask you ask bands how they come up with their names sometimes, and some of the stories um, on how people came up with their names are hilarious. Mm. Ah, it is Hartoff. Is that woodshop teacher, is it? Ah. That is woodshop teacher, yeah. He know he every now and again he uses that account. I was gonna say he's using an alias. I hope you've subscribed to me with both of those accounts. <laughs> That's a good chat, actually. <laughs> Be rude of you not to. <laughs> I like it. Now, something that um I haven't told you yet, Greg, but uh oh. It's not nearly not really needing an announcement as such, but my little boy is going to start a YouTube channel. Oh, what's Seven he years old. He's um he's super excited. He's been writing out all his notes for his videos that he's going to make and all that, and he is going to record a video very very soon, maybe even today. So you all have to be very very nice to him. But I decided that it's a fairly harmless sort of thing with um, YouTube kids these days and all that. So. I decided to let him do it. And what, what, what's his content going to be, dude? Uh, he's going to do Lego Harry Potter, probably, because that's what he knows the most. Okay. Um, so he'll look at Harry Potter stuff in the beginning for sure. Awesome. Um, but we, his channel is called Brookscene Junior. Ah, oh, good name. New brand as well. We're liking that, mate. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's very little thought process involved. Um, so yeah, now, now that I've kind of announced it, he better, <laughs> I want to be careful. He might replace me. Hey, look, if he, uh, if he gets to the point where he's making a ton of money, I will look through him. <laughs> that's it. Live off your children. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, that's cool, man. I always think so. I should do something with his, uh, with no leg. Yeah. Well, I, I was actually going to do something with Joshua and of course we probably will collaborate on a lot of. You know a lot of things as he gets into it you know but um well, Ricky picked up that with his son 
Who does? Brick Attack. Brick Attack with Clark. Yeah, and that's that's who I was watching when I decided, you know what? This is probably a little a little more you know, less less harmful than I was and maybe initially giving it credit. So it kind of made me think, hey, you can do this. Uh, so O'Connor says, Richard, tell your son that he'll suck to him. Awesome, awesome, Sai. Si. Yeah, if you look him up, Brixing uh, Jr. Um, that that's what it's under. So you, it shouldn't shouldn't be too hard to find if anybody wants to wants to find it. He's cool, man. He's cool. He's only seven. He just wants to be like his old man at the moment, anyway. It won't be long before he doesn't want to be anything like me. <laughs> when I'm when I become so uncool, but I may as well take advantage of it at the moment while he still thinks I'm pretty cool. Well, it will happen one day, mate. It's, it's inevitable, really. Oh, absolutely. We, we were young once. We were the oh, young I just remember how thinking, I remember thinking how uncool my parents were, so I can only assume that's going yeah. to gonna come to me yeah. soon. If my dad was into Lego or something like that, uh, I would have thought much more of him. <laughs> you what, sorry? I said if my dad, if my father had been much more into Lego, I would have thought a lot more of him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm going for the popular vote with my kid my dad i mean to be fair my dad did support me a lot when i did um uh, rc racing i used to be a uk champion at that back when i was oh, really? a kid yeah oh, nice. Nice. And then, then i discovered women and uh well that that kind of finished that hobby off <laughs> oh, right. I, I would have gone back to that actually i think even now I look at that RC set that came out, that Solo Brick Builder Bill, and I'm like, oh, I'll tell you what, that's quite a bit, kind of exciting, both of both worlds. But um, I really enjoyed that. That was a really, really cool hobby. And um, do you know what? In, in a funny way, I'm surprised I didn't go back to that and went and went to Lego. But it's, 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 I believe it's quite popular again. Yeah, my old man wasn't in, into anything, so I didn't really. I can't really say I had the support from him on anything. Uh, like that, so maybe my life would have been a little bit different had had he been like that. But hey, no, I mean, don't get me wrong. I've not got the best relationship with my father, which is a shame, really. Uh, and uh, I wouldn't wish that on anyone, folks. Um, mm. Really, it's a bit sad. It's a bit, you know, life should life's too short, really. But you know, some people just don't get on. But he no. he, he he was always very supportive when when, it, when he was teaching me fishing. Uh, remote control car driving and stuff like that. So, you know, it, it's always bad, folks. Like Life shouldn't be like that at all. But, um, yeah, it's just um, – I think he'd enjoy Lego. I really do. Oh, you know, I, I look, my, my parents bought me Lego sets. I remember, remember when I was super young. In fact, I have my set from my seventh birthday. And this is what – can I get it without it? Falling to pieces. <laughs> I still have my set from my seventh birthday, and this yeah. is what my memories of Lego are. You know, like this is oh, wow. This is cool, folks. How cool is that? Yeah, you know, it's been it's been built and, and rebagged, of course. But you know, so I can't I can't complain about what I had when I was young and all that sort of stuff. But that looks like a good. I reckon that box is worth a few quid. You know. Oh, probably, yeah, probably. Um, but my what I, what I was going to say is that I don't think my boy appreciates just how lucky he is um, with the fact that I get all these Lego sets and I get a lot of stuff um, uh, cheap and for free as well. You know, so I don't I don't think they really. Hopefully, one day they will appreciate that they got to play with lego's most expensive sets you know something i never had as a kid and it, I, I mean, it's, it's a materialistic thing of course but you know it was pretty cool but i, I suppose for him he's it's kind of it's normal he's, he's growing up with it it's a bit like you know uh if if um you know with clark with bricky tech yeah yeah he doesn't know any different really so no and, and, no i appreciate that my boy doesn't know any different <laughs> either but um you know hopefully one day he'll look back and go you know what we were pretty lucky when we were kids we had pretty much any lego set that we wanted you know well lego is a luxury man that uh, is a luxury item and when you're buying you know the top end of, of said luxury item speaking of the little bugger he's bloody ears must be burning come on here you come come and say hello 
<laughs> I've finished my ghost anyway. Yeah, it's like pretty, it. for you to play with, funnily enough, eh? <laughs> You're going to say hello? Say hello to Greg. Hi. Eh? Hello. Hey. Just, I was just telling everyone you're starting a, a YouTube channel. I have. So now, I, now that I've told everyone, that means you have to do it. I'm going to do my first video today, wasn't I? You're going to do your first video today? Yeah. There we do. There we do. There we go. Make sure uh, you do. That's cool. the phone charge so that you can... Yeah. Hey, is it still on the charger now? Because that phone's rubbish. It'll run out of battery in about five seconds. So you need to make sure it's proper charged. <laughs> I don't know. The lucky thing this boy has got, though, as well, is that I'll be editing his stuff, and all those little slick things that's taken me ages to do with my editing, he's going to have <laughs> straight off the bat. So hopefully his content will be okay. Hey. Wait, wait. If, if the editing is a bit shoddy, we know who to blame. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'll just say he did it that day. Mm. <laughs> Look, Steve, people are saying they're going to sub to you. Yeah, say I definitely hi Say hi, Sai, because he's out there and he said he was going to sub. You know, Sai, he's the other bald guy that sometimes in the... Uh, in the the other bald guy. <laughs> I said the other bald guy. I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Adam O, he's going to be called Brickscene Junior, so it's just yeah. Brickscene JR on the end. So I tell you what, lucky for Josh, he obviously got his mum's looks. Yeah, yeah, you know, he did. He did. <laughs> noted, Greg, Noted. <laughs> That goes to be ten percent discount. Tell her the team was okay. It wasn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably get into trouble for that now. But yeah, maybe I should rebuild this again. Actually, maybe I should do that on a stream. Rebuild this. What's Anybody that? else got this one? The original Black Falcon's Fortress. Oh, I tell you what, mate. A load of people would like that. It's part and parcel of the um, blacksmith shop. So what? Sorry. It's part of the blacksmith shop, isn't it? Because they the Black Falcons are in that. That's right, yeah, yeah. And that was what made me kind of want that um medieval blacksmith thing, because um yeah, you get you get that those figures. Maybe I'll pull that. Maybe that's what I'll build on tonight's stream. 435 interlocking pieces, it says. Interlocking. Oh my god. Interlocking pieces. It's Inter not a toy, it's a sophisticated interlocking <laughs> brick system. <laughs> it's a Lego system. <laughs> has my ghost done man i'm not a million miles away i think i've probably got about 200 pieces left it, it's bit. definitely warm me. this i'm i'm on page 64 but look i mean that, that is looking like a ghost there isn't it it's definitely looking like a ghost what do you reckon of that boys and girls out there adam sigh lego loser productions what do you reckon Looking all right, eh? Snap, what do you reckon? He goes, my first set was 653. What set's that? Look, look that one up, Bricks. Well, I was literally just about to look it up. I was keen to know. 653, bloody yeah. Uh, I suppose having a nice set like that. I, I think... can remember some of my... Um, I can remember some of my space stuff. Um, I had the command center. That was good. I used to have the, uh, the, the light and sound robot. Oh yeah, that was pretty cool. And posh. Um, oh wow, ambulance and helicopter. <laughs> That's an old set. That one from 1973. Lovely. Wow, That's snap. Pretty cool. That is old. Snap. That obviously had a bit of a profound effect on you. That one, didn't it? What's that? I think that one, that set, in more ways than one, had a profound effect on him. Uh, Snap, you might want to explain. Oh, really? Are you an ambulance helicopter pilot? No, might be. <laughs> might be. <laughs> Lester says, I've recently found King's Castle in the loft from my childhood. I've yet to build it, see if it's all there, but it should be. Oh, wow. That's pretty special. It's not quite as big as the falcon but it probably is on par the round part if that makes sense you know like yeah mm. yeah the falcon some like, sort of number of pieces yeah the falcon to me looks it looks like it's a lot wider 
and what you've got as well with this set is all those funny angles you know with the but they've got all those plates going on the funny angles so you've got all the little bits in there the little clips and stuff to to get them on those angles now you also have that bit that opens up as well underneath never found the point of that but you've got a little pull thing there a couple of flick fire missiles not flick fire what do you call them spring loaded shooters spring loaded you shooters yeah you got you got to get your tongue around it and then you it just comes out doesn't it Oh, I keep calling them flick fire missiles in my bloody reviews. And then people <laughs> in the comments, yeah, they're not flick fire it's missiles. They're call them flippers. <laughs> so we should do that for our, for our reviews. We should call them flippers. <laughs> flippers, yeah. Do you know? I have I have completely redone an entire review that was ready to upload oh, no. purely because I saw one thing wrong in one of the photos. No. And I knew that in the comments I'd get crucified, so I had yeah. to change it. What it was was the um, – you're on book two now, eh? I'm on book two, folks. Um, I near the end of it. What it was um, was that – what do you call it? What's the set called? The Final Jewel set, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the, uh... And do you know those, those black control panels with the blue, trans blue bits on them? Those two round things. By the emperor's seat yeah they were sitting there. they're all meant to be folded up to make the sort of shape but my boy had been playing with a set prior to me doing the review and he pushed them all down and i've taken all the photos for the review done all the talking and everything with these bits down and then i saw it right at the end and i'm like you know what i'm gonna get absolutely slaughtered in the comments <laughs> so i redid the whole thing and actually when i redid it if i remember rightly the sound didn't work the second time so i had to redo most of it a third time Oh no! Yeah. Way. And that was prior to me going down to Wellington on a holiday, so I was trying to get it done before the weekend. It was yeah, one of those things. Oh, that would be stressful, man. Um, I remember Solo Brick Builder, and this was recently, folks. This was on his um, Ferrari. He was actually going to do the Ferrari, and he he hated the the way they constructed the front of it. He said it's abysmal, it's terrible. He, he'd done the review on it, and then he realised that he actually hadn't constructed it properly. <laughs> 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 I mean, can you imagine that? He, that would have been absolutely annihilated. He would have been annihilated for that. Well, buddy Dan, he um, he got a review copy of the Ninjago City Gardens to do, and when he when he did the review on that, he forgot to put the tree in the front. Oh no! It was a bit of a tree, and so he did this whole review, and he had to get it up early and all that sort of stuff because it was you know part of the land thing. And then, yeah, the comments were like, you forgot the tree. You forgot the tree. Where's the tree? All this sort of stuff. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> that is funny, man. Right. Okay. The last book. Go for that. Oh, Let's thanks to it. everyone who subscribed to me today. Heck, managed to get a few subscribers today. Well, that's good, man. That's what it's all about. Appreciate that. Anyone, anyone who's new here who's subscribed to me, I really, really do appreciate that. Thank you. It's gone yeah, up man. another ten since we've been on this. Uh, Sweet man, this live stream. Good stuff. I do us a favour, folks. Give us a little thumbs up as well. <laughs> oh, that's quite cool. So you're going to feel uh, build field build even uh, the phantom. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. It's relaxing now, folks. You can have a cup of tea. I was thinking about making a cup of tea too. I was thinking about all those sorts of things. But I thought we were getting close to midnight, so I thought I'd check, check, wait and see what you were thinking first, mate. Yeah, I don't know. I think I, I wouldn't mind giving it, I reckon, half an hour. I could have this done if I pull my finger out. Okay. Is that good for you? Yeah, yeah, well, that, that means I can get started on the Phantom then. I'm just going to pop off to the, uh, the uh, have a quick break. I'll um, make a quick tea. I'll be back two seconds. All right, dude. No problem, more. Right, where do we put these then? So they kind of go in there. It's got lots of funny little things with this set. Yeah, it's folks. It's a very cool set, and it is coming together. We'll get in there, honestly, Snap. Um... Pop those there for now, right? So, uh, this is a strange thing with this particular set because I haven't got any bags, I kind of put everything around me here. Uh, I don't know if anyone could 
can everyone see that? There you go, folks. There's all the parts there. They're kind of there. It's all kind of just handy. But it's funny, when you just open up a bag and pfft, it's kind of all there in front of you, it's a lot easier to deal with. In all honesty, you know, I'm kind of turning around like this. I'm going to get a stiff back tomorrow if I'm all doing all this. <laughs> Not like I've lifted anything particularly heavy. But, you know. Anyway, what, any big sets? Has anyone out there bought any big sets? Uh, I got a... Uh, I got I bought the Porsche yesterday. I'm excited about that. Kind of like a dream car for me, it is. Right, that's looking good. That there. I'm missing what can't be missing stuff because it was there in the first place. Right there. No. I do seem to be missing a part. Now the question is. Is that my fault, or have I put it somewhere else? Let's see if it's in here. I don't know. I'm missing some little claw pieces. Yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Josh doing uh, doing a channel as well. Um, what we going on in the chat? Hey, Matt, how you doing, mate? Good day, Tech. Uh, it was more than a way Doc was trying. You could take whatever you're doing and it'd still be hilarious. Uh, Snap Grid says, Greg's working the, the ABS building logo. I'm not even gonna ask what that means. Uh, London Bridge Bricks, uh, largest set I've built or bought and built recently was the 1989 Batwing, great set. Oh yeah, that is a good set. I've not actually bought that yet, actually. They were doing a good deal on that in uh, in the UK uh, this weekend with um, Smiths. Uh, it's, uh, it was something like, I save 100 pounds. Buy that and the 1989 Batmobile and save yourself 100 pounds. Which I think is pretty damn good. Right, oh, there we go. Now, question is, are they? Oh, I wonder then if I put them clips somewhere else. I wonder. Me wonders if I might have put some clips in the wrong place beforehand. There might be the wrong grey. Uh, question is though, I can't remember where I put the clips before. Oh. So what I've got, folks, I've got these clips here. And they're light grey, but I need dark grey. So I've put them somewhere. I can't remember where I put them. Oh, there they are, there. That's handy. So let's just have a quick check, make sure they're the right ones. I don't need the other one. I'm going to say that they are, because that's got a light piece there. So that's easy. I can get around that. Lucky, I'll wait with it. <laughs> Family Bricks asking, what's your favourite dog video? <laughs> I think that's my favourite one too. Text drunk Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cheers, Mark. Appreciate that, man. Mark said he's subbed to my channel. There you go, man. Uh, Brickham's Den, you've bought that Batwing recently. What did you think? You, you like it? I haven't bought the Batwing yet. I've got the, um, you can see there and there, I've got the two tumblers. Um, but I haven't bought the Batwing yet. That's something I need to get. The Batwing is a very big set. Hmm. It is massive. Right, it's the size of a dustbin lid. It's huge. Yeah. It's very flat, isn't it? Yeah, but it is wide. All right, so let's get on to this one then. Let's take this away. Get these rubbish mini flags out of the way. And we will replace them. One thing I haven't found is the hair for um, Ezra. Oh, I got the hair for Ezra. He, he comes with a, he gets a helmet as well, doesn't he? The helmet. Was was have you got this 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 uh, Phantom as well? Have you? Yeah, I got I got both Phantoms. Yeah, I've got both too. I think this this Phantom looks best. The old Phantom looks best on the um, attached to the Ghost. Yeah. But I think the other one is better because it comes with the better figures. It comes with a thrawn, yeah. So I, yeah, you're right. I think it is better. There's my teacup, everybody. You can see my uh, Lego minifig teacup. I that the other day. That's quite cool. Have you got one of these, have you? No, I haven't, actually. I'd say I this is a... There was one like this, and there was one that had a Lego logo on it. So I thought I'd pick them both up. This is a very rare part. Tech, have you ever seen this part? Yeah, that, that is definitely a weird part, that one, isn't it? How much does that work, Richard? Well, I reckon that's expensive. 
I, I'd say that was about two pounds. That would be. Probably. I just wouldn't know what to call it. That's the problem with Bricklink, is how what they call their stuff, eh? Yeah, because they've got they've got different names for it, haven't they, compared to uh Lego sometimes. Right, let's just find the Phantom instructions. It's a good name, the Phantom. Hmm. Especially since it's with the ghost. Yeah, it's almost though it's almost a bit too sci-fi a name for a for a Star Wars ship, you know. But it kind of makes sense, of course. Uh, okay, so they're there. Yeah, so Bricks, it's a really interesting putt, but it would also be a really useful one as well. But I also think that they could probably don't make it as much anymore because they can use these fairly standard one by two with the two by two side on it. Certainly not a part that I've seen in too many sets since, put it that way. Right, they're on. All right, let's build this one. Let's build this. Yeah, hopefully, when you've done that, I'd have done this. I think so. And I don't see the parts don't seem to be going down very quickly. Which part? Sorry, <laughs> I said the parts don't seem to be going down very quickly. Yes, yeah, you're getting rid of all your big parts now. That's why. Yeah, that's what I need. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing because Captain Rex's ATTE also has a platform on the back of it mm. uh, i really really want that set for my phantom 2. so i think that's the one that the second phantom essentially sits on in rebels if i remember rightly i'm not, I'm not too sure tech you might be able to correct me on that one i don't know if tech watched rebels oh hasn't he i'm not 100 sure tech have you watched rebels I know he was binging on some TV recently. He was binging on something with TV, was it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, let's get that in there. Monkey kid. Oh, he's definitely been binging on that. But that's quite short. They're only like 20, like 11 minutes, actually. The, the, the episodes are 11 minutes. Was it you that I was hearing? Because I've only just started on... Um uh ninjago i haven't watched much of the ninjago stuff um was it you that was saying that the episodes got shorter after a certain season or yeah i think there is a season where they they, they are quite short oh, okay. like, I guess some of those are like 11 minutes hmm. yeah he's watched rebels recently um tell me tech is it the phantom or the phantom 2 that ends up landing on uh, Captain Rex's ATTE. That's a good episode, actually. Yeah. I really, really want that set. Someone that uh, I used to do a bit of work with here got up at the crack of dawn one morning and checked Facebook Marketplace, and someone was selling one for about 60 bucks. Oh. Captain Rex is ATTE. I was like, what? I've built it. I, I built it for um, uh, the uh, guy that used to do the street, the, the stream, the, the channel with Paul. He had one. He went yep. really cheap as well. Got it on Marketplace as well. He put it on Marketplace to sell it, did he? Well, someone did. He, he bought it off him. And oh, and he, he bought it on Marketplace. Sorry, I thought you said he bought it off Marketplace. Yeah, we, we used it. And uh, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's, it's, it's kind of quite um, quite a funky set, in all honesty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like the look of it. Hodgepodge. Uh, people are saying it's the Phantom One that actually lands on it, so I was I was well wrong. Oh, then I'll have the Phantom Two sitting on the back of my Ghost. The Phantom Two looks too big for the Ghost, though, in my opinion. Well, I suppose originally it was designed to be with the Phantom One, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, for the car two, it would have been a lot easier to kind of fit it in the phantom 2 does still fit on it yeah that's good that it does yeah yeah it just looks way too big
Yeah, I, that's another set that I missed out on. Um, that was just I, rem I remember seeing it in the shop dirt cheap. Was the AT the ATDP? Is that what it is from um, Rebels? I'm pretty sure it's the ATDP. Uh, I remember seeing that for next to nothing, eh? And um, Tech was building something the other day. Tech, what was that one he was building the other day? Uh, the one the, I watched his stream. He was getting all fed up with it. He was like, oh, this one was a bit of a drag. Um, but it did look good. It was the he was making. Oh, is it that one? Okay. Yeah, that was good. I, I mean, I like the look of it, but it just didn't seem to enjoy the, the build. But that would change when he did some monkey kid sets. He enjoyed that one. <laughs> Do we think, you know, has Monkey Kid got longevity, do we think? Do we uh, think it's going to hang around as long as, as Ninjago, you know? Well, I don't know if it'll hang around as long as Ninjago. I mean, Ninjago's quite impressive, really, when you think that it's been around for 10 years. Yeah. I mean, any any company would take that, wouldn't they, uh, having something that lasts that oh, long? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And it's, it seems now, you know, I, look, when Lego released something like that, Ninjago City Gardens, the, the you look at the interest that's been raised, purely not well, not purely, but off the back of that, you know, and it's it's um that's huge, that's huge. There's been a lot of interest, and of course, it's made people like me go and buy more Ninjago sets that I probably wouldn't have bought otherwise. Right, let's do these two. <laughs> Snap to Grid Bricks. When are you going to do some more outdoor Lego building? You know, I should do some more of that, actually. So you actually built some sets outdoors. What was that about? I, I um, there was the there was the first of Jan actually. Uh, Solo joined me on that stream. Um, yeah. I the first of Jan, I ran straight into the Lego store to get the the um the flowers and the bonsai tree oh, cool. and, um, and then i came back and i was like i'm gonna stream this outside in my garden so i set up the table out on the deck and had the forest behind me <laughs> got bitten quite a bit by mosquitoes that day but it was um <laughs> you don't expect it, it was great content. <laughs> or it bites some bricks or something like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Bricks and bites, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a good day. I'll, I'll do that again. Actually, I didn't. I didn't realize people would have enjoyed that so much. So, um, I've had a couple of people ask me if I was going to do it again. Yeah, that's quite different. That is. I think um, I saw. I don't. I can't remember if it was a live stream or he just videoed it outside. But M and R did that once. I oh, did. He sit outside and do it. Yeah. Um, well, Paulina made a video. Last year it would have been we were doing like a field guide on the minifig. She was just down at the beach. She took them down there um, to do a video. And I, I, at that point I was thinking, oh, that's a pretty good idea, you know. Go and do more of that. Yeah, it's all about changing it up, isn't it? Yeah. I do have quite a nice outlook from my... For my garden well use it yeah it should it should but no. you know i can't That's sit it. in the sun so much here because the sun is piercing man it is piercing is it uh, so bricks monkey kid does not have longevity at all Oof. it's expensive it's that's the that's the problem I have with it. There's no sort of cheap sets that come with it. Um, be interesting to see. I mean, only time will tell, really, won't it? I don't know if anyone is too aware of the sales. Those ones you kind of got to get the flagship set if you want to sort of if you're thinking about value and and things like that, you know. Mm. Um, it was before my time, but was Chima anything particularly good? Was that anything like Ninjago? No. I Chima was right at the tail end. I, in fact, I don't even know if any Chima sets were still being made when I got into Lego. I'm pretty sure it might have been done by then. 
I certainly don't remember seeing any on the shelves. I got given a shop display once, one of those Perspex boxes that has a couple of sets in it. Mm. And it was a Chima one. And it was this, it was one of probably the flagship set, this big sort of crocodile vehicle thing. And I always thought, oh, that'd be a pretty cool set to have. But yeah, I've since seen all the hate for Chima since then. So, why didn't people like Chima? Let us know as well if you guys out there in the chat had uh, Chima as well. I don't know, eh? I'm not too sure. Lego Loser Productions, probably go for another 20 minutes, half hour. Yeah. Monkey Kid will definitely outlive video. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I go, even I'd say that as well. But, you know, I look, I made a video about video saying that I wasn't going to buy any of the sets, right? And I was genuine about it right there and then. Uh, and then I got FOMO, of course, and um, decided to go and get them anyway. Uh, luckily, I didn't pay full price for them. Um, which, which, you know, I certainly wouldn't have done that. But is video going to become one of those things that everyone's going to go, damn, I missed out on the video stuff. I want those minifigs. Now, are they going to become something collectible later? They might do. And I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm genuine. I'm, I'm spitballing here. Like, is, is, is it going to be something that people are going to look for later because everyone's dismissed them now? I mean, isn't that what happened to monster fighters? True. But I don't know, man. The no one really cared for it, you know. And... <laughs> it's lunchtime here, Lego Loser Productions. So little Brixine Jr. is um, probably about to have some lunch. <laughs> Release sets uh, and they keep changing up themes in Asia. They will stick with MK. Okay. Oh, what's that? Kid as well has a um, a big following in Asia as well. It's probably going to be more popular up that way than than it is down here. Video has gone back up in price, says so. Oh, really? Many figures are timeless, says Tech, so they'll always be sought after. You're right. You're right. Yeah, but are those little tiles going to be worth more than the plastic they're printed on? I mean, plastic, printed tiles as well is a, is a big thing too, isn't it? You know, so. I'm looking forward to making a record shop in my city for all those printed tiles. <laughs> I've decided that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Well, you like your tunes as well, don't you? I do, I do. And I, and I want to make a music venue and I want to make a record shop for my city. If I'm going to do mocks, then that's that's the kind of things I want to want to do. So seeing some pieces that are going to um, make the thing look like a record shop pretty quick has made me happy. <laughs> See you later, Lego Loser Productions. Cheers for hanging out. Appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Take care, Lego Loser Productions. Bring back Lego helicopters. Yeah, look, the city stuff's all moved to drones, haven't they? Isn't the last police station? Uh, my little boy's got the fire station. That um, they didn't get a helicopter. The most recent one. It was a it was a drone. I'm pretty sure the police station's got it too. Yeah, they've been putting a lot of drones into sets as well at the moment. Yeah. I mean, but prior to that, everyone was complaining that we got helicopters with absolutely everything. Yeah. First thing, I think they only need to give up on the whole bloody criminal dodgy burglar guys. <laughs> it's just, it seems a bit unnecessary. Not everything has to be centered around a bad guy. Well, here's the thing that the, the sets, the new sets, there is, a, there is something missing from it, isn't there? One of those new sets, there's that uh, hideout. The bad guy's hideout, isn't it? Yes, the criminal's yeah. hideout thing. And I'm That's wondering... True, yeah. yeah. No, you're right. You're right. I did see that. I saw a few people made a couple, you know, made videos on it. Oh, have they? I have not seen them, but I'm just kind of wondering if, if the reason why it hasn't sort of 
materialised yet. It's because it, it, they've got a bomb on top of like a, a building. Mm. Well, we've got enough police helicopters to see the um, to see them fully equipped for the next uh, ten years. I think <laughs> they seem to just come with everything, don't they? The police helicopters. Yeah. I haven't actually built that many helicopters, but I've got a lot to build. My um, one of my boys' favourite sets—the very first set that he ever he ever got as a well, he's, he's still obviously a kid, but um, um, his first proper set was a police station, uh, and then he got um, hey shy, how are you, man? Um, then he got Chase McCain's helicopter, and that was a slightly bigger helicopter with a. You know, like a hook that came off the side and everything. He loved that. He, he, well, he still loves it. The police station has probably got no clutch power left, given the amount of times he's broken it down and rebuilt it. Oh, that's good, though, man. Oh, mate, he gets he. Well, he doesn't do it anymore, but he used to get sets and he would build them, break them down, build them, break them down, build them, all day long. That's cool, man. But yeah, he's now he's now getting into doing a bit more of his own his own creations. Which he keeps threatening he's going to put into my Lego city. No, oh, imagine that. Is he going to have? Is there going to be like a sort of a, a Josh Square or something like that? <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> Lovers' creations. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Might let let him hone his skills a little further. Oh, <laughs> no, nah, he's awesome, man. He's awesome. He is awesome. Uh, you know, the apple didn't fall far from the tree. No, no, and it's, it's it's a cool thing, man. I hope he I hope he continues with his love of Lego, uh, and doesn't have a dark age. Uh, this is true, but he, he probably won't because um, if he does, then you you get to inherit a lot of Lego. I'll keep threatening that all that Harry Potter stuff that I've bought him all this time. Will be sold off so i can buy more stuff <laughs> yeah well that's the way i see it all these all these presents that he's wanted all these things that he's wanted all this time it's either going to be you know his his future uh, as far as lego building goes or it's all going to come back to me when he decides it's seriously uncool or wants to swap it for a, an xbox or a playstation yeah hey but you too hey showtime Hope you're good, mate. Good to see you. Really cool podcast yesterday, Shy, um, with Claire, CC, and, and Ninja. I really oh, enjoyed so enjoying those podcasts. I am enjoying them. It's a good intellectual conversation. Nice. And do you know what? I actually had a random little bit of input into that. What's that? Uh, that particular uh, podcast. You had and a Shai, bit of input into it, did you? Yeah, Shai's probably thinking, what on earth did Greg have input into that about? <laughs> uh, ask Claire, uh, Shai. She'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny little minuscule amount. It really was. But uh, it was nice Brooke to help Judea. out. Just got back from the Lego store, got Blacksmith, Sesame Street, Spider-Man versus Carnage, Year of the Ox, and two Amelia Earhart promos. Nice. That is not a bad little haul. Not a bad little haul at all. That is a very good haul. I'm gonna I'm waiting for my um my local store. It's called Toyco. Those are the guys that look after me here. Uh, I'm waiting for them to get the blacksmith in before I get it. I was going to run out and grab it and do a review on it, but then, you know, sometimes I just get put off by the number of reviews I already see up there. It'll just get lost in a sea of reviews. So. Yeah. So I, I may as well, there's no point in doing it when I can get it for a discount in a couple of months' time. Because that's what happens here is the Lego store gets the stuff day one, and yeah. very rarely uh, Toyco will get them real, uh, day one as well. Um, they usually have to wait a couple of months before they get their their stash. Like they've only just got the cantina in place. That's how far behind. Yeah, dude, are they based in just New Zealand, that particular comp that toy company? Say again? 
are they based in just new zealand type yeah yeah it's 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 literally one guy um who runs the store in auckland but they've got a an online store of course and and i i dare say that they're probably the go-to uh for lego in, in the country you know like a lot of people use them um the customer service is, is awesome i mean I'm, of course i'm going to say that because they look after me but um the guy who runs it, his name's Martin, super nice guy. Um, he supports all the Lego shows. He's a, he's a collector himself. He he sponsors Lego shows. He contributes and, um, well, he's always offering stuff to me to give away on the channel and, and things like that too, you know? So it's super cool, super cool. Has he been on one of your videos before? He's quite a quiet guy. He wouldn't have had a major... Uh, major any major input into it you might have seen him on a video that i did with paulina maybe like a speed build of some christmas brickheads i think was in the shop that we did that um but yeah brick chew dab is in illinois illinois that's cool get people from all over the show eh? all over this is what i love about youtube that's what I love about it. If you'll be talking away to someone, then they'll go, oh, I need to go to bed now. Why is that? Because you're on the other side of the world. Oh. <laughs> Everyone's on the other side of the world from you. Oh, that's a good, that is a good point, Greg. <laughs> like, it's now, even here in the United Kingdom, folks, it's, uh, I've now caught up. It is now Sunday. Um, except Steve. Steve's on my side of the world. That's true. I actually need to get back in touch with Steve because Steve a while back asked if we wanted to um, do something together. Yeah, I can actually, you, him and the skunk. Yeah, well, you know the um, the time zone lends itself to it. We, we we should do some stuff together. Oh yeah, no, definitely, mate. I, if I were to recommend you to anyone to do a collab with, um, I would definitely say Steve. No, he's a good guy. He does some good mocks as well. He's got this. Uh, I haven't looked too much into his work, I must admit. Yeah, no, he's, he's a good guy, Steve is. I like him a lot. I haven't streamed with him for a while. Actually, I haven't heard from him for a little while, to be honest. No, he's been really, really quiet, and then he popped up on um, Hive's stream yesterday. Ah, that's good. He must be all right then. Yeah, I was going to say. No, no, he's been studying, I think. I think that's his problem. He's, he's, been, he's been learning. Oh, what's he been doing? Yeah, I, I, I'm not too. It's some mental health thing. I think oh, okay. it was. Hey, Ryan, how are you, man? You good? How's things? Hey, Ryan. Good to see you, dude. We're building cool stuff today, Ryan. Check it out. The MF Ghost. The MF Ghost. Loving it, loving it, loving it. And of course, I'm lagging behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And time zones as well as. Uh, speed of build <laughs> is it not the real m and r he's been deleted i don't know yeah it doesn't have a check mark so probably wasn't him good point good point nice cheating why would you go out there and be someone else i, just, I don't get it i don't know, I don't know man it's an interesting I one. I didn't get. Farm. Yeah, I'd love to be a fly on the wall with people to do that, but you know, it's whatever. Right. Some people are just a bit cheeky. They don't necessarily not mean to be horrible. Or they just a bit cheeky. Right. It's just weird. This is a tag. Right. There we go. We need that. I'm not doing too bad, you know. I'm actually not too far off. It's all big bits now. All big bits. <laughs> Just all the plates to finish it off. I'm nearly finished this one as well. My phantom. My phantom. <laughs> See you later, Brickham's Den. Yeah, take care, mate. Appreciate it. Appreciate you hanging out, man. Thank you. Catch you next time as well, dude.
Um, so you were talking about um, opening up your your Lego Movie Ninjago Movie Fire Mech. Yeah, man. That's a cool set, that one. I know, but I, I've only built the uh, Destiny Bounty from that. From that lot, yeah. Yeah. I've been Destiny. retro finding them and putting them together. What's that, sorry? I said I've been retro finding them and putting them together. Yeah, I only need, I only need two now. I need the Water Strider, which you were talking about yesterday. Yeah, I got that from Bricklink. Funny enough, Bricklink was the cheapest place around to buy that from. What did you What did you pay for it? Do you want me asking? I paid. I think it was forty pounds. So that's about on par with what I can get it here as well, because it's about a hundred dollars here. Yeah. Um, now, it was. It was re I got it basically retail retail price, which I'm always pretty. I'm always happy to buy stuff at retail. Uh, in all honesty, uh, if it, especially when it's retired and it's good. Um, yeah, I, like I was, I was saying to you earlier, I got that um, really, really good price on the uh, ice tank. Oh, dude, you got a, a brilliant price on that. And like I was, I was saying to you um, about that store, it's, it's gone now. It's actually, it's actually closed down. What? Since you bought it. Yeah, literally the week after someone else went there and they said, no, it's not there anymore. No. I was like, oh, really? That is the one you said the customer service was a bit. The customer service was awful. And and that's why I – basically, they, they, um, uh, they used to look after our lug, the, the people, and they, they, they would buck us around each time, like right up until a couple of days before a show. We'd be sort of asking for um, – you know, what's going on with the sponsorship and all that sort of stuff. We wanted them to, you know, we never asked for much. In fact, if they told us that they couldn't sponsor anything, we wouldn't even be that, that worried about it. But the fact that they told us they would and they wanted their name on things and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then they basically just left us hanging before a show that we had to get someone else in to, to sponsor it for us. Um, so I decided never to shop there again. Um, and then I've since heard that they're just – floundering as far as sales goes you know a lot of people don't shop there anymore and and all that sort of stuff and i'm, I'm sure it's not off the back of, of anything to do with us but at the same time i'm certainly not surprised you know um i i tell anyone not not to shop there anymore i tell them all to go to toyko because the guy who runs toyko looks after the um the community so yeah. there's the ghost with the phantom on the back oh wow well, let's look let's make that look bigger that's awesome mate there we go. That is cool. I think I think that one size wise isn't too bad. You know, they couldn't have gone any bigger. They could definitely have gone a bit smaller. Um, I think they did a top job. But yeah, I think it's a great looking little ship actually. So do you do you like the scale of it overall? Yeah, I, I look. I I don't think the ghost needed to be any bigger than this. Of course, we all want massive Lego sets. But as far as playset goes and, and, and size, um, with the two sets together, it's a, it's a decent weight. Um, yeah, it's quite a big, bulky ship, and there's a lot of play going on with it, you know? Very cool. Very cool. Now, I, the, the, the question for me, the big question for me, from me to you, is are you going to are you gonna leave this one? Are you going to keep it built? Yes, it'll go on the shelf for a while. I've actually created, because I've, Taken Diagon Alley off my shelves that are up here in front of me, but yeah. I've now got another 1.2 meters worth of shelf space. Oh wow! Well, that's good. I tell you what, 1.2 meters. You can put the, your Star Destroyer on that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, do you know I used to have the Star Destroyer that one there mm -hmm. up high, but it was always looking so precarious, and I thought I'd rather have it fall from about. 80 centimeters off the ground than two meters off the ground so that's why it's now sitting down there but i'm about to change this whole backdrop behind me i i'm what are you gonna do with it 
I don't entirely, I don't know yet. I don't know whether to change the whole lot, change the wall right around and sort of cover it so it's a nice white, the whole thing, uh, make it look better for the lights or whether it's just to chuck more shelves up and flex more. Uh, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Um, but things will change very soon because I'm gonna I'm gonna do something. I've okay. never liked it. never liked it. You never liked it. No, it's it's always been something that's all been gnawing away at you. It has. It has. It's this wooden wall. I hate hate the wood. I, I, but what don't you like about it? The the shade of it or something? Oh, just yeah, it's dark and horrible. I'd rather have it nice and bright. You know. Yeah. When I look at like uh, Emma Soros, her background with all the nice white shelves and lights and all that, I'm like, oh, that's really nice, you know? <laughs> I'm tech. <laughs> tech. What's your, well, uh, can, can you do something? Can you show us that, that robot, that um, uh, Astro Mech that you've got? Oh, the one at the back there? Yeah. My R5 D4? Yeah. I love that set, mate. That is so cool. He is awesome. He is awesome. He's, Look, he's essentially the same as the UCS R2-D2 that came out a few years back with different colouring. This is gorgeous, it really is. But he is pretty cool. Tech loves wood. <laughs> <laughs> Tech likes to be surrounded by wood. <laughs> he is a chippy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that sort of wood too. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> there we go. There it is there. So it's got all the same functions as the UCS R2-D2. Um, with these little panels that open and... Where is it? There it is. Well, the little bits that come out. I like it. Oh, that's good. So it's the same, exactly the same build as the R two D two. Um, but if I was, if, if if you asked me which one I would have, I would still have R five D four. It's got the same thing with the 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 um, the foot can go away as well. You can. Set up like a, a proper one. And then, yeah, you just, I think that's how you do it. You just pull it. I can never remember. It's been so long. Yeah, well, it's probably going to break now that I'm doing this. <laughs> I mean, you got this with you. Hey? I said, you got this. Come on. I can do it. I can do it. It's been sitting up there so long. It's covered in dust, actually, as well. I need to. I'll need to sort that out. It doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel right. Oh, now look what you've made me do, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's meant to make that noise. Yeah, I was going to say, make that noise. <laughs> there he is. That is quite an odd little build, actually. It's, it's, yeah, she's pretty, um, Pretty flimsy in places, but, but yeah, <laughs> pretty cool. So it's the same as R2-D2 except for the head. The head is the, literally the only different thing. But this was made. Oh, my God. Uh, I've told the story before, but it was made along with about 10 to 12 others, I, I want to say, uh, droids at the same time. And it was a guy who works at Weta Workshops. So the guys who create Lord of the Rings. All that sort of stuff. So he just did a whole bunch of different droids, and they're all based off official droids from the um, uh, from the movies as well. Um, and they were all at a show at one point, and then he decided he was going to sell the lot. So I was like, "Well, I want R five D four." So I grabbed it. Nice. But he is cool, eh? And that's, I'm going to get rid of that A wing from up the back there and, and build the sand crawler. Yeah, I've got the sand crawler. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you reckon of that A wing? I like it. I like it. Um, but it's not one that I care much for keeping built up, to be honest. Same with the um, the Y-Wing. I've got the Y-Wing sitting um, up here. Um, but I'll probably take apart as well because 
<laughs> those stands i don't know it just seems like they take up everything seems uh like it takes up a lot of uh room you know what i mean and i'm i don't know i feel that i could probably get better bang for buck on my shelves be careful richard as to where you place your fingers yeah 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 they um you quite easily get caught up under that thing i tell you What did you think of the Y wing when you build it? Because I've got that as well. It's a beautiful set. It's a. It, it really is. Yeah, I'll just grab it. The greebling on that was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. Here's one I prepared earlier. Wicked. Oh, I yeah, think it's a great. It's a great, beautiful looking set. I shall give it a dust while I've got it down here. Actually, um, super enjoyable out. to build. And it looks great on display. But I've had it on display now since day one. So I'm kind of thinking I need to take it apart. I think that is better looking, though, than the A Wing. I, I, I agree. Would, yeah. I agree. Um, the the Greebling on that is awesome. But I don't think they look as good as, say, the TIE Fighter or the Slave One or the X Wing. Put it that way. Seriously. Even though it's got better Gribbling, grib gribbling on it, even. Yeah, I like. I think the X-wing looks really cool. The way that's sitting on its stand, sort of sitting facing, you know, slightly up. Um, the Tie Fighter, I love. A lot of people didn't like that UCS Tie Fighter, but I, that's one of my favorite UCS sets. Yeah, I've got that. Um, I haven't built it yet, but I will say it's it's really imposing. It's it's, it's a great set. You haven't you haven't built it yet? Oh mate, that's a that's, that's one I'm I've been tempted to to break apart and rebuild. Yeah, is that that is a beautiful set. I, 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 I did rebuild my uh, Slave One recently. Actually, when I started um, getting into building on Twitch, I decided that that was going to be my first thing that I, I rebuilt was that one. I did. Oh, I lost something there. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll build this on stream. The Black Falcon's Fortress. I, I got the... Um, where did I get the TIE Fighter from? I got the TIE Fighter from uh, a place... Uh, well, John Lewis. You've heard of John Lewis. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but it was quite by accident. I just went there, and they had a load of them in there. By this point, they'd been retired for about three months. Is that right, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I managed to get one off someone here selling it. Um, it would have been not long after it retired, and I was only just, like I say, I was getting into my Lego at that time. And, um, yeah, I paid paid probably retail price for it as well. Definitely one that's worth getting. I would have liked to have gotten a second one, actually, to do an Interceptor. You right there, Greg? Yeah, man. I'm just checking. <laughs> Uh, and it is, it is. I was focused. So I, I was one so still, so I actually thought I'd frozen. <laughs> but you know what? I think, I think I might call it a night. I've got about another 20 pages to do. And then I'm done. But I don't know, man. I, uh, I'm good to keep going if you are, but I'm. Uh, oh, no, I'm, all, I'm all good, mate. No, you, you, you take a break. We've, we've, we've I, done I, that with nearly five hours, four I and a half hours, which is pretty good for me. <laughs> good for me as well, actually. It's way longer than I normally stream, so. I, I did, honestly, folks. I thought this was going to be about three hours this one, but I'm a bit too chatty, chatty. I'm doing all right so far. Look, this is where I'm at, folks. This is where I'm at so far. This actually does look like a ghost, in all honesty. I'm you enjoying the build, though? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I really am enjoying it. some weird some techniques in this that I've not come across before. That's that's the thing, eh? To get all those the way those plates are on those angles and the way they sit on those funny angles is quite clever, isn't it? Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of the ATATs. But no, if you're good for about another fifteen minutes, I think I'll be I'll be done then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, right. mate. Absolutely. Come on, Greg. We can do it. You can do it. I've done it. G -g Give me some of that. Uh, give me a thumbs up or something like that. We'll energize. <laughs> I'm hearing size releasing videos like they're going out of fashion. Is he? Someone someone said, oh, you've released two videos at the same time, so I hope they're both not the same. You've just uploaded twice. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. People are laughing at me because I got the whole whole load of video stuff. I shouldn't make videos about not getting something then getting them, eh? Well, I've got to be honest, there's plenty of YouTubers that do it. They really do. <laughs> they sort of think, no, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. And then they just get it. And they say, like, oh, I've always wanted it, really. Like, really? Oh, yeah. The thing is, though, it's, uh, you know, you are allowed to change your mind on things. <laughs> Lorraine laughing. That wouldn't surprise me, Richard. <laughs> Talking about size videos, obviously. So is he, he's released two videos together. Oh, I'm just about to go in and have a look and check yeah, out what, what's going on there. Ah, oh, video unboxing. That's what he's done. Oh, that's good. Ah, oh, he's done a haul and a llama unboxing. I see what you've done, mate. I see what you've done. Mm -hmm. Nice work. Nice work. I do like size short videos, short and sweet, to the point. B-Fab's a bit like that as well, isn't he? Yeah. No mucking yeah. around, you know? Well, I, so I, I actually feel pressure to do videos that are a bit longer. Uh, I don't know. I'm the opposite. I feel like I need to do my videos a lot shorter. No, I just feel that I'll, I wouldn't get enough. And maybe that's what stops me from doing so many videos, to be honest, is maybe I do feel that I don't have enough content to make videos, but I should just bang up videos that are a couple of minutes long. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I, that's why I like watching a lot of size stuff because I just literally watch it while I'm walking walking to work. So size size not released two videos the same. It's released two different oh, videos at the mm -hmm. same time. Both on video. Did you manage to get the? I haven't watched your unboxing yet, so I will watch it. It's a bit rude for me to, to watch it now, of course. But um, <laughs> did you get the band baits as well, or have you have you only still got the these horrible things, the handbags? Oh, what do you think of those handbags then? What's your thing on that? Oh, they're crap. Are they really? Um, are they yeah, useful? Absolutely. I think they're terrible. I think there may be some good parts in there for people to use, you know, going forward. There's obviously a couple of nice colored pieces, but at the end of the day, I would have been happy enough to have these just as many figs rather than having them all, you know, having these extra things. But I appreciate why Lego's done it. They want to make money, you know, make a couple of flagship mini figs and these weird things. I did like that, um, that mock that someone made using this clear piece. Yes, that's what I think they're going to be good for. Is that stuff? Did like you that. see? Did you see that mock that the guy used to make like a some sort of a police dropship type thing? Oh no, I haven't. Oh, it looked really, really cool. I was really impressed with it. Um, but yes, I could see those those clear pieces being used, and I don't know the sides of spaceships or something like that. You know, to make some weird sort of um, weird windows and, and stuff like that. I think they will look good. Snap to Grid Bricks says, Richard, you may decide to split the build from your reviews on your vids. The quality of my vids is sweet. I appreciate that. Thank you, Snap to Grid Bricks. Um, I ha you, you probably noticed I've actually stopped doing speed builds uh, on my videos. And I'll tell you why. Is why is that? that eh? why, is it, why is that? I like your speed builds. I like doing speed builds, but I also like enjoying building the set. Mm -hmm. So like that monkey kid set that I was building, I managed to sit here and do a bit with Joshua, and then I was sitting on Hive stream building a bit, and then things like that, you know? So it was kind of cool to sort of enjoy the build a bit more. Whereas, you know, when I'm doing speed builds, I actually sit there and try and build the thing as fast as I can. I know <laughs> I don't have to be the bloody speed build. The camera does that. But I yeah. still sit there feeling like I'm under pressure doing things as quickly as I can. And I don't Seriously. enjoy it quite as much. I really don't, you know? like. Um, what I quite like doing, and, and, and hopefully, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to do this on the 18th, is I do like running into the Lego shop, coming home and going straight onto a live stream and just opening it up and experiencing it with a couple of people in the chat. You know, that's that's 
That's cool. Yeah, that's good, man. That's really good. Um, yeah, so I expect that free promo to come back in kind, mate. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I, when I'm monetized, I'll make eight, eight minute, 15 second minute uh, videos. <laughs> You can't be far away, Sai, with, with that amount of views, surely. Um, Sai, what's your favourite figure out of those new ones, then? What, out of all the video ones, what's, have you got a favourite? Yeah, I certainly do. Oh, who's your favourite? Um, it's, it's, it's one of two. It's either the alien DJ or the hip-hop guy. So, hang on, I can put them, put them in front of here. But either that one. Yeah, let's make it big for a moment. Oh, you got it there. There we go. Yeah, that one or or that one. They're my they're my two favourites. Yeah, the alien one does look pretty good actually. I was I was a someone streamed the other day. They were talking about doing their city build and said that these guys look like a pair of DJs. You know, they'd be pretty cool to have as a couple of DJs on a on a party or something like that. Definitely. Yeah, hundred percent. Right. The Monkey King Mech Polybag Tech. Is that is that the one that was on the Lego store? Did you have to put the code in for that? Or was that the one that was just automatically added? I did see an ad for it. Uh, let me have a look, mate. Let me have a look. Ice cream guy's pretty cool. The saxophone ice cream fella. He yeah. Is pretty, he is I, he, he's one of my favorite. I like him in the shark, but I do like the DJ there, the, the, the blue head on him. He looks yeah. really cool. He's a nice looking fig as well. And that, that little headpiece is sort of uh, trans sparkly blue that, um, yeah, no, it's pretty, pretty cool. T Mog, how are you going? Uh, right. Oh, yeah, we have, you get that Monkey King mech uh, free. Receive posable mini Monkey King Mario Warrior Mac with golden stuff when you spend a hundred and nine dollars or more on Monkey Kid, City Ninjago, and Technic. That's not bad. That was a good thing about this particular gift we purchased, wasn't it? Is that you could it was a hundred pounds on anything. Yeah, hundred and nine dollars, and then you can get the Amelia Earhart as well. So right now you could actually do not too bad if you were to. Yeah, well, I mean, you get double VIP at the moment with uh, Lego Friends and Dots. Do you? I didn't know that. I just don't, I don't use Lego.com. I, I literally don't use it. I, mm. If I'm going to get something super quick, I'll run down to the, the Lego okay. store. Or I use my, my buddies. You know, I just never use the online, the online thing. Pretty bad, but. Probably use it more. Well, the thing is, though, if you can get down there quicker, uh, then why not? Also, as well, you can sort of get there earlier as well and sort of get in, get in the queue. And, um, you know, jobs are good. And also, as well, sometimes I quite like to go down into and buy it in the shop. Hey, Team of 217. Good to see you, dude. I haven't seen you for a little while. Nice to see you. Such things are all good in your neck of the woods, mate. Uh, tech saying it's not yet available here, but I think in New Zealand and Australia and Guinea it will be in time for the Monkey Kid bike from last year. So yeah, got... that rickshaw, that rickshaw mm -hmm. um, was that available anywhere else? The, an exclusive gift with purchase with. Uh, with the Spring Festival 2021 sets. But it looks like it's only China only. Yeah, now, that all just sounds a bit regional to me. It is. It is absolutely regional. Lego Rickshaw gift with purchase got announced on December the 30th. And that's a monkey kid set. No, no, no. It's just a Chinese set. But it says, Lego China just published their store calendar and their host of Lunar New Year promotions for the launch of the Lego Spring Festival 2021 sets. Um, it's a cute-sized rickshaw 
with a traditional Chinese architectural gateway. Yeah, so I would really like that. That actually sounds like one that came with the Ninjago City sets, um, or sorry, the Ninjago movie, uh, which was um, it was called the City Chase. Yeah, I've got that one. I got probably one of the only other ones that I've got outside of the mix and the and the city stuff is the um, is that little yeah the one with the rickshaw the little police rickshaw. That's it. Yeah, that's the badger. That's a cool set actually, and that goes really well with the gardens and the and the city. Well, that that's why I've been buying them up recently, uh, just for that exact reason, dude. Mm -hmm. It's gonna have to stick up that one. Good. I'm nearly there. I'm not. I'm not too far away now, mate. I got. It's all big. It's all right. pieces, big, big circular pieces as well. Um, I'm liking the look of it though. I really am. I think I'm actually going to finish this one tonight, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Make a nice. Your sense of achievement will be will be long lasting. And I completely appreciate your uh, your patience as well, chat. Now next week, come on. I, I, I do, I do, I, honestly, because quite often, folks, I either have to build a bit of it at the beginning, or I just have to say, right, I've built what I can, that's it. <laughs> I'm off. But um, my wife's going to kill me, but you know what? I'll make it up to her. I'm, I'm, I'm lucky. I've got the best wife in the world. She's amazing. And if she's watching this, I love you to bits. <laughs> and she's probably going, ah! <laughs> get down here and do something. Yeah. Um, Mr. Hive, how are you, sir? Hey. How, are you? how you doing, dude? Sorry, I didn't join in the end yesterday, mate. I was I was going to join, but you were sort of finishing up by the time I got the kids' um, dinner and and shower and stuff, and they were being pain in the ass, to be honest. But um, <laughs> uh, I really want to join Brick Hive's streams, but it just he he starts streaming at five p.m. my time on a Saturday afternoon. So it's usually when the kids have just come back from doing something or, uh, you know, they've been out and they're tired, they're crap, uh, acting like idiots. And, um, yeah, so I, I did say to him yesterday, I'll join after I get their dinner sorted. But, mate, by the time I got their dinner sorted and everything, you were you were pretty much done. So, Hi, it's nearly 1 o'clock in the morning here in the UK. You'd be so proud of me. It's like 8 o'clock nearly at night there. There he is. Uh, I always see his, um, he's got his um, thumbnail up for his, his good morning brick world. And I was, I, I hate it because it's always 4 a.m. I'm thinking, should I get up? Should I get up to watch it? I should, you know. And most of the time I'll actually wake up and I'm, I'm catching the tail end of it anyway. <coughs> but um, you used to stream more, Brick Hive, and I appreciate you um, that, that uh, you're probably busy with work, so you're not streaming as much. But I feel that I used to watch a lot more of your streams. Titanium yeah. as well. How are you, man? Hey, Titanium. I think he was streaming. You'll be happy to know that I finished my um, Ninjago City Gardens, mate, right? and it's wow, it's instantly one of my um, instantly one of my favourite sets. Absolutely one of my favourites. Um, yeah, the, when's your clocks changing, Greg? I was just thinking about that. When when does your clocks change? I think it is sometime this month. It is, and then ours change a couple of weeks after you. So all of a sudden, we go from being you're starting your stream at eight thirty in the morning, which is seven thirty your time, mm. that it will be six thirty my time that you'll be starting your streams. All right. Oh, that's a bit more. Uh, oh no, that's worse, isn't it? Obviously, that's way worse. That's way worse. <laughs> Hive, he changes his clocks. Do they go backwards or forwards, Hive? In a couple of weeks. I think his will go forward. His will go forwards. So that means it'll be four p.m. when he starts his his normal stream. So that'll probably be a little bit better for me as well. Only a week away, eh? Only a week away. Oh, yeah, usually around the same sort of time. I, I, do you know, I keep an eye on the clocks purely because of the football. Do you? Or do you, do you don't want to make well, sure right you... now it's, it's really easy. All your evening games start at about 9 o'clock here, 9 a.m. Yeah. So it's really easy for me just to start watching the football. But as we 
as we go forwards, I uh, I have to start getting up earlier and earlier and earlier. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh man, trying to trying to work out time zones is. Has Has Chelsea played today, man? Nah, they played Liverpool the other day. Um, Thursday they, night. They would have beat Liverpool, didn't they? Yeah, we beat them one 0 Yeah, I know. Cause I know Liverpool. I think the last game Liverpool won was against West Ham. Annoyingly. Is that right? Well, we yeah. broke one. Of, we, we broke a, a record of Liverpool's. They've never lost in their entire history five games in a row at home. So proud yeah. of that one. Yeah, man. Proud of that one. Um, but yeah, Chelsea will be playing Monday, I think. Monday your time, so it'll be Tuesday morning our time. Yeah, West Ham don't kick off until our Monday. Uh, eight o'clock. Oh yeah. Do you watch the games much, Greg? Yeah, I do now because, funny enough, I got an upgrade uh, on my Virgin Media, uh, which meant I got all the sports channels for cheaper than what I was paying. Is that right? Eh? Nice. Yeah. yeah, it is cool, eh, Hive? What is your favorite? I've got the uh, I've got the Phantom sitting there in the back as well. Richard, what is your favourite Star Wars? Uh, like, have you got a favourite Star Wars set? And that's yeah. a bit of a generic question. Everyone seems to want to ask it, but that one right there, the big UCS Star Destroyer. Yeah, that's my favourite. I am. Um, um, why is that your favourite? Why Why do you like that one so much? Well, when I when I first started collecting Lego, that was like my um my holy grail if you like because it was it was always going to be out of out of my reach money wise uh finding one was going to be difficult all that sort of stuff mm. and it was always one that i just wanted so much so when i knew that they were going to be releasing another one i was just like yes dreams have come true you know and i like it more than the big falcon do you uh, oh, absolutely absolutely it's probably not as an exciting build um but i just think it's so big and imposing it just it looks great if you've got the room to um uh to display it then it's it's, it's definitely one to, one to have google are deleting hive's comments were you saying bad stuff about uh, lego again hive oh how did your phone call go mate that's what i want to know did you hear about hive's uh trouble with this coin that he got no, well, well, I know he's got the new Octane coin. Yeah, well, it looked like it had been through the washing machine a few times. Oh. It was all scratched up, apparently. So he was gonna, he was gonna give uh, Lego a um, a call and give them what for, but everyone was saying no. He's gonna turn into a pussycat as soon as he gets on the call with uh, the, the sweet customer service rep on the other side. <laughs> how, did, how did it go? He said it went well. Uh, he's he's not divulged anything further at the moment. They're sending a new one. Did you get anything free out of it for the trouble? <laughs> the Jago City Gardens is his favorite. But I'm sure you guessed that. It's a beautiful set, man. I'll tell you what, Hive, you've built it as well. The best thing in that whole uh, set for me, out of all 6,000 pieces, was about the 20 pieces that went together to build that little video game. I thought that was fantastic, how they made the little character jump up and down as well. Absolutely amazing. Just a new coin hive. Oh, that's cool, though. That's cool. At least you got it replaced. The reply on the hive stream. Oh, did you get in touch with them after uh, on the actual stream hive? I didn't realize. I thought you were um, waiting until the morning to call them. Or did your stream just go that long? <laughs> <laughs> He, he <laughs> yeah, it's still streaming late in the morning. <laughs> yeah, man, that that video game and that Ninjago City Gardens and the um, uh, the skeleton of the little dragon uh, up in the uh, the atrium bit of the museum, if you like. I thought that was really, really. I didn't know what I was building when I first started building it. No, you have to wait till eight a.m. I'm glad you got it sorted, mate. Nothing worse than having a um, a collectible piece of memorabilia that uh, is not in not in good nick. I can appreciate that. The, the thing is, though, when they come, don't they come like well packaged or anything like that? 
Yeah, it must have been a um, a manufacturing defect or something like that. But he was right; it was pretty scratched up. Oh, now that would be annoying, and um, because I think he's, I think, uh, am I right in saying, uh, I have you've actually you're collecting them all at the moment. Hmm. The, and the sorry, Hive, and the um, and the skylight of the museum, but at the top of the Ninjago City Garden, it was a um, it's a little dragon skeleton, isn't it? Skull Sorcerer's Dragon, of course, Titanium J knew exactly what it was. <laughs> um, is it? Yeah, the Skull Sorcerer, though, Titanium, that's all quite new stuff, that is. So that was a, a good nod. It was very cool. Very cool little build. Because um, I was building, I'm like, oh, my God, look at this. It's a little bloody dragon skeleton. I was showing it to the, uh, the, the kids. And then I realized that it was bloody attaching to this skylight sort of ceiling. Look, it looked great. It looked really cool. So you've built the biggest Monkey Kid set and you've built the biggest Ninjago set. Yes. Which one's your favourite out of the two? Ninjago City Gardens, absolutely. Good man. Ninjago City Gardens. Can you hear I, that, I rate higher than probably most of my Star Wars sets. I don't say that lightly. Why? Yeah. Um, That's good. Well, what do you think of it as well, Hive? Is it one of your favourite sets you've ever built? I'm, you know what? I, I really can't wait for Hive's review to come out on it. The style of review that he's going to do on it, I am, I'm excited. I'm excited to see it. I'm looking forward to seeing the stop motion stuff he does for it. That's what I'm saying. Isn't that how he's going to do his review, like a proper walkthrough? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be, um, well, it's a lot that of work. Really awesome. Damn well, worth it. I'm looking forward to it big time. <laughs> <laughs> Sai retracting his own messages. <laughs> yeah. Second to the Cantina Hive, really? Oh wow! You enjoyed the Cantina more than the uh, Ninjago City Gardens. I, I I like the Cantina. Don't get me wrong. I I did really like it. I thought it was a cool set, but I didn't find it that exciting to build. Um, the minifigs for the Cantina definitely. Uh, way better than the minifigs for Ninjago City Gardens. Yeah, the old um, Golden uh, Wu, he, go, he fetches a pretty penny, you know. Yeah, I'm hearing that he's he's, he's worth, a, worth a bit of cash, eh? Really they're going in. Yeah, they're going in. They're a bit weird, aren't they? They don't all. I wouldn't say they are solid. No, uh, yeah, no, they're pretty, pretty solid mines. Haley Brooks, nostalgic for the cantina. Now, fair call, fair call, fair call. Hey, Mark, cheers for joining us, man. I appreciate it. Really appreciate it. And hi, yeah, you probably have got a, a biased opinion. I appreciate that as well. Another right. another set that I, I've built again recently that I really, really enjoyed. It's not from this year, but um, mm. is the massive Hogwarts. Have any of you guys built that really big Hogwarts from a couple of years back? The uh, micro scale UCS style Hogwarts. I think that's not an awesome set. A lot of people built it. Uh, Rex built that from um, the Daily Brick. Oh, yeah. Oh, Alex, yes, 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 yes. He loved it. An amazing looking set. That's, that's definitely one of my favorites. I'm starting to think of what sets I'm going to be taking to the show. I've got a show coming up in a couple of weeks. Well, a few weeks now. Going ahead. Is the show going ahead still? Oh, we've got one down at, um, well, the, we've had a couple that we, we, we had in the pipeline. Um, just like school shows. Uh, one of them has been pulled. Um, but this one's happening down at my it's down at my boys' school down the road. But it was one of our most successful shows as a lug, so um be a fair few thousand people through, I'd say. Um but we did we did quite well last time. We made we made some good money for the school. It was a great day. Oh, sweet, man. Yeah, but I'm not too sure whether I'll do all Star Wars stuff or just take a bunch of big sets down. You got, you got you're taking Ninjago Gardens with you, weren't you? 
Yeah, I'll do that. I'll take the whole Ninjago thing, um, and that'll look cool on its own. Same with the Hogwarts stuff. I'll take the big Hogwarts and Diagon Alley as well. Um, but I'm normally relied upon for Star Wars stuff, so I might have to go and build some more Star Wars sets up. You got some bigger UCS sets there, mate. Can you not use those? Yeah, I will take those down. I like to have some other things like walkers and things like that as well, though. You know, I think it's um, yeah. I think we need to have some of that going on too. Right. Yeah. The um, that massive Hogwarts is is, is an is an impressive build. Really cool build. Is it? Did you? But you you taking it all apart again? I but did no, take yeah. it all apart. I've just built it. Yeah, it's just sitting here. Monkey kid stuff sitting in front of it, but it, but it is just there. That's an awesome set. If you can get your hands on that, I would recommend it. I'm not even a Harry Potter fan, and I think it's a great build. It does look like it's a it's a really good looking build, man. Mm, mm. It's not boring either. You know, it's not a not a boring build. Some great techniques. It wasn't too 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 beigey. They, they do like, seem to like their large beige sets, don't they? But there's a lot of color on the inside of it. That's the thing. There's this references to different parts of the movie, so they're in nice color all, all on the inside. You know, you lost a piece, mate. No, no, I've got, I've got it. I've got all my all my cups and that are filling it's up. Little plastic cups. Gary Malone, them. cheers, uh, cheers for joining. I'm, I'm literally just a few pieces away, folks, from finishing this set. It's a it's a big set. What is for me if you make to finish on the stream? Honestly though, um I'm I'm sort of thinking for that for that, for that stream I'm doing on coming up on Saturday, the friend stream, I'm thinking blog, I'm definitely gonna have to build some of that before I get going. <laughs> I'm finish it otherwise. Right, I'm just that's literally I've got the turret, I'm just doing the turret at the moment. I'm there. That's pretty much the last bit, isn't it? I think the turret. Yeah. Um, yeah. good bricks. I don't know if I will live stream the show. I might do some videos from it. Uh, if there's going to be any cool mocks or something like that, I'll, I'll do a bit of a, uh, a show uh, focus on that. Um, I wasn't going to do. Oh, I might might take some pics or something. I'll, I'll I'll decide at the time. Basically, we'll see what it looks like. Lumberjack Josh, how are you going? Lumberjack Josh, up, to be honest. Uh, Hello, mate. Good to see you. Yeah, <laughs> good to see you. We'll just. I've, I've finished building my my ghost. Um, Greg is literally on the last couple of steps, I think. I am nearly, nearly there. And I can then say to myself, I've got a Lego. You, you can say to yourself, I have finished a build on stream. <laughs> I might actually put my one off from tonight. I might put that off until tomorrow, actually. I might do that tomorrow morning. What's that, mate? Well, I normally stream on a Sunday night, but now it's 2 p.m. in the afternoon, so that leaves me about six hours before I have to start streaming again. So I might not bother doing it until tomorrow morning. Oh. I don't I don't have, like, a, um, a consistent uh, crowd that comes to my streams, so oh. it doesn't make, too much, doesn't make too much of a difference. You know... Uh, Lumberjack Josh, I'm, I'm sort of on the side. Greg was just talking about this before as well. Now that I've decided to start a city, it does, um, you know, that it does take sort of a, not, not a priority, but I'm starting to think as well of sets for that rather than, you know, getting the, like in years gone past, I would have been, oh, I'm going to go and get that entire wave of Star Wars sets, you know, even if I already had a TIE fighter, an X-Wing and a, an Imperial shuttle, but with the uh, lackluster sets that they've pulled out um, for this first quarter of the year uh, on the Star Wars front, it's been quite a quite a godsend actually because I've gone and bought modular buildings and um, stuff for the city. And the kids are into the city thing as well. They want they want me to build a city. They don't care about getting yet another X wing. I, I didn't know that. I didn't realise the turret was uh, was designed like that at all. Yeah, it just sits in there. Right? It's kind of kind of weird. Yeah, it's well weird. It works. Though. It works. It does. I got a few pieces left over, Wayne. <laughs> you I'll want find them out another day, folks? Oh, only a couple of pieces, like little grill pieces, one by two grill pieces. Oh, you've got some left over. 
Yeah. And what color are they? Are they yeah. uh, light gray, dark gray, or? Uh, light gray. Oh, I see, goes in there. Yeah, just light gray grill pieces. Hold it up like that. Oh, no, you've got the ones in that I thought they might have been. Hmm. Awesome, man. Yeah, I'm well pleased with that. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. It's uh, it's a weird craft, though, isn't it? It is strange, man. It is a strange ship. But then, you know, the Falcon was a strange ship, too. Mm. You know, like... Uh, and it's that feature in the movies as well. This was in the last movie. It's actually one of the longest spanning ships in the Star Wars universe. Yeah, it's just kind of always subtly been there. It's in Rogue One. It is, yeah. yeah they reference it as well. They reference it. They, it comes over the tannoy or something rather. Yeah. But, yeah, that's quite, quite something, folks. Here, there we go. We'll give you a top view of it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, you need to go through and find where you've missed you. I like the fact you got the, the, the piece there that you can go like you got like a little doorway into the ship itself, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Rick's the reviewer, how's it going? Brett's Bills, how are you? Bills, how are you, man? You good? You've been hey, there Brett? long? I haven't seen you. Yeah, oh, that's no, pretty good. Cool. Well, like I say, I've got a few. I've got a few pieces left over. Not many. Not many. Just a few. But uh, I'll uh, I'll work out where they go tomorrow. Is nothing it... structural. <laughs> no. no, it's nothing structural. It's all. It's actually quite the whole thing is actually quite symmetrical, isn't it? When you look at it. Yeah. It's um. So yeah, they'll, they'll be fairly easy to find uh, wherever they come from. But that turret is weird. The way that turret just sits in there. I never knew that. Was like that. It's uh, it's weird. Um, yeah, really <laughs> good set though. It's a, it is a really, really good set. It's um, it reminds me in a funny way the ATAT, the way that, that the head section is kind of constructed. Mm -hmm. um, but like I say, folks, the stickers were applied really well for me uh, because uh, the, the person I got it from uh, actually made a really good job of adding those in the first place. Yeah, because it's there's only stick there's only a couple of actual panel stickers, but then the rest are all on the um on the canopies. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's uh it's really cool. And so thank you, Richard. Uh I think I think we can finally park the stream, or as they park say, the dock it. <laughs> Lumberjack uh Josh was asking, yes, I do have Phantom Two. I've I've got Phantom One on there at the moment, but I do have Phantom Two as well. Yeah, show, show us show us the, uh, the both ships together, uh, Richard. Here we go. Oh, he's got he's got one camera slightly out of time to the other. There we go. Wicked. It does look cool with the Phantom on the back. Yeah, it does look cool. Very cool looking ship. Yeah. No, that it's, it's it's pretty cool. Uh as they say. I used that last time. <laughs> Did you <Yeah>. see <laughs> Snap to grid bricks? Extra pieces, send them back to Richard for his shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, it's a, look, I, I like I like but I think that's it's a good experience um I building this. I, I actually enjoyed building the ghost. I, I think it's a cool ship. No, me too, very, mate. Very cool ship. It was really good. It was a, a, a lovely to stream with you as well, Richard. Uh, oh, absolutely, mate. And we'll do it again. We'll do it again. We will. We, will. we were talking about folks who are maybe doing a review of the of the ghost ship, uh, and then I, then I just sort of then we kind of thought, oh, yeah, we, we might, might just do a, a, another stream together or something like that on Richard's channel because um, um, I kind of owed him for get, for for sending me over uh, this, and then um, I said, well, let's do a stream that bit. Come on, it'd be good. I haven't seen anyone sort of build a ghost stream before. Uh, and then Guava went and, went and did one, but um, oh, what that do? Um, but yeah, so yeah, I think we, we we're kind of thinking maybe doing a Ninjago movie style one, uh, just mechs or something. Yeah, the mechs. I've got the fire mech uh, that I want to do. Um, that what well, I like to do anyway. Um, but I've got a couple of different mechs. I've got the water strider and I've got the uh, the fire mech. Either of which I'd be happy to do, folks. I really would be. Yeah. But 
Anyway, stay tuned for that, folks. If, we, if we're going to do that, it'll probably be something like next month or something like that. Uh, which, let's face it, it's only a couple of weeks away anyway. So, uh, <laughs> so we'll see that. But no, thank you so much, Richard. Uh, no, thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it's been, that. It's been brilliant doing this with you, mate. Honestly, it's been, it's been, it's been a good laugh. Uh, apologies, everybody. It's taken me five hours. But I mean, five hours? That means I can, on average, I'm good for 200 pieces an hour. I am. Uh, <laughs> start work. Don't start working out your rate. <laughs> 200 pieces an hour. So with, with that in mind, I we'll try and get that rate right up. We'll try and get that rate right up. Yeah. The next I, I'm going to do a few bags for next Saturday. That's for sure. With 10. I mean, that's it though. I kind of had all the pieces out flat and it kind of worked actually. It kind of worked. I've got a few more pieces here. Uh, and, no, I'm not going to be posting them back that. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, fantastic. But anyway, folks, look, uh, like I said, thank you, Richard. And I'll tell you what, folks, thank you for each and every one of you beautiful people uh, being out there watching this as well. I really do appreciate it, honestly, because it's it's quite rare for me to not only stream late night Saturday, uh, but li literally till one o'clock in the morning here. So um, I tell you what, I'm going to be hitting the sack in about 10 minutes. I really will be. Um, and I'm going to go and get some lunch. <laughs> yeah, he's going to go get lunch, right? Because he's, he's already thinking that tomorrow's Monday. Uh, whereas, uh, I've, got to, I've got to go and try and catch, catch some Zeds uh, in a moment. But anyway, thank you, everybody, for being out there. Uh, Brick which we hey, great to see you before I go. Um, so that's a good Bricks. Lumberjack, uh, <laughs> Lumberjack Josh, I love that name. Hayley Bricks as well. We've had Simon Moss, uh, Victoria Fisher, Will Harper, Roland was in. Brett pretty much be there, pretty much most of it. Titanium J52, the random Brick, he was in earlier on, along with uh, Nicoletta as well, and Mr. Blue Toys, to name but a few folks. Anyway, I'll say one thing. I will see you lovely people again on Wednesday at... 7 p.m. UK time. That's 2 p.m. EST USA time. And Lego and Lego is a wonderful thing. So take care, tech. And you snap. Yeah, guys. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And it's a wonderful thing, folks. And always remember this. Each and every one of you beautiful people out there are too. Take care, folks. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'm missing you already. Au revoir, everybody. Cheerio.